Oh no, brace yourselves, it's coming. I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you it was coming. I tried to warn you it was happening. <laughs> Tales of love. I don't know what she says. Somebody told me one time what she says and I instantly forgot. Hi guys. Hello. Little is probably really common emote prefix. That's what I'm thinking. Probably a lot of people have like little cat, little bee, little dog in their name. So little two, three, seven, five. You got scammed, Pepper. You got scammed. Hashtag uh, Pepper for partner. So that way you can be, uh, what, what would you even... What would you even have your emote prefix be? I feel like a short emote prefix is really good. I don't know what... When I hit partner, I don't know what I'm going to change my prefix to. Because I want it to be, like, easy to type, but also identifying. But I don't know. And something that isn't taken. It does six letters, then give you numbers. That's why mine's Tarab. Just like Molly. Isn't Molly's, like... Uh, no, no spoilers! No spoilers! Jesus Christ. Isn't Molly's like Molly Berry now? Isn't that what she she just decided to go full send? Make it just her full name? Ms. Molly B. Berry. Yours is also cursed? What is yours right now, Becky? She full send it. Let me see, let me see. Becky B8? That's not even Becky Bait? <laughs> Hang on, it's Becky Bait. Becky Bait Love? Love me some Becky Bait. <laughs> I'm allowing you to get away with no horror stream because of the fact there's 14, but just this once. Yeah, it's not often that I cancel a horror stream. Also, oh my god, you guys, that collab stream with, um, I'm making a TikTok right now from a portion of it. Uh, that collab stream with Becca was so much fun. <laughs> That was so much for fun. Uh, there may be more Becca collab streams in the future because it was honestly just such a blast. I love her so much. Instead of masturbating, it's Becky bait. We love to Becky bait. People Pepper? Oh my god, that'd be cute. <laughs> do, 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 do. You would just make yours Pepper, if you could. Doubtful. I wonder if you'd be the first with the Pepper... Uh... Oh my god, so many open things. Uh, I wonder if you'd be the first with the Pepper... What, what do you call it? The emote affix? That sounds weird. We need Pipo Terra? There is Pipo Terra, isn't there? Didn't I put it on the channel? Or did it get removed? Oh, it's all caps Terra. There's a Pipo Terra, though. Okay, where did we leave off? Oh, right, we're doing some sort of grand tournament to rally the people of Ishgard. That's where we're leaving off. And they're like, hey, would you would you maybe fight in the grand tournament for us? Because we don't think we can win by ourselves. It's like, okay, fine. Prefix, prefix. Thank you. Thank you, Mac. I'm dumb. Pepper Jam, that's your Discord? That would be cute. Uh, I dare say it might be cheating, too. Your mere presence is enough to turn the tide of most battles. We have plot armor. We have plot armor. We know this. Uh, did you see the way his eyes lit up when you nodded? It was a look of boundless relief and joy. One would think a politician more practiced at concealing his emotion. Still, his honesty does him credit. Uh, for a moment, I was fair inspired to pledge myself to the cause, but that would be improper. This is their fight and yours, but not mine. Um, I want to take the pugilist hands just because they're so cool. Just because they're so hecking cool. Hello? He hello? Hello, Mad Slayer? Hello, Mad Slayer. Thank you for raid. Raid already? I just started? Dude, how was your stream? I didn't have much time to pop in today, but how was? How was it? Thank you for raid. Hi, Bree. Love your face? No, I love your face. Hi, Raiders. If you guys don't know me yet, my name is Tara. I'm a variety streamer. I usually stream four days a week. This week is only three days a week because there's a there's a friend's birthday coming up. But, but regardless, I usually do a horror stream on Fridays, drinking streams on Saturdays, and everything else in between. Right now, I'm fixated on Final Fantasy XIV. So my, like, midweek streams have been Final Fantasy XIV because I love it. Because I love it. And it made me cry. <laughs> so I love it more. <laughs> Welcome in, Muffin! Uh, you're terrible. New friends! New friends, indeed! How was your stream? Hi, Sable. Welcome in. Did we have shout out? You were playing. Oh, the outbound ghost. Was this a spooky stream? What was? How was? He's good. Tell me everything. Tell me everything. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for the raid again. Oof. I love your face. No, I love your face. It sounds like horror game, the outbound ghost, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm taking these, uh, even though I'm not a monk, because they just look cool. And why not? Why not? It came out today. It's a cute game? It's a, like, it's a Paper Mario feel cute game. Huh? <laughs> That's so unexpected as to what I would think it would be. 
is very cute. What the heck? Dude, I love Paper Mario. I never beat it because I was little, but I loved it. I loved watching my brothers play it. You love 14? I've got you hooked. Let's go. That's literally my job as streamer, to make you guys want to play games. That's my job. Also to bring comfort and joy and whatever else. <laughs> it's like $15 on Steam? Say less. Say less. Comfy Paper Mario style game and is $15? That's right in my price range. <laughs> Hi, Golsip. Welcome in. Your hair purple now? I can't uh, change it on Stardew. This is so sad, Becky. Is there not an, like, an esthetician? Like, is there not a hairstylist in Stardew? Honestly, missed opportunity. Honestly. You get locked into whatever hairstyle you decided, like, 10,000 hours ago at the start of your of, of your farm. Unbelievable. You can change it in Stardew, I thought. Becky says otherwise. Becky claims otherwise. I'm inclined to trust the Becky. Gulsev's been here? That's right. He snuck in early. Hi, Becca. How you doing? But, Slayer, if you have to, go unwind. Go eat food. All that stuff. Go do that. Because you had long stream. Good day. Love your face. Thank you so, so much for the raid. You beautiful, beautiful bean. Guys, if you're not already following Mad Slayer, vibes are immaculate. Genuinely. I spend a lot of my time there lurking. And if you're not already following, shame. Shame. Bing. Shame. Bing. Shame. Amazing human. They do like a lot of like wood burning art. And every single time, I'm just like, I zone out and I just watch. It's so comfy. I think I want to level more tanks, but also more MSQ. How far in are you, Muffin? Golsuli. <laughs> Can we not? Golsuli. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll have to look it up, but I don't think you can. You can. You need to be friends with Wizard. <gasps> you can. But it has to be magic, not a simple hairstyle. You're in Shadowbringers. Better stay ahead of me. I'm schmoovin'. I'm schmoovin'. Maybe burning paper and leather. Wouldn't the paper just ignite? How do you burn paper? Wouldn't it, wouldn't the whole paper just go up? How does how does that work? You like burn a hole through the paper? What happened? What happened? Burning leather would be super super interesting. I feel like the smell would be less than desirable though. Up to level seventy four quests. I'm not saying anything because spoilers. Appreciate you. That is that is the correct approach. Must give wizard all presents. You have four hearts with him. Yep. Smother him in love. Smother him. You've been playing a lot. EJ, what level are you now? To be fair, it makes sense. A wizard would do your hair because only magic can give your you more hair than previously had. Okay, Jolly. Okay, Jolly. You make sense. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. That makes actually complete sense. Uh, the grand melee is poised to begin and Lucia would not be late. <laughs> you're 43 now. EJ, you're schmoovin'. Holy crap. Holy crap. Jolly making sense? Oh no. The universe is unraveling, Pepper. Hey, I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it. Um, Sir Americk informs me that the Alliance leaders have agreed to this proposal. The Grand Melee will be held here in the shadows of the Gates of Judgment in the sight of the capital. An announcement has been made and allied voices are currently en route. The eyes of Ishgard are upon us, sir. We must not fail. It's okay, I have plot armor. Hey, look at you go. They moving. You do be moving. You are. Uh, a rare opportunity to see you pit yourself against allied forces. Outside of Cardinal, perhaps. I would not miss this for the world. Dude, Dankard's such a babe. I love his little, like, ponytail action he got going on. Oh, it's being held right outside? I gotta run outside of Yishgard? <laughs> I'm gonna turn you down so I can hear the cutscenes, but I love you. Thank you. I love your face. Hello, I love your face. Sorry, I'm so fucking loud. <laughs> Lurk needs some noms and such. Mad Slayer, love you so much. Love you so much, thank you for a raid. Beautiful, beautiful bean. I will burn the universe to the ground. If it's if the world is going to unravel, it would not surprise me, be it at Jolly's hands. Eh? Eh? Can I not? Hello? Let me out. Yes. Thank you. You got a cute baby Opo Opo? Are those the bulls? Which ones are the Opo Opos? Hello, Amanalane. There he is. I say, when you didn't appear, I began to question. Nothing, never mind. Ahem. To think uh, that we are mere moments away from facing the cream of Eorzea's soldiery in battle. That I am mere. M but what if? What am I saying? I have to stop imagining the worst. I must think of the victory, of the glory, of the stories I will tell Honoroi when he awakes. 
Oh, just, we're just going right in, huh? We're just, I'm ready, old boy, are you? I mean, I guess so. Hang on, let me like summon my carbuncle? And maybe, do I need anything else? Just my carbuncle, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay I guess I'm ready. Oh, haven't even played this much since uh, last time to a point I wasn't even sure if I was gonna help out in today's stream. <gasps> Jolly, are you too far ahead now? What's going on? As a chaos gremlin, I approve of this proposal. By the fury, how could I forget? Father bid me present this to you. I know it's sudden, but we believe the men would find it inspiring if you bore the colors of House Fortem into battle. Pray do us this honor. During the grand melee, some of your gear will be glamoured. Your attributes and abilities will not be affected. House Fortem glamour? I wanna see. I wish to observe. Hi, Kersals, welcome in. I love him, I love him. Our, our baby Lalafeld man, I love him. Where's my glamour? I need to see what I look like. <gasps> He's a precious little soldier. Oh my God, my heart. We are House Fortam. Let's go. He's so cute. Haven't even done uh, much in Stormblood post game. Shame. Let Shame. All here present heed well Your gas was perfect for what's happening right now. It's so cute. <laughs> the rules of engagement. Okay, I should probably pay attention, huh? The Grand Melee is uh, a large scale battle in which an allied company of Uldan, Gridanian, and Lominzen forces will be pitted against a company of Ishgardian forces. Okay. Okay, they're drawing really fast. Is that, is that it? That's all the instructions I get? Just kill? Just commit murder? Jelly, I'll kiss you one second. When a combatant is incapacitated, the opposing company will be awarded tactical points. Wow, tactical. The first company to attain the designated tactical rating of 100 points is declared the victor. Eh? What is this? During the Grand me uh, Melee, uh, officiants may mark certain combatants with the Fury's gaze, which will be indicated by an ethereal tether linking them to their company's flag. While defeating most combatants will award you your company one tactical point, defeating marked combatants will award you with ten. Okay. Marked combatants also possess enhanced attributes, rendering them more powerful and more difficult to defeat. Defending and defeating these combatants is the key to victory. Okay. Pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. Sable, for the thanks for the lurk. And the glory of Ishgard. Doo, doo, doo. Dude, that's a cool helmet Radon's wearing. <gasps> My wife! My wife! Merle von Bluefish. Since I didn't get a hello, I'll take the kid. I thought I said hello to you, Jolly. I may have forgotten. Oh, he's ready, then. Very well. Brave men and women of the Eorzean Alliance, let the grand melee begin! Let's go! Do, 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 do. Jolly! Bring me your face! There you go. Here's your little kiss. There's a kiss just for you, okay? I think my hotkey for kiss breaks my, um, uh, or it skips dialogue if I'm not mistaken, so I always hesitate to press it. Pippin, I don't want to kill Pippin. Oh, I've already started. Uh, we gotta kill this guy. Please, God! Terra's a scammer. <laughs> I am not. You did not, sir. No, you notice I hear when I spoke about wizard magic. Shit, my bad. I'm a scammer. Just call me Scamabellum. Do, do, do. 
Damn, was he <laughs> Yo, Bambi! Bambi, welcome back! How you doing? Whoop! I didn't... I didn't press my button. Dude, this isn't even a close battle. It's kind of funny. <laughs> they lack the tactics of attacking the tethered ones. Doing good, getting ready for some Phasmo. Yo, let's go. I need to return to Phasmo because there's been so many changes that I just want to give it a feel. I want to feel it out. No, Pippin. Pippin, get off Lucia. Pippin, stop this. You're forcing my hand. Pippin, no! Oh, God. Lucia, you're in danger! Lucia, no! Well, rip. I haven't played since the new update, so I'm excited. It's apparently way scarier now. And that's always what I really wanted from it, because initially it's like terrifying when you're first playing it, and then you kind of get like desensitized to the, to the scares. So refreshing those is like a, a very appealing thought. I haven't played Phasmo in so long. It's easily been like three months for me, minimum. Probably longer. Oh shoot, I'm the one tethered now. Good luck killing me, ya idiots. I need someone to hit me enough times that I get in gear and power through all 14 content till I get to near raids. Aren't they in Stormblood, I thought? Oh. oh, our grand melee is getting interrupted. Cyclops, Cyclops, everyone on your guard! All forces, fall back! Oh, Thancred's interrupting. He's like, no, no, continue the melee. I'll handle Sephiroth. I mean, Cyclops are off. Oh, get his ass. One punch. One punch! He didn't even draw his daggers. Continue the melee! I'll handle Sephiroth. <laughs> he did it. He said the thing. He said the thing. Oh, he's just gonna lure it away. I see. Sure, you can. What's up, chill? Welcome in. Hmm. Staffed sod. You heard the man back to it. I'm sure he's fine. The one-eyed something rather than the one-winged one -winged angel. 10 out of 10, jolly. All forces, form a line on sir, now. I thought we won the melee. I got 100 points. Oh, it's in Shadowbringers that you get the near raids. Got it. Oh. Oh. Raid boss Redonta? His helmet's so cool. Holy shit, actual raid boss Radon? Wait, he's Ifrit now? Well met. I will not lie. I was hoping it would come to this. Well, you forced this. <laughs> you forced this. So then, shall we dance? Not quite at 100, I thought. I'm like level 60. 62? 61? Which is why, Terra, once you beat either Shadowbringers or Endwalker, I humbly beg we do near raids together, because fun. I could be persuaded, easily. Whoop! I don't know, this helmet lowers down, even. Crazy Minotaur helmet! Oh, and points for Ishgard! I thought I was at 100 as well. 
We had like 92 points. And then we killed one that provided 10, so we should be there. Oh no, it stopped us at 92. We got scammed. Alright. Wait, why is his name Flame General Alden? Is his last name Alden? My bad friend, not knowing his last name. Oh, actual raid boss. Okay. Woo. Wait, these are legit Ifrit mechanics, aren't they? You hear me, old boy? Don't you dare lose. Okay. I'll kite him. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Smack me? Oh, Jesus. Oh, help. Ooh. I'm indeed the warrior, but wait, he's summoning nails. Why is this just the Ifrit fight? Why is this just the Ifrit fight? Hang on, I'm slow. Hang on, I'm little. Here we go. Ro Roban. Was I calling him Radon? Why was I calling him Radon? Oh, I think that's fucking Elden Ring. Roban. Do, 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 do. I don't play for a week and I forget everybody's names. And we're good. Oh wait, are we good? Yeah, we're good. There are two things you're hoping happen in Shadowbringers, cause satisfaction. Well, I got my thing that I wanted to happen in Heaven's Word. It just wasn't as long and drawn out as I wanted it to be. There's good music, many minions, and thigh high heels. Is that enough to persuade you? Uh, thigh high heels on a Lollafell, I'll pass, but the other things sound nice. I'm sorry, Roban. I'm sorry I was saying your name wrong, and I'm sorry I didn't know your last name. Did... Did he win? Then we... We are we... victorious! I didn't notice the nails and kept wailing on him, not knowing he had super armor during the big move. Oh no, chill! I went into the fight thinking it looked like the Ifrit fights. I'm like, if he summons nails, and sure enough he did, so I was kind of prepared for it. Yo, Kyo, welcome back. Well fought, well fought, my friend. You truly are the warrior of warriors. Thank the fury you were on our side. Well, how could I say no, eh, Merc? He went down to 0 0.01 HP, and you couldn't get him further than that. Ah, oh, what a scam, Jill. My lungs are burning, and I can barely stand. Yo, Moon Moon! Cool Everything game, very cool it. game indeed. Welcome and in, Moon Moon. I did. We did. We Look at that harsh terror. I was so happy when they put us in this armor, Kyo. Purpose, we prevailed. After a thousand With my white hair, I kind of look like him too. strife and bloodshed, we are strong enough to rise to any challenge, be it on the battlefield or beyond. The future holds so much promise, so much joy. We need only show them the way. True, not ours. So just like that, he's redeemed, right? Just like that, everyone forgives him. Even though I did all the heavy lifting. Magnificent display, Sir Knight. While doubtless less than pleased, I am quite sure the grand companies are honored to have been bested by such valiant warriors.
The honor was ours, Your Grace. I am pleased Me to too, see Muffin. Me too. So much. When we got Nanamo back, that the, the first little moment with Roban by her side was so cute. It was such a good moment. When the time comes, I trust you will fight alongside your brothers and sisters in the Eorzean Alliance with the same fervor you displayed in opposing them. Hush, Dara. I hope I you can get this armor as a glam for any class. In I fear, I fear this, these armor pierces, pierces, I fear these armor pieces may only be heavy armor and then I can't look like him. I want my tall player mount, what's the tall player mount? <laughs> At my behest, your grace, if we have given offense, the blame lies with me. How scammed do you think the other alliance members feel about me? The Warrior of Light being on the Ishgard side. They're like, bro, I thought we had something special. <laughs> Fear not, Sir Knight. It was a surprise, nothing more. And any hint of ill feeling was thoroughly dispelled by the spectacle of our mutual friend's duel with General Rauban. Fair enough, fair enough. The mounts auto adjust to your size. Oh, I get it, I get it. <gasps> Vox? On the subject of surprises, huh. Vox? I could not help but marvel at the Vox? passion and unity of purpose displayed by your countrymen. Vo <laughs> the troubling reports we have received. Hello? Vox has gifted six months of tier one to Mac? Consider this debt settled? Vox! Oh my god! Uh, thank you so much for giving half of a year to the one and only beautiful Mac. Holy shit! Thank you. Sweet beans here? It's far too generous. Far too generous and sweet. Fox, thank you so much. Thank you so much. What the fuck? Uh, boop. I shall take that as a compliment, Your Grace. The events to which you allude are the price of change. The end of the Dragonsong War marks the beginning of a new era for our nation and for the people, high and lowborn alike, who will lead her into oh the Oh my god! Fox, that's so sweet. You don't owe me nothing, but thank you. Sweet, generous, soul. I'm just saying all the management is trying to catch these hands today. Oh no, Muddy. I pray for your patience. I pray for you. Ah, oh, yes. The people. Don't have payment methods for throne, right? Change uh. is indeed a perilous thing. For we who seek it, and they who fear it. I shall pray for Ishgard. This is true. And for you. This is true. We hate change. I don't get I don't get how like this I'm gonna say that the people in this universe are all like human mindset because we as humans we crave change so much, but then the minute change starts happening, we're all like, oh my god! Stop! What's happening? I hate this. I have an aversion to change. Don't you know how hard that is for me, Golsif? <laughs> Uh, I spent my time looking for a fresh sprout who wasn't on the free trial so you could pay down the kindness that was given to you at one point. Aww, Joy, that's so sweet. Don't pray for strength, because if I get any, they're catching them. <laughs> These hands rated E for everybody. <laughs> Muddy, I'm sorry you're having a rough day. <laughs> uh, we want change, but not change that affects us. Precisely. Precisely. <laughs> We want things to change, but we want our lives to be unaffected. <laughs> Little harsh terror is so cute. Well, that made for a refreshing change. Congratulations on your victory, by the way. Thanks, Dankrin. I said, do you want to fight me? Do you want to catch these hands? Bitch, I'll catch you in the street. Bitch, I'll be joined. <laughs> okay, I love you. Just gave a level 2 sprout, 25k gill, and 50 it's high quality so boiled eggs! Boiled eggs! Oh, I should have to be eating my eggs, I forgot. I'm glad you did not strain anything in the process of single-handedly winning the battle for Hey, Thancred said what we were all thi- Oh, he's fine. The music is still upbeat. Thancred said what we were all thinking. We literally carried the battle. It is but a scratch, I assure you. And I will not suffer you to worry over me. 
Not when we have a dozen far more important concerns. I just got such a bad feeling. I just got a really bad feeling about Thancred. I'm not getting attached. I'm not getting attached. I'm not getting attached. The fact that I think the game wanted me to dismiss that little collapse. Obviously, don't say anything in chat. Don't say anything in chat to this theory. But the fact that he collapsed and the music didn't get dramatic to try and bait me or anything, it just was sort of like a, eh, it was just a little thing that happened. I, <laughs> I think, I think Thancred is not long for this world, especially because Ishtola was like, Thancred, your ether is weakened or or whatever the hell she said. He's, he's super vulnerable to ether. I'm, I see a bad thing coming. I sense a bad thing coming. MV! How am I doing today? I'm doing really good. I had lots of coffee. I was a little bit productive. How you doing? Your game froze? Don't know if you're getting Oh, you just had weak internet? You're okay. You're okay. I'm already attached to me too. I, I just want to say, for the record, I will ball. I will not be consolable for like at least a day if we lose Thancred. Just saying. Terry, you're lying to yourself. You're already attached. I know I am. I know I am. <laughs> No, because that's so me not getting attached, but in reality, I get very attached to characters. <laughs> Thancred is daddy. I will ball. I will ball. It won't be okay. I get attached so fucking easy. Literally, they make one witty quip, and I'm like, I'm in love. <laughs> Doing good. Made some nuggies and fries. The perfect dinner. I think I'm getting... Do you know what my absolute comfort food is? And I think Spess is making it today. I think we're having grilled cheese and tomato soup. If I'm in a horrible mood, I'm not in a horrible mood, mind, but if I'm in a horrible mood or like in a down mood or whatever, and I have grilled cheese and tomato soup, I don't know what it is about it. It's the most comforting comforting thing I can eat. It's so nice. It's warm, it's cheesy, it's salty, it's so good. It's homey, yeah. Part of me wants to mute stream and hyper focus on playing, so if daddy dies today, I don't see it. <laughs> if I don't see it, it doesn't happen. EJ, if I feel it's coming, I'll be like, look away. Grilled cheese and tomato soup is the GOAT. It is probably one of my favorite meals. My favorite food is pasta, hands down, but my favorite comfort food, for sure, grilled cheese, tomato soup. Yo, Gaming Cakes, that's such a cute name, by the way. Thanks for the follow. I approve your taste buds, thank you, thank you. I think it's because my mom used to make it when I was like down, and so it's like, obviously that instantly became my comfort food. Food for the heart and soul, precisely, Moon Moon. Thals balls, I had forgotten what it was like to feel so alive. Not since leaving the blood sands have I had the privilege. Not since the bull of Alamigo hung up his swords. Hi, good to have you. How you doing? I've been thinking of making a hot sauce, maybe like a mango hat. Oh, <gasps> sweet and spicy is so good, Muddy. I fully endorse this. My mom used to make that for my little brother and I, and it's still very comforting for me too. I, is this a universal experience? Did everyone's parents used to make this for them? Not big on super tomato, but more for you to enjoy. Exactly. You'll, you'll have the grilled cheese. I'll have the extra soup. As the prediction god I am, I'm too worried. Oh, you're not too worried. Also chicken noodle soup and peanut butter set. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, chicken noodle and peanut. I'll let you have that one, Becky. I'll let you have that one. <laughs> like together? <laughs> Whenever I'm sick, I always want chicken nachos from this place down the road for me. It's the most comforting food. Chicken nachos. What what else is on? Is it just like chicken or is it like barbecue chicken or like what, what flavors? First time I had it was in uh, English camp. Loved it ever since. It's perfect. It's the perfect comforting meal. He's not just daddy though. He's daddy, which is like daddy but hotter. Agree. Grilled cheese and chicken soup when you were sick. You're close, Envy. You're close, but uh, not quite there. <laughs> Sid is the only Zaddy. Thancred is not quite there yet. Thancred is close. Thancred's like the twink version of Zaddy. He's like, he's not grizzled enough. He's getting closer as, as we progress through the story, but he's not fully there yet. So I agree with you, Magic. I agree. Never had tomato soup and grilled cheese together. Chill. If you get the opportunity. Yes. It's so comforting. Comfort food. <laughs> Vox, please. Vox. No. Oh, spicy chicken with beans, queso, and fresh made tortilla. Okay, that sounds fire. I used to go to a pho place whenever I felt a cold coming on and got like the spiciest chicken soup and then also added more spice into it and just blasted my nose, like blasted all the mucus out of my nose whenever I felt a cold coming. And it almost always worked. Uh, 
Sid is daddy, but not zaddy, which I'm conflicted about because I know Final Fantasy VIII Sid, and it's... Okay, so my experience was Kingdom Hearts Sid. My queer little heart, dude. My queer little heart. If you know Sid in Kingdom Hearts, I think he's the same as Final Fantasy X Sid. Like the kind of grizzled, kind of southern looking... Oh, <laughs> my heart. Uh, back then, the outcome might have been different, but I do not begrudge you your victory. I know how far you've come, how much you've endured. Our fight only confirmed it. And you only had one arm, Roban. Like, don't be hard on yourself, dude. We shall have to do this again one day, when time allows. I shall look forward to it. Now go. Go to the Ishgardians and celebrate your victory. You've earned it. Thanks, Roban. Come, Pippin. Her grace is expecting us. Bye, Pippin. I love you. He's so cute. He's so cute and precious. Ugh. Final Fantasy VIII Sid is Chonky Boy. Okay, I'm here for it. Kingdom Hearts was my fave game! Let's go, Game of Cakes! I never played any of the handhelds, but I played 1, 2, 3 and loved them. So there was a, actually, that's a lie. I played Dream Drop Distance on the 3DS. That was the only handheld one I played. Loved it. Um, also really liked hot and sour soup and grilled cheese. Okay, that sounds like it slaps. I would frick with that for sure. As a person who loves food, my body doesn't exactly agree with it as much. Lactose pills have been my savior. I Was it Islua or Lutellus that bought them for me? I think it was Islua. And I will be buying more for myself in the future because they absolutely work for me. And I can have cheese and not die. It's fantastic. Life is good again. <laughs> Life is worth living again. <laughs> uh, but not hot like Thancred, more like 90s bad boy band. Oh, yes, my heart. Chili pea and Lipton uh, noodle soup. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> we need to switch topics. I'm getting so hungry. Not dad bod chunky, but like actually chunky. Let's go. I love all bodies of all shapes and sizes. My first version of Sid was technically 15 and then 7. Wait, Final Fantasy 15 was... Wasn't that Cindy? And she was like, what about the decals? <laughs> Sorry. That's very specific humor. Uh, Kingdom Hearts was my childhood. Me too. Me too. I literally cried at the end of, I think, two because it was over. Not because it was sad, just because it was over. <laughs> Involved my eyes out at each one. Cannot wait for... Is KH4 confirmed? I didn't hear about this. Do we know if we're getting one? Speaking of food, I gotta go make dinner, so I'm gonna look for a bit. Bandy, we'll see you in a little bit. Things like tomato soup end up feeling like I've been swallowing acid for five minutes. Oh, like acid. Do you get acid reflux from it? That's one thing I've never experienced in my life and I don't want to. It sounds awful. Uh, in all the years I've known Roban, I cannot recall ever seeing him look so happy in defeat. Well, everything seems to be falling into place, does it not? The Ishgardians have claimed their symbolic victory and the Eorzean Alliance has been strengthened in the process. Be proud, sir. You made this happen. And we get our book upgrade. Let's go. Oh! Victor victory? How do I victory? How do I victory? I think I unlocked an emote. You've learned the emote victory. Is it just slash victory? Eh. Ah! Oh, slash victory doesn't exist. How do I... How do I do it? How do I do it? <laughs> I want a victory, guys. <laughs> Final Fantasy 15 One Direction Edition. <laughs> it's an emote. What is the slash command for it? Boom, 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 boom. Has anybody here watched the new cyberpunk anime? I have not. Would you recommend? It is an acid reflux. It just feels like your throat is in pieces. Oh, that's even worse. There is a trailer for it. Yo, I'm going to have to check that out later. Night of Oxford, I'm so excited. I've been waiting to watch with my sis. Doo -doo. Uh, Zash Vipos? You celebrate victory. Aw, he's cute. He just writes in his little... Oh, in a little bow. Right in his little book in a little bow. I feel like other classes might have more dramatic victory poses. Oop, we missed the quest. I have 700 hours in the game, so I'm absolutely itching for it in the expansion next year. Let's fucking go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So good, it made you reinstall the game. I still need to do a playthrough of... Uh... Oh, we should grab this book as well, just in case we level Scholar at some point. Or, like, do the job quest for Scholar. Um... I really want to go through and do a cyberpunk playthrough at some point in the future. I don't know when, but whenever I get a moment. <laughs> don't use keyboard emotes, I just have the emote menu. What a scam. Can always go into social and then emotes. Okay. We've done it. Nay, you have done it. 
You have brought us the victory we so desperately needed. There is not left but to return to the capital. Come, let us see what reception awaits us. Hopefully this just magically solved all of our problems and everything's good and everything's nice. Playing Summoner, I'm really enjoying it. I am really enjoying it. So a little uh, Final Fantasy context for me is I played A Realm Reborn whenever it came out, which is like a billion years ago, and then I didn't touch the game since. Uh, and now we're back to it. And Summoner feels so, so different from what I remember. Summoner used to have like damage over time, like abilities, and now it's all just nuking and it's so good. My Lord. <gasps> Honoroy? Or Onoroy, I forget how to pronounce his name. Onorwa, I think. Onorwa, my boy. There it is, Onorwa. You be in bed? He I lives! Keep your concern, my lord. But I have largely recovered from my ordeal. Largely. And I have naught but several scars to show for it. Largely, I browse. I have been told some women may find appealing. Does he have a little eyebrow scar? Yo, he a bad boy. Okay, Charlie Puth, we see you. We see you. I uh, want to buy a physical copy of Cyberpunk and not update it so you can experience the true <laughs> Cyberpunk. I don't think you want to, Jolly. I think there was like game-breaking bugs. Cyberpunk dr uh, stream drink on death. Do you die a lot in that game? If you play on a hard enough difficulty? Is it a, is it a death-heavy game? We need another death-heavy game where I die a lot. Today I've been filling out uh, your fishing log some more. Started with Lanosia and well, I hate myself. Stupid completionist in me. Is this fishing not fun in this game? Some fish need specific time and weather. Some fish on top of that need to mooch off of a mooch off of a mooch. They changed summoner when Endwalker release. Yeah, I think I was vaguely aware of that. So I wanted to unlock Anar uh, Arcanist and power level it in summoner just to be a bastard. Do it, Jolly. Summoner is so fun. Uh, on, a, on a booth. It's intense on higher difficulties. Heal meds are important. Gotcha. It is if you don't know what you're doing. It's me. I never know what I'm doing. And to think I was worried sick over you. I'm not sure I understand, my lord. Well, let's put that theory. What is he? What is he? My, my lord? What are you doing? It would seem <gasps> like many things have occurred in my absence. Where's my wig? I should I, I should cosplay Alphano again on Thursday. By welcoming you in person. I feel like I should just sprinkle in the wig, the wig and ears here and there. Word of your victory in the grand melee. I cannot well describe our relation when we heard the news. Cyberpunk stream drink on glitch? Apparently they're mostly fixed now, Pepper. Fishing is fun if you do it more casually. Oh, but you're just grinding it. Have level 82 summon on your main account. Gotcha. Mooch means using one fish you caught as bait to catch a- Oh! I didn't really know what that meant. Alphano? I love Alphano. Like I always say, I don't know how the, like, the broader- I don't know how the broader community feels about Alphano, but I love him. I love him. Call to mind the day we rejoined the Aeorzean Alliance, and I glimpsed hope Goodbye, really liver. kindled in the eyes of the people. Dude, Fury has dude, hang on. A new, era. new drinking game Fury, idea. The time is now. New drinking game idea. We play Final Fantasy XIV story, and every single time the Warrior of Light nods, we drink. <laughs> We'd be blacked out in like an hour and a half. Aye, that it is. Reconvene the conference and summon Vidofnir to Falcon's Nest. Vidofnir! We will make peace with Race Belga's brood and hasten this bloody war to its end. Yes. Yes, Lord Commander. Hey, I said that. Jinx, you owe me a soda. That'll be a short stream. I'll be just be on the floor. <laughs> you would kill yourself. <laughs> oh, man. What's the most drinks we've ever ever had on a drinking stream? Your brother's disposal. He'll be glad of your assistance. I think it was Cuphead, and I think it was 150 deaths, right? I think it's the most we've ever drank in one stream. But it was like, it was a seltzer, and we were taking small sips, so it was, it was manageable. I love the character progression in Alfie. He started off as such a little prick, but I, but then he started growing, and I like him a lot. Also, Izagi, I didn't say hello to you. Welcome in. How you doing? Whew. You hate fishing. You did uh, level grinding to get over with the ASAP. You just wanted it gone. <laughs> okay, I put on this sweater because I was really chilly at the start of stream, and now I'm schwitzing. Now I'm schwitzing. Eh. Oh my god, when Hogwarts Legacy comes out, drink on racism and transphobia! No! That's not spilling over into the game at all, is it? 
God, I would be so sad because the game looks so good. Uh, no stopping it now, is there? Let my team thank you. It's my derpy mode, but on a shirt. <laughs> It is. Ugh. They nod a hell of a lot in Heaven's Word alone. We just, we just always My nod. Dear friend, it's just always. I doubt it's just I will constant. ever be able to thank you enough. But when the conference is successfully concluded, I damn well mean to try. God, I love Amory. Bye, Amory. I hate to see I hate to see you leave, but I love to watch you go. That booty. That booty sashaying away. From what I've heard, the story is you're fighting against elves trying to be free of slavery. House elves trying to be free of slavery. Oh! So rampant then. <laughs> Bad guys are the goblins, uh, and you collect their heads on your what monka S, dude. Uh, they say you do dueled General Roban with it. You weren't watching, Alphano? What were you doing? Where were you, King? What were you doing? I did not think the man so ostentatious. Yes, of course. Very ostentatious. Ostentatious. Characterized by vulgar or pretentious display, designed to impress or attract notice. Of course, yes, yes. Very ostentatious indeed. You wanna stretch, snowman? Hi, <sighs> snowman, by the way. <sighs> so you're trapped by house elves and you're killing goblins and collecting their head. Hmm. I'll still play it, but they ain't getting my money, yar har har. Oh, oh, I see you. Yeah, I'm just disappointed because the game looks so good. Do, 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 do. After we parted ways to Matoya's cave, I returned here to speak with Tataru. Uh, we agreed to tell the others, uh, only that our search for Minfilia had reached an impact. Oh, you were right, you're looking for Minfilia. Sorry, I'm sorry, Alpha Note. I'm sorry to judge you so quickly. I subsequently learned that you had left for Falcon's Nest, but I thought it best to keep myself for a time. I am wont to, reply to, uh, to rely on you over much when we are together, and I needed to think, to reflect. I still do, I suspect, but matters here seem to be coming to a head. In short, there are still some things I feel I must say, though nothing so urgent that it cannot wait until after the conference. So let us make for Falcon's Nest, and see if Lord Artoirel has need of our assistance. Who's this little sprout? Who's, who's this little sprout right here? <gasps> I love her glasses. I need little tiny glasses. I like the way you think, Box. Yeah, Box has got it. Just started playing In Sound Mind. Already got to the part with Max. Dude, In Sound Mind was really good. I really liked it. And it made me emotional by the end of it, dude. <laughs> do, 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 do. The Warrior of Light just pausing Alfie's speech just so he can go, Hey, Fantasy Google, what the fuck is this word? <laughs> yeah, I'm just done. Well met, Master Tarabellum, and thank you for looking after my brother. They say he fought bravely, that he did not dishonor his house. But you, my lord, to you I, we owe everything. As you can see, we have made every effort to strike while the iron is hot, but made our intentions known, that, and that all would be welcome to attend. And so they came, by the grace of the fury, they came. The ceremony will not be a lengthy affair, but there is still much to be done. I would speak with you more, but I must see to my duties. As for you and Master Alfano, you will do naught but enjoy yourselves. Is that clear? If any dare beg your assistance again, I will have words. Okay. We get to relax, but for a moment. Well, there you have it. We've been forbidden from meddling. Shall we wait, or have you other matters to attend to before the ceremony begins? Uh, yeah. Excellent. I only hope Thancred and the others will not be late. Ethical views. Oh my fucking god, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave Google open. E epochal. Oh, like as in epoch? Epical. Forming or characterizing an epoch? Epoch. Epic. And oh, it's it's an epic? An event or a time marked by an event that begins a new period or development. A memorable event or date. I'm too dumb for this game. <laughs> I'm too dumb for this game. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, wait, I made it better. Warrior of Light, hearing a confusing word, squats down next to their carbuncle. Hey Siri, the fuck does that mean? I'm learning so much today. Me too, dude. Epical. So like a, a grand moment, essentially, is an epic. But it's spelled E-P-O-C-H. And it's not pronounced epoch like I thought it was. <gasps> I can't remember your name. What is her name? Why did I forget everybody's names? Siri. No, that's not her name. What is her name? <laughs> Help! Help the Lala. What is her name? Hi. Hi, I don't remember your name. This is embarrassing. Do 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 pointed hour approaches. Cryle, thank you. Aye. Aye. Why do you sound sad about it? What's wrong? Ah, there she is. She must be, be forced to witness it as well. Brought out of prison. She Wait, she survived. To watch the proceedings, I saw no reason not to grant it. She begged to watch it. I thought she was like being just like brought Should out of prison. To deviate from my prepared remarks. I ask that you trust in my judgment. Oh. Huh. Have I ever done otherwise? How would you deviate? It's not like we're gonna fight the dragons. You don't agree with that viewpoint. Hive it off, Nair. Look. I'm intrigued. Deviate how, sir? Deviate how? The white dragon. Ah. How long it hath been since our peoples met thus, children of Thordon, even by our I want to make a quick theory. I think maybe he's going to be like, hey, yes, let's be neutral to one another, but let's not enter any sort of alliance yet. The people aren't ready for it. That's what I think he's going to do. Vidofnir, but let's like, of live and let live. Thanks for your visit and bid you welcome to Falcon's Nest. Our sire bade us hearken unto the whispers of our hearts. They spoke to us of a paradise lost, of bonds of brotherhood which they yearned to see restored. Ours too yearn for such a restoration, and they have guided us here this day, that they might yearn no longer. <laughs> Except asking the carbuncle question is basically wiki how. Dude, the wiki how drawings are so good. So many memes have sprung from wiki how. Pause champ. Brothers and sisters. Ye who stand as witness, hearken to me! Since the days of Eld, when the bonds betwixt man and dragon were sundered by our hand, our peoples have known only war. Bloodshed without end, losses beyond counting, and still we fought. And Pause champ. Some wounds do not heal. The dead cannot be returned to us. But we the living can yet choose another course. Here and now, we can lay down this burden, this hatred, this vengeance. Our forebears fought not so that we could die, but that we might live. So let us honor their sacrifice and spare our children this death sentence. Let us gift them a new legacy. Life. <gasps> she cried, dude. She was moved to tears by his speech. Betwixt our peoples yawneth a divide deeper than the deepest abyss, wider than the widest sea. 
You can't. You can't. <laughs> oh man, that took me out. Legacy we leave to our children. A dream of peace, inscribed in stone for generations oh, to come. Man. No, two men can still do that, Jolly. Two men absolutely can still do that. Oh. Jolly said they'd peg Amrick. Izagi, that's what you missed. What have I returned to? <laughs> nothing good, Bambi. Nothing good. Yo, the mural is so beautiful. <gasps> I love it. Shiva and they were so long ago. Happy oh. and at peace. Shiva and Resfogar. The dream they shared shall be ours once more. Aw, oh, that's cute. <laughs> no one is disagreeing. That would make a great tattoo, you're not wrong. Uh-oh. Needhog. Oh, I forgot about Needhog. I forgot about Needhog. <laughs> You're cute. No, you, Vargi. Vargi, welcome in. You beautiful bean. How are you? Oh! Oh, yeah, it's Needhog. Right. Estinian is not himself. <gasps> Your bow. Oh, you piece of shit. <gasps> Wait, but he's... It's like, ew, it's like symbiotic with him now. And the other one's in his shoulder. Wait, so... Wait, so Nidhogg, Nidhogg, not Nidhogg. So Nidhogg controlling Astinian forced Astinian to kill Vidofnir? A fellow dragon. Nidhogg, please, dude. He look another extremely fuckable yet dangerous man. He's he's very fuckable. You are. Art thou grown so forgetful that thou wouldst forsake kith and kin and consort with the spawn of Thornton? That thou wouldst dare contemplate peace! So he just fucking offed Vidofnir. Bro. What in the Resident Evil eyeballs is that? Resident Evil eyeballs. I thought that's what you were saying. I was confused. Sorry. I butcher every name ever. It's just gonna happen. Hearken unto me, all of you. The final chorus is nigh, and all will be held to account. All will bathe in the flames of retribution. Till the coming of that day, look you on your sins and despair, for none shall escape my wrath. None shall escape my revenge! <laughs> Is the Kool-Aid paleo? I forgot to change the go-live notification, Sweetling. There's no Kool-Aid here today. I forgot to change everything. So you probably got the wrong notification. It's okay, I butchered 9% of the names here because they're French, like Honorwa. It's spelled like honor oit honor oit but it's Honorwa. And Alpha Nod is Alpha No. If I only could make a deal with Nidhogg, I'd get him to turn me into a horrible monstrosity. Damn you, Nidhogg. You damn him to hells! <laughs> Thy final verse is sung. <laughs> Wait, Nidhogg, before you fly off, can I make a mold of something? There's a website that would be very, very interested and pay a lot for the Hells, mold. Hells, take that worm! While he lives, we'll never know peace. I, the 
There'll be no end to this war till Nidhogg is dead and gone. Hey, people rallying. So let's kill the bastard. Yo, the humans are rally or the Ishgardians are rallying. Un to Nidhogg. Under our common foe, Nidhogg is working in our favor. <laughs> not just you, it messes me up too. Good, good, good. Friend spelling messes me up so bad. I'm just up. Yeah, no, you're not. Just, it's not just you, MB. Believe. Don't worry, Sweetling, we'll remind you again. Death to Nidhogg! 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 That Alfie scene was no bitches in Final Fantasy XIV format. I think I have cat hair on my nose. It's so itchy today. That's a mood right there, turning into a dragon. You ever just be so mad you become a literal dragon of hatred? Hey, huh? one more time. I didn't hear you. What? What? Okay, that's some bullshit. Hold up, game. My character gets to hear, but I don't get to hear? Hello? That's not fair. Y'all keeping secrets? It's disrespectful. The only dragon here is bad dragon. I mean, Nidhogg is a bad dragon. So it's only fitting if there's a Nidhogg bat. Not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> there they go, the last of the guests. Having come hither with hope in their hearts, they depart with hatred and bloodlust. Until the moment I saw him strike, I still had some small hope that what you had seen in Azisla was an illusion, perhaps, but he acted without hesitation, as did Sir Emmerich. For a mercy, Vidofner's wound was not mortal! Or so Lucia tells me, let's go! The dragon was spirited away to Annex Trine to receive care from her brethren. We can but hope her recovery is swift. But such was surely Nidhogg's intent, to deliver a proclamation not only to the children of Thordan, but to his kindred. War is coming, and ye who do not stand with us, stand apart. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. She was an example, a message to her brood, another instrument of his vengeance, like Astinian. Let's take the scholar book, please. Yes. Bad dragon are bad because things like. <laughs> Whoa. Uh There's also a. a... No, Jolly. No. <laughs> Too far. Hellfire armor? Oh no, that's not for me. Fending, maiming, striking, scouting? None of these are for me! What an upset. When I said I wished to speak with you after the conference, I confess, I envisaged rather happier circumstances. If anything, however, this latest tragedy makes the need more pressing. There are things I must say. Not to the Warrior of Light, or even my fellow Scion, but to you, sir. My friend, aww. But not here, no. Yeah, Mizuki Teraki can hear- Teraki? Mizuki Teriyaki can hear us. We gotta, we gotta go somewhere more private. Ah, but of course, the intercessory in Camp Dragonhead is still open to us. Let us go there. Oh, the Hellfire armor is the boob window dark armor? <gasps> Maybe I take it even if I don't plan to use it. I'll get armor, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. I always get my armor last. It's such a scam. Wait, where's this room again? Isn't it? Hi, gay. Oh, it's down there. It's down there. Hi, Vargi! Dun, 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 dun. Honestly, knowing the Final Fantasy community and the monster <laughs> it would not surprise me. I wouldn't be shocked either, to be completely fair. Do, 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 do. Forgive me. It's comically sized drink time. Oh, 
was that coffee? You seem puzzled. Oh, these. I thought something warming might not go amiss. It was not all that long ago that we sat here, you and I, in our very own falling snows, as Lord Horshvon called it. I still struggle to believe he is gone. And Azel too. I had such hopes for her. Same. Master Matoya asked me what it was all for. Why we fight. And why we die. And he's been pondering well, I still just that. Of the that drink is bigger than you, I know. Have replied, I love playing Lollafell. Of Eorzea, but I'm not that man. Not anymore. He's broken. I needed a new answer. One that I could live with. And when I saw Estinian at the ceremony, I knew at last what it was. You say I will literally be missed? Jolly, no. You can't. Is it me? Is it me, Alphano? Are you fighting you for me? I do not want to be a man Lordy, I do be paying for your brekkie dose time. <laughs> I want to Low key, yeah. Estinian, and I want to save him. Okay, good. We're not killing Estinian. Let's go. I'm on the same page. Matza! Matza, thank you so much for the 16 months. You beautiful bean. When Nidhogg leads the Lady Arsheart, please know. Sir Emmerich and his forces will do what they believe must be done. You you misspeak one time and it's Lady Arsheart forever. That is their choice to make. Yet even if Sir Emmerich is willing to forsake Estinian, I am not. We must fight for him. For he is our friend and ally. We may struggle. We may fail. But we must try. I'm on the same boat. I'm on the complete same boat. I mean, enchiladas, they're bussin' respectfully. Yeah, well, I get grilled cheese and tomato soup tonight, so... I'm not completely jealous. I'm a little bit jealous, though. Enchiladas sound like they'd be going so hard right now. Look at that coffee. Drink it. Drink it, small lala. Why, Sag? Oh, no, not the memories. Not the memories. Stop. I can't. Okay, that's it. Oh. Ooh! You see a black and white scene, you get ready to cry. We will find a way to save him. Damn right. We will. I know we will. Damn right. Damn right. I refuse to be on this boat. People keep dying and it's making me uncomfortable. Who's hosting? Punk, I love you! Thank you for the host. Taco Tuesday, eat taco. I haven't had tacos in a hot minute, actually. That's a good suggest. Uh, thank you, sir. It is unfair of me to burden myself, uh, for me to unburden myself in this manner. Thank you for apologizing for trauma dumping. Appreciate it. I luckily had the bandwidth for it, but thank you for apologizing. Jolly, thank you for host as well. About to fight a dragon? Good luck, EJ. I prayed for you. Uh, but I am glad that you permit me nonetheless. You are my true friend and ally. Though not all of our fellow Scions will support our stance on Astinian. I have- What? Who wouldn't support that? Who's who's the Scions right now? Ishtola would agree. Or maybe she wouldn't. Actually, maybe Ishtola wouldn't. Thank her to be like, I don't fucking know this guy. So, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Such is the infectious power of hope. We'll win them over in due, uh, in due time. Right. That is quite enough solemn introspection for one night. I think we would both benefit from some time in the company of Tataru. She stays for us at Fortem Manor. Let us not leave her waiting any longer. I can't believe we came all the way here just to have a little private conversation. And now we're going all the way back. Oops. Uh, Memories all alone in the night. Punk, how are you? How your day? Uh, last vigil. Last vigil. Boop. Do, do, do. Do. Oops. Yet again we walk an all-too-familiar path. I'm reminded of when we first came to this manor. 
lost and uncertain. We were granted succor in our hour of need. I hate that word. Suck. Uh, we were saved, and now it is our turn to return the favor. Hear, hear! Let no one say the Scions do not repay their debts. After all, what kind of people would we be if we forsook our friends? If we stopped looking for Ida and Papalimo, or if we gave up hope of bringing Minfilia back? Though she knew it would cost her dearly, Minfilia reached out to us to deliver a message. She believed it was imperative that we understand the true nature of this star, of the rift between Zodiac and Hydaelyn, and of the Asian's aspirations. The moon's haunted. Moon's haunted. Sucker. I don't like the word. I really don't. Tara playing an MMO. I can't believe they made me walk. I was told that the early game was reworked to have less walking. They lied. Sounds like people should get on their scholars and cast sucker at him. Is that one of the scholar spells? I hate it. I'm never playing scholar. Never mind. Um, but for all that for all that has been revealed, I cannot shake the suspicion that there is much we have yet to learn. In any event, I think it's time we step back from the fray and carefully consider our next course of action. It will not be easy to turn this tragedy to triumph, but we will find a way. We will. We will. Sucko Megalon. Um, which one had the, uh, was it maiming? Which one had the boob window? I just, I need the boob window. If it's not something that I can actually use, I need the boob window. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hellfire. Hellfire armor of fending. Oof. Do. Play Sage instead and get Pepsis and fl fl Fligma Balls. <laughs> You've learned the emote Battle Stance. That's probably slash B Stance, I'm guessing. Of all the ways for it to end. It's a very pretty Even before little his sigil, transformation, though. I could feel the worm's hatred swirling about Estinian. The terrible consuming rage enough to fuel a thousand year quest for vengeance it was all I could do not to run away screaming but ish guardians nay all Eorzeans are made of sterner stuff they face danger and death on a daily basis and understand what it takes to win a war true think not too deeply on master Matoya's words her intent was but to steal our resolve but for turned one, other than that, life's pretty much the same. Hey, that's good. That's good. Having a consistent life. As long as it's somewhat a happy one. No complaints. That, and to remind us to look beyond these passing conflicts to trials greater still. To the truth which hides at the heart of this world. I love you, Stola. I love all these fucking characters. So that's your aim, is it? You disapprove. Even Kryle's a 10 out of 10, coming in and immediately making Alpha no uncomfy. Not at all. I believe it's traditional for the student to follow in the footsteps of the master. And you are so very alike. You staller than you! <laughs> Wi-Fi's been pretty shit today too. It's okay. You vibing, you vibing. Tara got so attached to everyone so quickly. Me. Me. I'm not getting attached to any of these characters. Also me. Literally sees them for 0.1 of a second and falls in love. Who watches the Watcher? Thancred. Thancred watches the Watcher. Kryle is good. Wait till Shadowbringer. Does she get even better? I'm excited. Lurk, I love you. Thanks so much for the lurk, punk. That great inexorable wave was upon us, and soon all of Ishgard would bend to its will. For all our sins, for all our scars, the future for which we had long yearned was at last within our grasp. We just have to kill Nidhogg. But... It would be bought at a heavy price. 
For in those twilight hours did Nidhogg cry out for vengeance. Kill Nidhogg again. Nidhogg 2, Electric Boogaloo. The final chorus of the Dragon Song War. This is Thancred? This is Thancred? Wait, why did both of you say- Did I misspeak? Did I call him something other than Thancred? <laughs> How do I feel about Mr. Warrior of Darkness? Literal edgelord. Generic Hureman edgelord. Jesus fucking Christ, Terry. You just finished 3.2? I think it might actually catch up with you. I'm common for you, Carcels. He is Thancred. What? Why? Why are you guys saying this? <gasps> Family Bonita! Need hug to a Stygian Boogaloo! Perfect. Exactly, Terry. He is Thancred. What do you guys say? Our boy! Mr. Pavalimo! There's a scene later where he says, This is Thancred. Oh, and it becomes a meme! Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Can't wait. Caution, Ida. That is all I ask. Do not be so eager to place your faith in them. Not until we know more. Did the, did, does you don't have a voice act, actress yet? What's going on? Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Thancred. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, like really late, like Endwalker late? Hey, look, redacted. That wasn't a Nassian mask, was it? No. I don't think so. Shit, I wasn't paying attention to that person's armor. Shit, I might have recognized them if I was paying attention! I'm gonna cheer on Mizuki Teriyaki, because I think they're at the exact same point in the quest as me. Yay! <laughs> and when they're out of that cutscene, they'll see the slash cheer. I think they're literally at the same part as me. They've been everywhere that I've been. Ah, Master Terabellum! It is well that you are here. You are wanted within. I believe Master Alphano wishes a word with you. Okay. In we go. Oh, slash beast dance! Yeah, 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 yeah! I wanna see. I wanna see, I wanna see. Beast dance. Oh! It's so cute! The little, with the little book at the side. With the little, like, that's, that's fucking precious. And the little, the, he does like a little, come on. Oh, 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 oh. He's like, come on. Ah, I love it. I love it. It's perfect. It's everything I needed. I saw me pose, yeah. Ooh, oh, it's really late. And Walker late. Okay, okay. So I'll forget about it by the time we're there. Ah, sir, there you are. Have you a moment? There's something I would fain discuss. Nodders. I must ask you to recall the events which unfolded at the peace conference, though I dare say you would sooner forget them. Uh, my mind returns again and again to the moment when Nidhogg appeared before the crowd in the guise of Astinian. It was a sight to chill the soul, but one which gave me reason to hope that our friend might not be beyond salvation. When you described his fateful transformation at Azizla, I feared him lost forever, but the mere fact that some semblance of his former self- <gasps> I didn't even think of this. Uh, some semblance of, of his former self endures must surely count for something. Alas, I have no evidence to support this impression. Thus did I turn to Ishtola and Kryl for a more empirical appraisal, and full glad I, I am that I did. Uh, for it would seem they have some observations of their own to share. The ladies have saved us a table at the Forgotten Night. Shall we go? Yes. Patch 3.3. Excellent. Let us not keep our honored colleagues waiting. How many patches do I have to go through for post Heaven's Word? Because we finished 3.2, we're on 3.3. Like, what is it? What does the numbers go up to? Oh, we can just warp to the front night. What am I doing? You guys are in 6.2. I mean Heaven's Word. I mean post Heaven's Word. 0.5. So not that far. We're like midway through post Heaven's Word already. We're schmoovin'. We're schmoovin'. 3.5 is the last for post heaven's word, yeah. We're cruising, dude. Cursals, you better start sweating. We're gonna catch you in no time. Dude. That's a hard dragon? What's the dragon's name, EJ? I don't remember fighting any dragons in Realm Reborn. 
but I also have like a horrible memory. Listen. <laughs> and looking at quest list 3.1 and 3.2 are a lot longer than the others. Long, Crystals, you better, you better, you better get going. You better get going, Crystals. We're gonna be there. <laughs> Not to worry, Alphano. We had some rather fine mulled wine to keep us company. Oh. Truth be told, you could have delayed your arrival a few minutes. Bro, more. I have the weirdest craving. I don't really love wine, but I have such a craving for a tall glass of red wine right now. I feel like that would just be Gibran like got the spicing so just good. right this time. His latest batch is not only delicious and warming, but soothing. Oh yeah! Midgarsimer was in ARR. No, wait. Wasn't Midgarsimer early heaven? No. No, you're right. You're right. It was in late ARR. You're right. You're right. You're right. Its name starts with an A. I can't. I can't place it. I can't place it. Indeed, but was not to soothe our humors that we gathered here. Oh no, quite right. The matter of that poor dragoon. You have discovered something. A means to save him. What if it's like? Have you guys ever played the the DS Doctor game? Oh shit, what is it called? Trauma Center, I want to say it's called. The one where like you like cut out viruses and then the viruses start mutating and you have to like chase them around inside the body. I feel like that would be a fun mini game to save Astinian. Is suddenly the game turns into Trauma Center and you're just like <laughs> No, I'm kidding. That would be kind of cool though. Suddenly a surgery mini game. Let's not jump to conclusions, shall we? Because we could just like cut off, make an educated analysis, just cut off his arm, cut taught. off his other shoulder. He's fine. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV Center. <laughs> With all the trauma in this game? Yeah. <laughs> Pray, cast your mind back to the moment of Astinian's transformation. Mm -hmm. Do you recall how you described it to us? The eyeballs took him. He was taken by the you balls. You spoke of the sudden pangs which racked his body when he took up both of Nidhogg's eyes. Yes. And of how his form was twisted thereafter into a shadowy semblance yes. of the great worm. Yes, this is true. I know, Kyo, I know. When he appeared at Falcon's nest, the worm's eyes were fused to his mail. I feel like, you know what I think it was? I think the, the Hashifan event, I think I, I had some like... You can quote me on this because it's gonna. This is gonna bite me in the ass. I think I had some like built up desire to cry. So when I started to feel the cry coming, it's like it just like all came out. And I feel like by the time we're in the sad stuff later on in the game, I'll be sad, but I won't be like inconsolable like I was. I feel like I'll be okay. You can gladly uh, like quote this later <laughs> when I'm bawling my eyes out later, because <laughs> I'm probably wrong in that assumption. Snaking forth from the eyes, I described dark tendrils which entangled his very oh, being. Oh, His ether has been all but smothered. But it's still there, right? Then he is lost to us forever? No. What did I just say about jumping to conclusions? Yishtola clearly stated all but smothered. Oh, not smothered. Not smothered. The butt. Don't forget the butt. Clip it, clip it now. You will not be okay. As I later discovered, her impression matched my own. Though Nidhogg's presence filled my mind's eye, beneath his seething aura, I sensed the merest hint of something else. I mean, Astinian did have an incredibly strong will. And That's how he was able to use the eye. his observations, I became more certain of my suspicion that the something else I had sensed was, in fact, the trace of a different will, submerged in the sea of Nidhogg's rage. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. You mean? Yes, tis like that Astinian spirit yet lingers. Let's go. Can we not wrest him from Nidhogg's grasp then? Tear the eyes from the armor? We know not if that would serve to separate Worm's soul from man's. None have ever attempted such a feat. Should it offer even the faintest hope of success, then by the gods, I shall be the first to try. Alpha no. <gasps> also, oh my god, you guys. Uh, so those that know Final Fantasy XIV, the other day I did a, um, I did a, oh shoot, the raid roulette? I think it was the alliance raids? And I did that one raid, I don't know the name of it, but where you fight the dog, and then some of, like, one of the parties has to get eaten. I've never been on the getting eaten side of that fight before. 
It was gross, but it was very cool. That was a really cool mechanic, but a very gross one. <laughs> By all means, hold fast. Harvey, you had a girl. Let's go, Becky. You're a mother. <laughs> Let's go. What happens? Do the babies ever grow up in Stardew, Becky? Or do they stay little forever? Can they grow into like little kids and then help you on the farm? World of Darkness, yes. And I've never been on the getting eaten side of that before. Alliance A, all in the belly. B, belly. C, come get in the belly. <laughs> That's not right. The Cerberus fight, yes. Aw, they just run around the house. That's so cute. I wish they could grow. That's That feels like a missed opportunity. Have them like a... Have like a little... Have like a little child labor hut that they work on your farm from. That'd be cute. Clips don't work for me on tablet for some reason. I can't clip them or anything. Aw, that's a bummer. I mean, I can go back and clip it myself to like show myself. Even should you succeed in excising the eyes from the dragoon's mail, we have no way of knowing if your friend's soul would survive so violent a separation. Mm. And that is to say nothing of the possibility that his would-be savior might become Nidhogg's next host. All right, so we have to go into Nidhogg's mind and fight Nidhogg in his brain. But what other choice remains That's what made to me us? think of the belly fight. Yo, Chaos, Should how you doing? to present itself, I will tear those foul orbs from Estinian's armor and trust in the resilience of his soul, even at the risk of mine own. He's committed. He's committed. Hi, Frago! Ah, I found you at last. Frago, welcome in. Doing okay, and you? Doing exceptionally okay. Aggressively okay, I am. I wish they were gonna earn their key. Can't wait to see that concerned ape does with Oh, I forgot about the Haunted Chocolatier. Oh, man, I forgot about that game. It's gonna be banging. It's gonna be the Stardew Killer. A messenger of the Temple Knights came to the manor some few hours past. The Lord Commander humbly requests the company of the Warrior of Light and Master Alphano. Wouldn't it make more sense for C to do chains, Jolly? B, belly, C, chains, A. Anything else? Question mark. Mahez! Mahez, how are you? Welcome in. How are you vibing so much and where can I steal some of this energy? Um, um, so there's these beans. There's these beans you can buy uh, in the store, Chaos. And then typically if you like sift really hot boiling water through the beans, it creates this brown magical liquid that you can drink and it'll give you like much energy, much joy. Every reason to wake up in the morning, basically. <laughs> I'm talking about coffee. <laughs> if you didn't get it, I'm talking about coffee. <laughs> coffee is where I get my vibes from. I wanna play a Final Fantasy game, but like almost none are on Xbox. Frago, have I got the game for you? Did you know? That you could could somebody exclamation mark FFXIV. <laughs> Missed my normal stream time because I slept through my alarms. Oh no. Do you stream at the start of your day, Mahez? That's unhinged. That's unhinged behavior. Streaming when you wake up? Absolutely unhinged. It's mod locked? Oh it is mod locked. I, I'll have to do it myself. Boop. I forgot it's mod locked. It's a good thing it's mod locked. There you go, Frago. There's a game for you. So Emmerich would speak with us. Very well. Thank you, Anawa. You stream at 2 a.m. for you. Oh, is that so you can make the Western time slot? Do I have to fight against a giant to get them? MV, no. You mean the broth of be- Ew, I've never heard it called broth before and that's so gross, but accurate still. I would love some bean broth. Tasty caffeinated bean broth. Seem duty calls. Pray see to yours and we shall return to ours. Yes. Thank you, Yishtola. Kryl. Is 14 on Xbox, you guys? Hope where there was none. I know it's on PlayStation. Final Fantasy VII is on the Xbox. Oh, as long as as well as 15. Come then. Sir Emmerich awaits. There may yet be a way to save him. Coffee is just watery soup. I hate it. <laughs> if I drink coffee, I sleep better than without. Isn't it true that people with ADHD? Caffeine has the reverse effect, like a calming effect. This dragoon to cloud his thoughts. I worry he may do something rash. Keep an eye on him, would you? Hmm. He may succumb to Nidhogg's influence if he's too possessed of this. Coffee is bean soup. <laughs> Maybe 
Midgarsmer? Oh, Midgarsmer. They think more of their friends' deliverance than their foes' defeat. But will history commend their fealty or condemn their folly? They will commend us. They will commend us. We will save Astinian. I can see it now. There will be a moment where Astinian will like come through and he'll be like, No! You have Falcon's to kill me! Nest. And we'll be like, No! Be a I don't want to! Reconciliation twixt man and dragon. But the lingering shade of Nidhogg, clad in the flesh of the Azure Dragoon, did mark the occasion by spilling the blood of his own kind. True. A timely atrocity to remind the children of Ishgard that the Dragonsong War was far from over. And when fear gave way to fury, the call to arms rang out anew. Death to Nidhogg. Death to Nidhogg. But this one's a necessary death. Like... Nidhogg doesn't give a shit. We gotta kill him. Caffeine is a stimulant which helps us focus. That's so cool. Apparently, do not quote me. When Yoshi P was trying to discuss doing 14 on Xbox, uh, Microsoft wanted dedicated servers or whatever specifically for Xbox players. Oh, like to separate the community? Why would Microsoft want that? That's so cursed. Had to switch to a hella strong cup of tea because coffee headaches were so real for you. You relate uh, to have some in the morning. Yeah. If I don't have caffeine, I, I end up with caffeine headaches as well. Which is kind of a problem. Kill hog. <laughs> oh. I was disappointed when I discovered caffeine didn't affect you. But at the same time, you're like, haha, mother, you were... <laughs> Wrong, it did not make me hyper. Yeah, um, honestly, not needing coffee is a nice thing. I, I regret switching off of, I used to have either green tea or black tea. Black tea has a little bit more caffeine than green um, in the morning. And I used to have just enough energy with black tea or green tea. And then I switched back to coffee and it's like, I want to wean myself back to the tea. <sighs> but coffee's so good. Coffee's so tasty. Uh, casting coffer. Please don't be an upgrade. Please don't actually be an upgrade. I like my equipment. I like my equipment just the way it is. Augmented hailstorm boots of casting. Let's see. No, it's an upgrade. Oh, it's cute. Look at our little crown. Oh, look at our book. Okay, I'm not mad. That little crown is cute as fuck. Plus we got this little, what is that? Like a, hang on, I need the panda off my head. Can I beckon you off my head? How do I beckon you off my head? Get, get off, get off my, get off my, sh slash shoe? Get off my head, I need to see. It's like a little hair tie thing? I don't know what that is. You call it the Shiva glam? Oh, it does have Shiva. It's very much giving Shiva. I love it. It's cute. I'm here for it. The pizza is aggressive. What's up, Tin Cans? Welcome in. Uh, um, Yoshi P didn't want the Xbox servers because he wants all the players to enjoy it together. Didn't want to separate. I so get that. So Xbox didn't end up getting it, eh? Anything with caffeine makes you want to sleep? Bummer. Even like Red Bulls and stuff? As such, 14 is still in talks for coming to Xbox consoles. Blame Microsoft. Of course, it would be my Microsoft's fault. Problem. Made the clip. The link was uh, clipped in the perfect length. 10 out of 10, EJ. Well done. Well done. Do, 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 do. Like a Padawan braid. Yeah, like a Padawan braid. Those sets, sets are primal themed. So the Hellfire would be Ifrit themed then? Hellfire is basically Ifrit with those horns. God, that's so cool. You can also dye it different colors. Cool. Oh, I forgot to do... I forgot to do the die quest. I forgot. It gives me shivers. Wah, wah. <laughs> Keo, please. <laughs> I forgot to do that quest, Jolly. That's my bad. 
Had the habit of drinking energies to sleep. That's so cool. It's so, like, for people without ADHD, it's so, like, backwards seeming, but also so cool that you can, like, kind of self medicate with caffeine. <laughs> Hmm. Might Sir Amerik perchance have received... I Yeah, I, I'm digging this. I'm digging this glam for now. Uh, might Sir Amerik perchance have received word of a Dravani advance? Or mayhap they have located a stint... That is to say, mayhap Nidhogg has been found. Come, I would hear that the Lord Commander has to say. Dropping in to say hello. Latalis, love you. Hope your day's been awesome. Jolly, thanks for the hydrate, by the way. Only have energies to drink some spicy juice? Yeah. And that wouldn't work. My friends, I thank you for coming. You have had news of Nidhogg? Alas, not. It's so cute. Our scouts range far and it. wide, but they have as yet found no trace of the Great Worm. We dispatched an elite unit of dragoons to reconnoiter the churning mists, but even they returned empty handed. A pity. Fear not, Alphano. We shall see the worm again soon enough. His words at Falcon's Nest attest to that. Honestly true. Indeed, he is like to come sooner than we would wish. Taking actual ADD medicine stopped. Just have lots of caffeine now. I hear that's common. A lot of people self-medicate with defenses just caffeine. Are being bolstered as we speak. Particularly undiagnosed people I mean that suspect. Every able-bodied warrior at our disposal, from the Knights of the Four Houses to the men and women of the Watch. Your hairdresser sent you home with excess hair dye and conditioner mix. Your hands turned hello. Oh, oops. You were wearing gloves, were you? Hands turned hello blue. Hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer cleans, that, cleans that right up. I didn't know that. Your hair's kind of like mine. You posted a picture of it, didn't you? The deep blue looked so nice, if it's the picture that I'm thinking of. Had to switch to milk alternative, because lactose hates me. Lactose pills. Lactose pills. They work. I can attest to it. Yeah, it's super nice. I, it's such a vibe. I really love it. I don't want coffee to make me sleepy. <laughs> but I did not summon you to discuss strategy. What then would you have of us, my lord? True. I will speak plain. Now that Nidhogg is possessed of both. Yeah, I saw the red EJ. No mortal force we the can red looks really good. repel him. That being the case, we must needs recruit an ally of equal strength. Dude, when I uh, when I dyed my hair red the 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 redness in my face like the like the undertones came out so aggressively i already have like a pretty pink face but when i had red hair it was just like <clears throat> looked like a beat you are diagnosed though but yeah i don't think the amount uh you have per day is healthy probably not probably not it probably would be better to to uh to to take the actual medication Vivid colors are amazing, so much fun. I, I was talking with somebody, and I want y'all's opinion on this. I was talking with somebody very recently, I think it was with Becca, and we were talking about hair dye in general. And I, I said that bleach and hair dye are the hallmark of the queer existence, and I have never been so confident in a statement. Do y'all agree? Like, bleach in particular and hair dye in particular is just like queer You're energy. Grace, Felga. Not that non-queer people don't dye their hair, but it's just like, there's a good chance you see someone with hair dye and you're like, you're a little bit, you're a little bit gay. <laughs> like, just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, EJ. <laughs> I'm an ally, so I feel that. Exactly. I also have ADD and I've never been given medication for it. Caffeine. Went from hair length to your butt to short I crop. To who Ooh, so fried from die. <laughs> I love short hair. I love it. I, I'm envious of really long hair, but I love short hair. Like pixie cuts on like femme presenting people. Oh, my heart. I love pixie cuts. Bayonetta 2 pixie cut? My heart, dude. That is Nidhogg's equal, I do not deny. Nor can I name another. But convincing the reclusive creature to do battle with his own brood brother will be. How shall I put this? Not easy. Not easy, it won't be. It is dyeing your hair or shaving it off is our <laughs> trademark. <laughs> It will be no small undertaking, yes. Estinian's report was most particular about Horace Velga's unwillingness to involve himself in the affairs of men. Yeah. But much has changed since your visit he to He also Sabor. attacked Vidofnir. And if there is even a chance that the dragon may be swayed, 
I must plead our case. Whatever price the dragon asks of me, I shall pay it. Such was my oath to defend the people of Ishgard. I think at me, my friends, Ooh, I can't talk. the battle with Nidhogg will mark the end of my tenure as the acting head of church and state. Huh? Will you help me discharge this final duty? Okay. I don't really want to do it on on stream, EJ. I'll do it later. I don't like doing like a lot of side stuff on stream. I prefer to keep it just to the story so we can have the story experience together. During the peak of COVID quarantine, I decided to cut all my hair off into a pixie cut. It was so nice. Bambi, such a vibe. It's definitely like bold though. It's it's a brave thing to do. To just be like, you know what? I have hair out my butt. Huh, pixie. Though I fear our involvement offers no guarantee of success. Come then, we will depart at your leisure. I've heard that of the Hildebrand ones, Cursals. Thank you, both of you. The city is yours, First Commander. My lord, we shall pray for your swift return. Do, 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 do. I feel like uh, what I was trying to say before Amerik so rudely cut me off is I feel like if we just include the fact that yo Nidhogg literally tried to murder Vidofnir. You want to fight with us? He's like totally off the deep end. You want to fight with us? They are a must do on stream. Okay, but <sighs> hair's getting pretty long. Can I want to kind of want to grow? Do you know what actually I realized about my hair? I I like it short, but I want the top, what do you call it, like fringe? I don't know what to call the top of my head, to be longer again, because watching back certain videos, I think like, think uh, like Outer Wilds era and like Last of Us era, like where it was just a bit down to like here on the side and swept off to the side. I think it looked so cute. I think my curls were really pronounced and I kind of am missing them. So I want my hair to grow out more. It was kind of a whole vibe. I got annoyed with them because longer curls take a lot of like, care and I got mad at them <laughs> but I'm ready for them again uh, grieves me to impose upon you in this manner but you of all people understand the threat we now face Curly friend just give me life it's just it's so cute I was like looking at I think it was the last of us playthrough because I just finished uploading the VOD to the VOD channel and I was looking and I was like god my hair was cute <laughs> and I want it back <laughs> it is no imposition sir Emmerich to sir and I Ishgard is a second home after the many battles we have fought and the bonds we have forged, we pl uh, the plight of your nation has become our own. If there is aught that we can do it to aid in its salvation, then I, uh, then pray impose all you must. Notters. Yeah, this little like braid going on is very cute. You are true friends. Shall we be about our task then? We have no way of knowing when Nidhogg's shade will strike, but we must assume that, it, that time is not our ally. Huh? Gulsev, I love that emote. Uh, I had butt long hair uh, four years ago. Before you had Super Bowl, you took a pair of scissors and made yourself shorter than shoulder length. Took a box of bleach and box dye and you're not going back on it. Short hair, and part of why I went shorter, is it's just so much easier to manage. It's so much easier to manage. Way less product required, way less everything required. My hair gets super thick and gets uncomfy if it gets too long. Same. Same. My hair's so thick as frick. Uh, indeed, with that in mind, I have taken the liberty of dispatching a messenger to inform Mistress Tataru that you'll be escorting me to Som Al. I confess, I did not provide the exact details of our destination, as they are as yet unknown to me. We will summon Raids Vulgar at Zenith, in the Churning Mists, ere we begin our, dis our ascent. However, I think it's best that we pay a visit to Annex Trine. You seek an advantage in the coming negotiations. Yes, Vidofnir. D thank you for using your brain. I would consult with Vidofnir. I propose this in part of our concern for her condition. Were she, succumb, uh, were she to succumb to her wounds, it could have grave consequences for our alliance. That apart, she may be able to provide insight into her sire's current state of mind. You do thanks for pets. Oh, well reasoned to the Dravanian Forelands then. If I don't do it on stream, I'll forget again. I, I don't think I will. I just hadn't logged into 14 off stream, whereas previously I did. Bold of you to assume my mental health is good enough to take care of myself and to take care of my hair. <laughs> do, 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 do. Eh, eh. 
of hiccups. Uh, drink water. No, wait. Hold your breath. What do, what do you do again? You hold your breath, I think. When your beard starts growing in, you have a rule that anytime someone you know tells you to shave it or makes a comment about it, that's one more month you do not shave it. Yo, let them know. Don't let them rule you. Look how you want to look, even if you don't want to look it. Keep shitty beard in spite. By the way, ah, uh, control to click the teleport easier. Love you. That is huge intel. I've never grown my hair that long. I can go down to my nose right now. The longest I've had my hair, I don't know if I have any pictures on hand. The longest I've had my hair was uh, shoulder length, but this is with tight like ringlet curls. I never straightened it at that length and I kind of regret it because I bet you it would have been like in the middle of my back. I never even thought to straighten it until like literally just now. Ah, tis the warrior of warriors and his companions. What bringeth you to mine abode? Pray forgive us for disturbing your recuperation, Vidofnir. I hope your wound does not pain you over much. Didst thou imagine me close to death? The thrust was deep, but not mortal. I will heal in time. Full glad am I to hear it. You were the guest of honor at our conference, and we failed in our duty of protection. On behalf of Ishgard, I apologize unreservedly. I am a dragon full grown, and thou thought to protect me, mortal. I was tempered by the fires of battle, ere thy gra great grandsire learned to crawl. Thy words do remind me of a knight whom I called friend some thousand years past. He swore to defend me from harm and hardship. Would that we could return to that era of peace, when man and dragon knew such comrade- Comradeship? Camaraderie? Wouldn't you say camaraderie? Comradeship is such a weird word. Sadly, still going on rough patches that ends up in 10 days of not showering and just hiding. Oh, chaos. I would I would reach out like to professional help if, if you have the means to do so. Definitely, because I've been there. Um, same with X when you're trying to click on something. Well, there's a lot of players around. Just holding X? Holding X will do it or holding control? Do every single time your parents ask, I'll add a month. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, would that our every effort to do so were not undone by ancient rancor. For a truth, there can be no peace while Nidhogg's shade yet lingereth. Exactly. That much is plain, yet we lack the strength to banish him. Thus do we make for some all to beseech the aid of your sire once more. Folly, thou know'st as well as I how he will answer. Raisvogar's heart remains unchanged then, a pity, but if it's folly to hope, I am cur I am content to die a fool. As hath ever been the way with thy kind, go then, but be warned, the Shade's presence hath driven its minions to frenzy. Thank you, Vidofnir, we shall disturb your rest no longer. Uh, spell speed. Slink. Oh no, Chaos, that's no good. That's no good. But at least you're taking the steps necessary. Just, uh, just, just gotta wake up. Just gotta wake up. Just doing side quest? Side quest? Side quest shit? EJ, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. Uh, though I expected no better answer from Vodafnir. I take little pleasure from having been proven right. It would seem that our presence at Zenith will be every bit as welcome as I had anticipated. But what is the ire of one great worm to a trio of self-confessed fools such as ourselves? Let us begin our ascent. After you, Master Afano. Scout ahead if you wish, sir. We shall join you outside Mogholm. Ote. Do -do -do. Hang on, I want to try this control. Oh my god, look at that control click! It literally brings the crystal above everything else. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> you don't know how much your girlfriend is going to like that role, but oh well. Sometimes it's fun to live in spite. Sometimes. Not always. Do, 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 do. I feel like I kind of look like Alphano, because we're both in like the dark navy. 
control them all. <laughs> Uh, I had heard tales of the world above the clouds, but never did I dream. One's mind paints a pale picture of its majesty. Few live to see such wonders. I am reminded of my first visit to this peak, when Astinian and, and Isael yet walked at our side. When we did our little camping trip! What's this one's name again? Is that you, sir? Lord of all the land, good king of the world, good king Mog. The quickest way to sort them is F4 alt. Uh, nice try. I wasn't born yesterday. Teralfano Levibellium. <laughs> it's Levibellium, not Leviobellum. Ah, if it isn't Mog, Mog, uh, oh, this is embarrassing. Don't tell me you've forgotten my name, Kupo. After all we've been through together? Wow, you're a real piece of shit, Alphano. I certainly remember its name. Uh-oh. But at least you remember me. You... You do remember me, don't you, sir? Oh, no! <gasps> um, I don't think it was Moglin. I think it was Mogan. Of course I do, Mogan. <laughs> that was a close one. I had a 50-50. Moglin didn't sound right, though. Oh, man. Joke's on you, Tara. This, uh, this is a reused joke that you almost fell for ages ago. Not even close, baby. Not even close, baby. Phew! You seemed a bit hesitant for a moment there, but I'm sure you were just fondly recalling the time we camped near Zenith. Right, Kupo? Yeah, yeah. But putting our shared history to one side, what brings you and your friends to Mog home, Kupo? Ah, another audience with old race Fulgar. Well, I hope you've brought the horn, Kupo. With the winds as gentle as they are, a good loud toot should reach the great worm's ears easily enough. That is good to hear, Mogan. Thank you. We had best press on to Zenith while the winds are in our favor. I love that theme so much. Now that was unexpected, Kupo. Chieftain Moglin will want to hear about this. Right, Moglin was the chieftain. Whew! 50 50 chance. We got it right. Gonna lurk and be supportive? I appreciate you, Chaos. I hope you have a good, comfy sleep. I consider that the reason to being uh, is because you think of it as Alt F4, but never autocorrect anything else to Alt F4. So you don't think of it as being the same. When you do F4 and Alt and reverse it, it's pretty sneaky. It's pretty sneaky. Alas, I've been on the internet for far too long. I've seen every trick in the book. It's like when I was playing um, Getting Over It. I think if you hold, shoot, I don't know, There's a, I think if you hold R or something, it resets your game and people would always come in when I was streaming it and be like, ooh, if you hold R, you get a super boost. And it's like, oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> wow, I haven't heard that one. And then five minutes later, somebody else and says, comes in and says the same thing. And it's like, what, really? Wow. Never works. <laughs> Race Fulgar, please be open to this conversation. <laughs> Gold Magitek armor. Golden version of the of the Magitek armor. I need it. Hit level 70 on White Mage. That's what gets through the gold Magitek? You dare summon me again, mortals? Great race, Velga. 
is not likely that we beg this audience. Pray hearken to our words, for they concern the future of man and dragon both. Do it for Shiva. Do it for Shiva. 500 commendations. Oh, shit. You have to farm 500 player commendations. Being a healer likely is the fastest way to do that. <laughs> Greetings, Bresvelga. I am Emmerich de Burel, acting ruler of the nation of Ishgard. I'm always shook when me, as a lowly DPS, get a commendation in a dungeon. I'm like, hello? <gasps> Dreamway Witch! Hello? Hello, hello? So good to see you. How was the rest of your birthday, you beautiful bean? Dude, that was honestly such a treat, raiding into you on your birthday. Thank Buckma for that. Buckma was like, you know, Dread Void Witch is pretty good vibes. And I was like, okay, okay. Checked it out. I was like, I love the vibes here. And then I double checked after you were like, oh my God, Tara, I'm in your streams all the time. I was like, really? Opened up, you've been following since like April? You sweet bean, you sweet soul. I am come before Heals and tanks only basically, on yeah. Of my people. As a DPS, I was slowly collected. Very slowly indeed. Like it was so awesome. It was so cool. It's one of the reasons why I love this platform so much is moments like that. I was like, I was a little emotional. It was sweet. It was a sweet moment. Unless the tank healer pisses one another off, then the DPS get the comms. <laughs> so I just gotta always incite chaos between the tanks and the healers. I just, I gotta be that worm so I get the commands. <laughs> to parlay, thinkest thou thy purpose unclear to me? Thou art come to beg mine aid in the battle against the shade of my brood brother. Yes. Yes, tis true. Please? You. Oh, I don't need to read this. It's voice acted. I but read that which is writ plain in thine eyes. Would that thou had wit enough to scry the answer in mine. Well, we knew the answer, but. Alpha, no, my love. Also, hi. Evelyn, welcome in. How you doing? I'm glad you made it. How's your day been? How's stream going? Stream's going really good. My day's been amazing. I was a little bit productive. Feels good to be a little bit productive. Any day that I get a little bit of like work done at home feels good. Feels so good. I pro I'm like patting myself on the back. I'm like, you half did a project that you wanted to do. Good job. Uh, I hated the tomes. Farming and bullshit with the first expert dungeons. Quit until right before Heaven's Word. Played it and got ghosted by your free company for Alex Raids and quit again. That's so sad. Back for Stormblood and quit before completing the story. Only came back during Endwalker. And they say that's the best time to be back, right? Always pat your own back. If you don't gas yourself up, who's gonna? Who's gonna? You got it. You gotta be happy with yourself. How's your day been going? Uh, my beloved Shiva did once build a bridge twixt man and dragon, a bridge which thy treacherous forefathers saw fit to tear down, as thou well, well knowest. The question is, okay, we need to think from like an all-knowing like dragon point of view. Our lives, like they've said a few times, are like a blip compared to them. They've seen thousands of our kind come and go, right? So they're like, yeah, sure. We'll we'll broker this alliance. We'll we'll forge this alliance with you. We'll work it out. But then they're knowing your kind is garbage and repeat their same mistakes all the time. So in a thousand years, maybe even five hundred years from now, someone's gonna be like, you know what? We want the power of dragons and betray another one of them. Like, I I get where the dragons coming. I get Race Fogar's opinion. But the, at the same time, like, come on, <laughs> help us. <laughs> Day was very busy, but I'm home. Got tea? Well, yeah, what kind of tea? This is very important. Making dinner, so we're doing great. Oh, and what's for dinner? This is also very important. I need to know. <laughs> but that's good. That sounds like a good day. A bit, I like busy days because then you get to really relax and unwind by the time you get home. You also sleep really good after a really busy day. So having played since 1.0, only have about 117... Only 117 days played. Holy crap. At the same time, emotions can last for a long time, such as the betrayal. Sag. Oh no, the hair clipping. <laughs> Thinkest thou Nidhogg was alone in despairing at the murder of our brood sister? Thinkest thou mine own soul did not cry out for vengeance? Know then that upon this accursed day, or that accursed day, my heart did wither in my breast, and thy kind become unto me the harbingers of despair. Oh, 
Lavender tea. Soup with so oh my god. Sausage, so carrots, celery, kale, and bone broth. That sounds so nice. Oh my god. Hello? Can we trade places for a minute? So I can eat your dinner? <laughs> for one that lives for thousands of human lives in an instance, uh, to them, thousands of years in sadness can feel fresh. Totally. Totally, totally. I get where he's coming from. But at the same time, please help. Tis only Shiva's gentle dream that preventeth me from flying at Nidhogg's shoulder. Be grateful that I swore to abjure aggression ere I consumed her. I permit my children to offer or deny thee aid as they see fit, to warn thy people of my brood brother's coming, the, that thou wouldst dare ask more of me, but affirmeth thine incurable arrogance. It's not going well, guys. The talk is not going well. It's fall. We're doing teas and soups. It's in my contract. I love it. I love it. Do you know what I'm having for? Do you know what I'm having for supper tonight? Grilled cheese and tomato soup. The ultimate comfort food. I'm excited. I don't think Spess is even home yet. Spess, if you could hear me, I love you. I don't know if he's home yet. He might be like doing something. I don't know what he's doing. Brought a new outfit. Spent nearly all your gill, but you look great. Did you glamour? Because you're doing you're doing it right. You're doing it right. I need to get my poncho glamour back. By Thursday, I think I'm gonna have the poncho glamour. And maybe turquoise? Ooh. Ooh, turquoise poncho, very cute. Very glam. I understand that in your despair at man's betrayal, you seek only the refuge of solitude. But at the same time, you're gonna spend your, the rest of your life in solitude? Come on. But despite your protestations of spent faith, do you not still nurture the smallest flame of hope? Yo, his eyes be a little bit derpy. He's like watching us and like the wall at the same time. If you're having uh, comfort food, you need comfort dessert too. Dude, I never have room for dessert. I never have room. <laughs> Alpha, no, my love. Same. I played 14 until like level 55. You have a Lollafell machinist. I was also machinist until I came back to 14. And then I was like, I want to play summoner. And I'm loving summoner. But machinist was so much fun. Oh, I forgot to read that. Ah, I'm screaming. I do. It was a if short blip. If you blip. claim I see falsely, then tell me. Why did you consent to bear Rizel upon your back? Mmm. Izael. Piteous, deluded Izael. The child did lament her past sins and sought to balance the scales with her remaining days. Twas her unquenchable passion, so alike to that of my beloved, which did spur me into flight. Can you not see that we are also passionate? Hello? Hello? If you're responding to passion? Machinists are great. The rotation reminds me of demonology, warlocks, and wow. Oh my god, you're a wow player? Hello, you're a wow player as well? Well, I was a wow player. I'm trying desperately. I'm trying so hard not to go back for Wrath of the Lich King. I'm trying so hard. A friend of mine, like, I think just resubbed, and I'm like, please don't do this to me. Please, my heart can't take this. My heart can't take this. Wrath of the Lich King was my favorite WoW expansion. I cannot. Hit enter, change, then... Hang on, I'm gonna read this and then hit enter and then see what I can do. Change to the event tab. Uh, and for my own part, I would countenance no longer the hands of evil men uh, to use my brood brother's eyes for ill. Enter, tab. Tab to the event tab. There's so many. There's so many tabs. There's so many tabs. Where? 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 <laughs> There's so many. System? I give up. I give up. I give up. At least it's at least I can do it. I don't know how to do it. Oh, click event. Ah. Perceivest thou such light in the dusk of mine existence? There it is. Thank you. Not the tab key. Thank you. <laughs> I'm dumb as hell. Oh my god, I can't go back like I want to, but I can't. I can't same. I lost so much of my life to World of Warcraft. Oh. Oh, Wrath of Lich King's so good, but I can't. But I might, but I can't, but I might, <laughs> but I can't. 
<laughs> I'm so conflicted right now. Uh, boop. So you do oh no, I want it gone. Between those who acknowledge and repent their sins and you, those who I, I need it. I need it gone. Interesting. Go away. Oh, it won't go away. Ooh, it won't go away. We're just stuck with the text bar there. Sorry. Go shoo. Sorry, it's there forever now. Whew. It seems to me that you have not, in fact, lost faith in mankind as a whole. Rather, you weigh our respective merits by how we allow the past to influence our future. You never played WoW? Bless your heart. Bless your heart. It took me so long to peel myself away from World of Warcraft. Oh, I should be reading this for you guys. Ah, spare me thine idol's sophistry. Even were there a mote of truth in thy reasoning, what of it? Wouldst thou have me slay mine own sibling to save a city of mortals? He's got a point. Feel fortunate you didn't get into out. You are. You played Lake Level 20? Bless your heart. Nay, if Wish that could have been me. Unconscionable evil, we must needs condemn it, even should the transgressor be our closest kin. Yo, that's some wisdom right there. When my father corrupted himself and his followers with the power of a primal, I beseeched the warrior of light to slay him and act alike to patricide. Ah! I can't get rid of it. It's okay. It's okay. He did not die by my hand matters little. I was if trying anything, to right click it. It heaped greater disgrace upon my name. But had my father not fallen, he would have drawn countless thousands into a holy war of hellish proportions, which I hold the greater crime. Thus did I order his execution, sparing the lives of my people and yours. Mm. This is this is that uh, this is that statement of um, oh God, how does the quote go? I do not. There's one thing I fear more than evil men. And it's the indifference of good men or something. I, I can't remember exactly how the quote goes. Alas, your brother but Worm I think that's the angle he's taking. Those whom I sought to spare. What is more, he has taken my comrade's body for his own. But if I must slay my dearest friend to defeat my direst foe, I will not flinch from my duty. Thou would strike down thy friend and, by example of thy righteousness, persuade me to break mine oath and kill my kindred. Oh, hi, Midgarsmer. Weighing in, are we? Heed me, my child. The servants of Hydaelyn envision a different outcome. They intend salvation, not only for Ishgard, but for the doomed dragon slayer as well. Oh, yeah, we didn't tell Aymeric. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> This was Alpha No and Mine's plan. Believest thou this shade to be Nidhogg returned? Is it not merely a manifestation of his vengeance? Oh, the shadow cast by thy brood brother's rage. I would not command thee, but ponder well thy course, lest it lead thee unto greater remorse. Midgar has joined the chat. Honestly, bless him. Uh, I think you had basic WoW and like two expansions on discs, but only played like a couple hours because you lacked the patience to play an MMO at the time. You, you should be thankful for that. Literally, I got stuck in WoW until early Mists of Pandaria. I was late uh, Burning Crusade, and I played it almost every single day until early Mists. And then even then I still played it a lot. But it was like mid Mists that I finally peeled myself away from it. Only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Yeah, envy. That's a good way to word it as well. Uh, what server? I spent so much time there I can probably tank or heal it, but oh, oh, you guys are talking dungeons. You guys are talking dungeons. Look at the baby daddy, so cute. Whilst this shade of vengeance remains, the future will ever be uncertain. Help us save our companion. This one. It's not quite Nidhogg, but a shade of him. Nidhogg's transformation into Rage Incarnate is, in part, of my own doing. 
I rendered unto him mine eye, and empowered his revenge thereby. But tis the purity of my brood brother's wrath that lendeth him his all-surpassing might. Hast thou the strength of will to stand against so terrible a shadow, I wonder? T'would seem I must put thee and thy com companions to the proof. I shall await thee in the ruins wherein Ratatoskr once dwelt. Heed well the words of my children, and hasten thee to the place of thy trial. He's going to test us. He's going to test us. So maybe he will help us. Thank you, Ben Garcimer! Thank you for jumping in there. What are you doing, Mogan? What you doing there, Mogan? Duh! Hey, nice bike. <laughs> what is that pose? Hey, nice bike. It's, it's a pretty cool uh, steampunk looking bike you got there. Nice bike, you nerd. Do, 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 do. I want a motorbike. I believe I spied a wyvern landing just outside the palace. It is doubtless one of the children of whom Hraesvogar spoke. Come, my friends, let us not keep our escort waiting. I want a bike. I want a bike! Instead I have dragon. Also the bike flies, ladies and gentlemen. EJ is Marauder? Lollipop Marauder, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bike is from Island Sanctuary? Right, so I'll get it in three years! Woo! Hello, Imperious Wyvern. My broodmates and I will bear you to the place of your trial. Make your preparations. Sor Kai, now accessible. Hi, Daddy T! Yo, Jeev! Hello, Jeev? How are you? Long time no see? How you been, you beautiful bee? Dude, you played the game less than a year and you almost have it. Holy shit, you sped run. Aren't you like, done, Kyo? Like, aren't you like completely done the game? Less than a year? Do I have a party for this already? No, I do not. If people want to hop on in, who's on? Gulsif, would you like to play? I'm well, how are you doing? I'm doing really well, thanks. Do, 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 do. You want to play the dungeon? Or what is this, a trial? What is this actually? Som all. Do, do, do. Or Sorkai? This is Sorkai. It's a dungeon. Can I come? Absolutely. He's dungeon. Dungeons are a four player, right? So if, uh, Gosa, if you want to come. You want come play? I'll just shoot you an invite. If you're not ready, just to uh, deny it. He's a dungeon. I'm ready to commit unalive on some trials. Logging in, logging in so I can heal. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, Sold Ark is going to be free on Epic sometime soon. Chief, have you ever played it? You absolutely should. You absolutely should. <gasps> Molly Berry. Hello? Your server crashed! No! No, that's the saddest raid ever! No! <laughs> Not that the raid itself is sad, but that's the saddest reason to have to raid out. No! Your server crashed! My day's going very good. My day's going very good, though. I'm so sorry to hear that your server crashed! Is it, like, fixable? Is it okay? Is it gonna make it? Molly, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in Raiders! If it's your first time meeting me, my name is Tara. I'm a variety streamer. I usually stream four days a week, where I do four, uh, four streams. <laughs> I do horror streams, drinking streams, and everything else in between. Right now, I have a hyper fixation on Final Fantasy XIV. The game made me cry, so I love it. The story has been great. The story has been really good, and I'm invested. Ugh. 
Ah, uh, it's okay, you needed to sleep anyway. Pout. Still, what a reason. You didn't lose anything, did you? With the crash? Everything's okay? I'm scared for you. I'm scared for you. Molly, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for trusting me with your humans. I love you. I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow, by the way. And if you've never played Ark, oh my god, you should. Uh, I do like survival crafting games. Just recently got into Conan. You should follow Mollyberry if you're not already. Mollyberry is currently revisiting Conan because of the sorcery update. And her vibes are immaculate. If you're not already following, shame. She's amazing. Just got Steam update for Conan. Do you think maybe an update broke the server? Also, hi, Tojam. That's a cute name. How you doing? Ark is so good. Ark is really, really, really good. Yo, Gino, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, uh, I need names in chat of who's joining for the dungeon. I need names. I don't think I have you on my friends list yet, do I, Evelyn? You are not Shu. I don't think you're Darren Jefferson. <laughs> this is, this, Darren Jefferson is EJ. And Shu is Jolly. All the servers are broken. Time to update. Time to update. I do. I found Molly because of you. Perfect. Perfect. Love you. Safi Sifu. Okay. Um, I don't think I've ever manually added a friend. Player search. Search conditions. Name. Safi Sifu. Oh. Saf Safi. First name Safi. Last name. Will this work? Did it come to me? Wait, can I click here? I, um, view adventurer plate. Ah! Oh my God, your aura is so cute. Are you already on my friends list? You're not. Help, how do I add a human? <laughs> You're in my list? When, oh, here you are. I can't invite you. I can't invite you, Safi, you're offline. Boom. Hey Tara, I found on Ancestry that your grandpa that's a 25. Oh my gosh, that's so young. That's so so young. Girl, thank you for the host, by the way. Why does it show you as offline? Well now I'm gonna start looking at adventure plates. While I'm waiting. They're so cute. Wholesome and menacing. Plug in the Twitter. Let's go. Let's go. Bun boys are so beautiful. Bun boys so beautiful. Hey! Izagi! How did I not add you yet? Here we go. I forgot my traditional hello! Buckman, thank you for kitty videos. I hope stream with Molly was fantastic. Oh, if you click the circle next to my name, it'll update. Retrieve status. Oh, because you're on another world. <gasps> oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. Izagi, do you want to come for dungeon? Do, 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 do. I didn't know that's how it worked for players on other worlds. Cross world party formed. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, you're helping EJ? No problem. We have tank and healer. This will be an instant queue. Hey, yo, why are you forming a party? We're doing um, uh, Sor Kai, if you want to come with Matsa. We just need a DPS. I want the bike. I want the bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. Uh, Golsif, I'm gonna promote you to party lead real quick. No, I'm not gonna do that. I can't. I can't do it. Never mind. I just have to run to the bathroom. Your adventure card is interesting. Let me see it. Do, 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 do. There you are. Ha! Adventure is on another data center and can't be retrieved. This is so sad. 
Oh, it's so sad. Next time you're on my data center, I'll have to look. Ooh. I'm on Adam and Toys. Yes, I am, Matza. Once are you all done with this dungeon, I'm going to have to friend the people who I've yet to friend. Yes, you should. Oh, shoot, I went back. No, rip. Well, we'll check it out next time you're on Crystal. Aether? What? No, which one am I on? I'm on Aether. You're in, you're in? Okay. Do, do, do. There you are. Okay. Uh, we are going to start in one second. I just have to take a very quick bio break. I'm distracted, but we'll be back. Okay, Molly, I love you. Again, thank you so, so much for the raid. It's currently National Pepperoni Pizza Day, National Fried Rice Day, National Queso Day. I ask you, Strummer, are you a patriot? Have you celebrated? I fucked up. I fucked up. I'm having none of those tonight. I'm having none of those tonight. I'm not patriotic. What the heck? I'm having grilled cheese and tomato soup for supper tonight. What the heck? All right, so we're going to queue up in one, one second. I just have to pee before we start this dungeon because I've had to pee for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I'll be right back, you guys. I'm so scared. Don't be scared. I am scared, though. Oh, Craigasm. First try. What a god gamer I am. Amazing. Wow. How does he do it? How does he do it? We'll maybe never know. Fuck! Kitty has claimed the arm. And there's nothing... Oh, no. She kind of hot, though, but... Oh, no. Hang on. I want to get a closer look at that. No. Guys, wait. Hang on. I want to do something. Wait. Let's, let's move over to the side. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> Why am I like this? Oh, <gasps> dog. That is probably still to, to this date one of my favorite redeems. It's it's an absolute mess the way it's set up, but it works. Most of the time, it works. Ooh. I am big. Sorkai. Level 60. Oh, oh, somebody might have still been peeing. Uh oh. Uh oh, somebody might have still been AFK. <laughs> Whoopsies! Okay, so this is gonna be Race Fogar's trail, trail, trial, right? To see if we are worthy. Okay, music. I gotta bounce, but I gotta say, I appreciate everyone here. Thanks for all the chats. Hope you all have a great night. Yo, Envy, thanks for hopping in. I appreciate your sweet, sweet words. I hope you have a good sleep. Okay, music, we see you. Ooh. It's a trial, but it's not a trial, right? The music banging? I'm feeling it. Cloud gardener? What does a cloud gardener look like? A brick. It's a rock. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Do, 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 do. I just want to say I love that we're, like, all Arcanists here. We have a Scholar Healer, two Summoners, and then a stinky non-Arcanist tank. Gross.
Oh, they keep shooting me or something. I don't like it. Ghoul Stinky? Yes. Always. Would you guys say that Heaven's Word is when the music really started to get good, or does it get better yet from here? Like, is this still kind of mid compared to what's coming? I know a lot of people have wanted me to listen to certain like Final Fantasy XIV songs, but also said I don't want to spoil it. It does get better. Oh my god. People have been like, Tara, I want you to hear this soundtrack, but also I want you to experience it when it happens uh, in real time. It always gets better. Chieftain Moglin, you're part of the trial. This is as far as you go, sir. You and your ridiculous name won't make it past me, Kupo. Dude, I love this theme. It really sounds like this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Nightmare Before Christmas vibes for sure. Lord of all the land. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, you push them out of the circles. Oh, that's such an interesting mechanic. I guess if they're in those circles, they get revived. Aw, theme's over. Gets a lot better. 14 has a uh, Guinness World Record for most unique soundtracks in a game. Wow. It never hits rock bottom yet, can only go up. It's really varied. It's hard to say if it gets better or worse. I guess it depends on your individual music tastes. <laughs> Safi said I have no memory of any of this. <laughs> Same smiley face. I guess it's not a dungeon that really comes up often. By the way, after you finish the post Heaven's Word quests, it shouldn't be a spoiler to watch the Stormbound trailer. I want to. Somebody please, if you're still here, we'll probably hit it tonight at our current pace. If anyone's here that remembers at that time, please remind me to go watch the, the trailer. Because I really want to see it. I think they said I'm on 3.3, and this patch goes up to 3.5. So it's likely we'll finish it tonight, but we may finish it on Thursday. Oh gosh, that's a lot of damage. Oh gosh. Ah! <laughs> I think I was standing in the breaths. I think my positioning was not ideal. I'm not going to do anything until I'm healed. I have two seconds of invulnerability. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think I was standing in the line of the breath attacks because that destroyed me. You don't meet someone in, in the trailer until after the 3.5 dungeon, I'm fairly sure. So by the time I get there, I'll have seen everything that the trailer is going to show me. Viking earrings. Whoa! Hang on, we'll deal with this later. Fighting a Pegasus? I almost called it a unicorn. <laughs> Huh? 
Ooh. Oh, proximity. Oh my goodness. There's something good after this quest? I'm excited. Oh god. Oh, I see. So that one attack would shove you into that lightning if you're not careful. I was wondering what would truly go what would what was truly happening here. So it's probably gonna do it again. Proximity thing. And then the shove. Yeah, okay. So you stand beside a wall so you don't get shoved in. That makes sense. Let's check the loot. Berserker, this looks like a Valkyrie helmet. Oh, that's such a cool helmet. Too bad it's for heavier classes than me. I actually don't want any of this. Graceful guy. Thou hast weathered my trial thus far, but I am not, ah, not what, not convinced. I will try thy limits. So cool. I have a question for the more experienced summoners in chat. If if it comes to a moment where Dreadworm Trance is up but I haven't gotten through all my summons, is it still better to start the Dreadworm and ignore going through the other rotations of the summons? Yes, but with an asterisk. Probably only if I could safely get off the full duration of Dreadworm, right? I always try and play as like maximum efficiency as I can, because that's that's what I get my enjoyment from in dungeons and things like that. Usually favor summons over Ifrit hard casts. The, the Ifrit hard casts hurt. You should finish all the summons before. Whoop. Bonk. What is this? I'm scared. We're gonna have to be bouncing through platforms. Oh no, <laughs> I'm scared. Dreadworm over Ifrit. Basically only go Garuda, Titan, Ifrit, and then if it's up early enough, don't bother with the Ifrit, I'm assuming. <gasps> Terrifying. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, you're both going to die for sure. Yeah. 
Will that hurt? I think I should not be standing there. Earth. You should go Ifri, Titan, Garuda. Woo! Woo! Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm alright. Hang on, I want to read that message. You should go Ifri, Titan, Garuda. And then, oh, so like, basically both of the instant cast summons are interchangeable. Titan or Garuda, but Ifrit first. Ifrit, I usually do second. Garuda does the most damage. Got it. So maybe I should reposition them then, so I'm prioritizing Ifrit over Titan. Oh my gosh! I placed something nasty on us. I apologize. I may have been reading chat. Always use Garuda first. Always. Okay. The rotation gets a lot easier in Endwalker. Oh, you prefer Ifrit for first so you can move. Oh, <gasps> I see. So initially you do Ifrit, get those long casts out of the way, and then the rest of your summon phases you could just move. Oh my god. What is a payphone doing over here? Hello. My W, you need to run. Oh, hey boss. I think I can beat him. Yeah, I think him. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Grilled, you broke the... Grilled! I I I I Grilled, you broke the TTS machine. You broke the TTS machine. You broke it. You broke it. <laughs> that was terrifying. Oh, you want to Dreadworm as often as possible. Uh, if you know you'll have downtime, you want to rapid fire the primals. There's a brief cooldown between uses, five seconds. So if you have 10 seconds left before it's up and two remaining summons, use them both, don't use their charges. Got it. Okay, Taco, that makes so much sense. Emerald Ruin is a DPS loss before level 70. Not sure what these guys are on about. They're probably thinking endgame summoner. That's not their fault. So Garuda right now is a DPS loss for me until I'm 70. Once you're max level, it's a throw to not use Garuda first. So build them up. Oh, get into the habit of it now. That's totally fair. Muscle memory is for sure a thing. I might as well just be in the habit of it already because I'm almost level 70. I'm like 64. And then once we get into the next, once we get into Stormblood, I'm sure we'll just speed round to 70. Uh, people are talking about with Slipstream, which he hasn't even, <laughs> which he isn't even remotely close to getting. Emerald Ruin is a DPS loss over regular Ruin at this point. Okay. I do like the argument of building the muscle memory for it now though, because otherwise it'll be clunky getting back into it. The raid openers are either Titan Garuda or Garuda Titan. Got it, got it, okay. Okay, okay, fair enough. Guys, thanks for all the insight. I appreciate that. Uh, even bereft of an eye, my brood brother was a fearsome foe indeed. But having tasted thy strength firsthand, I do begin to see how thou didst bring him low. Heidelin chooseth her servants well. Very well. I shall trust in the seed of man one last time. By thy deeds shall the flickering hope that lingereth yet within my heart be kindled anew, or extinguished forever. Oh god, no pressure. No pressure. We're just the last hope of him trusting mortals. There's a dude on our data center who is a white uh, Hrothgar as well, with horn headpiece glam named Windup Hrothsvelger. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> yes, it is ended. Mine was brutal beyond reckoning, but Falnir seems ill acquainted with the notion of mock battles. Damn. Oh, that's a cool dragon. This is Ver Verdolfnir? Oh, and Vidolfnir was Alphano's trial. That's a cool looking dragon, dude. That you yet stand is ready proof of your determination, mortals. 
Let us fight as allies then, and together banish my brood brother's vengeful shade. On my oath, the wrath that once was Nidhogg, Nidhogg, not Nid Nidhogg, shall meet its end. This I swear on the memory of my beloved Shiva, and on the soul of lost Yzeel. Aw, he cares a little bit about Yzeel, that's so cute. My heart. Once you have Searing Light, you use it with Bahamut into Garuda with two Festers, ending it with your Ruin 4. Uh, it'll fit into your buff window perfectly, even without Slipstream. Slipstream fits uh, two once you get it. Okay. Sorry for the scuffed healing. No, it was good. It was good. I was standing in something really bad at one point and died, and that was my own fault. I'm 90% sure. Oh, 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 my poor ribs. Racevogar saw fit to pair me with Vidofnir, but her ferocity was such that I began to wonder if I hadn't simply imagined her injury. Yet my trial pales in significance next to yours. How fared you in your duel with Racevogar? It was honestly a fun fight. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo, Raziel! Raziel is... Oh my god, what game is that from? A really old game. Oh my god, thanks for the follow, by the way. What? Is it named after a game? I'm like 90% sure it is. Or a, just a happy coincidence. Two Festers is also wrong. Use four in Searing. You save your energy flow cooldown. One, two, energy flow. Three, four, question mark. In the opener, of course. Use four mid-rotation. Got it. Um, yeah, a character from a game. I knew it. I can't remember the name of the game right now. Um, I take from this that your battle was rather more involved than my own. Ved Vedder? <laughs> oh my god. Vedder Folnir seemed largely concerned with how long he could keep me rolling in the dust. Between dodging snapping fangs and slashing claws, I scarce had time to aim a blow. Had he truly meant to harm me, of course, I would not be standing here now. Plainly, his intent was to teach. His onslaught forced me to recall my training about the speed of the dragon, his balance, his blind spots. It was, in short, a very thorough lesson. Soul Reaver! Thank you! I couldn't place it. Yo, welcome in. I appreciate your follow. Ow, 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 ow. Sir, let me begin by congratulating you on the completion of your trial. For one with a name more befitting a jester, <laughs> Rude, dude. You fight with the savagery of a rabid demon. Do you see how my wings are kinked? Even my palm aches. After this drubbing, I fear my loyal subjects will have to bear the load of my personal chores for quite some time, Kupo. Possibly indefinitely. Great King Mal the theme is playing. I love it. What? When I told you about Sir's trial, I didn't mean for the rest of us to suffer. That's triple shifts for you, Mogan. Rip. Triple? But that's not fair. There's no justice, Koopo. None at all. Rip, Mogan, dude. Now it also makes sense why Mogan was listening in on our conversation, because Moglin was part of the trial. Wow, dungeon trial. Our negotiations proved rather more strenuous than I had anticipated. But the results seem well worth the effort. Yeah, they are. The battle was indeed hard won. Thank you, my friends. I would never have earned Trace Velga's cooperation. Speeding to get online! To Finally free! Let's go, Crystals! It was your stalwart heroism that moved the heart of the Great Worm at the last. Any gratitude I can offer is but poor reward for your continued service to Ishgard. My pleasure, dude. would seem our final reckoning with the dread worm is at hand. I only wish we had some inkling as to when he means to strike. We should take the battle to him. Wait, we don't know where he is yet, do we? Oh! We might know where he is. <laughs> we might know where he is. Begun. We must away to Ishgard. Nod. Nodders. You were saying, Alphano? <laughs> Spoke too soon. Uh, let's take max potions. 
EJ, have good sleep. I hope Brave Flocks went well for you guys. Whoa! Look at this little thumbnail. Look at this little thumbnail. An end to the song. Aymeric is desperate to fly to Ishgard's defense. Hi, Jolly! Uh, Ishgard will not last long against Nidhogg and his horde. We must away. Nidhogg fight! Nidhogg fight! Wow, did you- where did you get that shirt, Mr. Streamer? Uh, fourthwall.com slash terabot- exclamation mark merch. <laughs> it's terror merch. There it is. Thank you, Jolly! Do, 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 do. Ready to go, race Oh, <gasps> What if he flies us back? I mean, we could use the crystal, but it'd be so much cooler if he flew us back. Know you then what his war portendeth? Yep. He's ready to frick. I, I must return to my city without delay. Then shall, uh, then we shall lend you our wings. Let us meet with Nidhogg on the field of battle and together bring an end to this wrathful song. I want to go on race. Full guys back. I want to go on rails. You, you guys can have your your dragons. This one looks really spiky. I want to ride on Racefogar. I want to ride on Racefogar. Gimme. Yes, let's go. Where would I even go? Cling to a horn and hope not to fall. How, how, how am I climbing up his back? Where? Where am I? Am I on his back? I can't even tell, I'm so small. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> In the middle of his back, like right there. We're like a little speck. Let's go, dude. This is cool. Dun, 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 dun. I myself shall head out from game and watch stream. Jolly bye bo. Littlest guy gets biggest dragon. As it should be. Insert Wilhelm scream. Ah! Whoo! This is intense. You're gonna enjoy this one? I already am. Ooh! Let's go, Lucia! We hold fast until the Lord Commander returns. Yo! Don't you freaking dare. Ugh. We must hold. You're gonna hold. You're gonna be fine. This is so cool. This is so cool. Yo, they freaking them up. Uh oh. Will hum scream? Ah! The only thing holding is these nuts. <laughs> Jolly, please. <laughs> We're coming, Lucia. Hold on. Oh, that guy's getting mad chomped. Hold the door. Reinforcements! By the fury. That one is the size of Nidhogg. It's us! It's us. Wait, is it us? It is us! It's us! Honestly, it's impressive how this is, has apparently been a thousand year war when dragons seem way stronger than the Ishgardians. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the dragons could have ended the war a long time ago. Lord Commander. 
And also me. I am also here. You are late, warrior of light. Sorry. Those no-name dragons were just tossing knights aside. Yeah. I love our little crown. Aside from the occasional hair clipping. Oh, I got little high heels on, dude. Nidhogg. Your reign of terror ends here. We're gonna have a Pokemon battle. Need a pog. <laughs> He's gonna be like, brother! No! Wherefore standest thou with these vermin, brother? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Abandon this war, Shade. The suffering thou sowest serveth no end. The traitor's progeny have learned of their forefather's betrayal and seek now to make amends with our kind. Never shall our grief be assuaged, nor our loss forgotten. But reconciliation may yet halt the spread of this plague of enmity. Forsake thy vengeance and be at peace. I think that's a no. What soft-headed ramblings are these? Thy dalliance with that vile maid hath robbed thee of thy wits. Perhaps her cloying perfume hath made thee forget the stench of our brood sister's lifeblood. Thou darest speak thus of my beloved. Ah, so thy flames of rage yet be kindled. I feared thy heart's fire had long since gone out. But waste not thy fury on words, brother. Thou shalt have need of it for the battle. Where did I waddle off to? Why did I waddle away? We're not gonna help? Why would we not help? Yo, what? I was, I was trying to think of how to pronounce that. Uh oh. He possessed the building. Wait, did he actually possess the building? He's gonna drop a building on him. Oh shit, he actually did it. Well, that was quick. Building's haunted. <laughs> Wait, is Racefogger just fucking dead? Oh no, he's fine, he's fine. I missed him escaping. Wyvern, would we help him better? Yeah, better. Because I think worm is pronounced worm, not wyrm. <laughs> oh, they're growing with light, or they're glowing with light and darkness. Well, that doesn't seem good. I love you, bitch. Hike, I love you too. Hope your day's been awesome. Hello? What's up? Crazy dragon battles. Crazy dragon battles is what's up. Oh, <gasps> they've done it. They've opened the door to Kingdom Hearts. See, we've realized it too. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa! Nidhogg went Super Saiyan! 
They cancel each other out, kaboom. They're dividing by zero, stop them! <gasps> I think, uh oh. Race Vagar needs that. I think he needs that to fly. Do you die if you have a wing torn off? How does it work? <laughs> Yo, what up, Warlord? Well said. Thou art weak, Race Vogar, a slithering worm who fawneth on the vermin who should rightly be his prey. For a thousand years have I fought without cease, and thou didst think to prevail against me. Glory not in thy victory, Shade. The battle is not yet won. My power and my hope have I entrusted to another. Oh? How did I not notice that? Thine eye, what hast thou done? Yo, what up, bitch? I got an eye over here. Is a wing kind of like a limb? I mean, yeah, I would say so. Sorry, I wouldn't know I'm a human, I don't have wings. I guess that race will is a bit ropen, no. When did he fucking pluck out his eye? Was it missing the whole time? Fool, thou wouldst trust a mortal with thy strength. Not just any mortal. Heidelin's chosen. I'm, I'm gonna shut up. There's cool music playing. I know thee. Twas thou who didst intrude upon my lair and best the half of me, but now I am whole and not in creation shall deny me my vengeance. The final steps of faith now accessible. Dude, what a cool scene. What a cool scene. Whoop. Is it a trial? It is a trial. We'll uncheck Sorka. And we're gonna vibe out. Let me in, this is an eight man. All right, who wants in? Who wants in on this one? Friendless. Oh, I can see your adventure card. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Not the shooketh expression. I hate you. I hate you. Crystals, I hate you. How dare you do this to me? How dare you do this caption to me? How could you? Uh, get in here. Uh, Evelyn, you want in? Evelyn, you're Safi, right? I have literally memory of a gnat. Hobbit vs. Smog, yeah. I didn't realize there was another one so quick, me either. I warned you about that. I know, you warned me, bro. I want to, but I'm just tired. It's okay. We got a healer, so the queue will be faster. And I think Golsif might be raiding now. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah, I think Golsif's raiding, so I think Golsif's out. And away we go. This is such a cool pose, by the way. With this music. Oh! Kyo! Kyo! Wait! Kyo! I took a screenshot by accident. Kyo! I don't think I have you on my friends list yet. Kyo! 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 Oh, I thought you wanted to join. Never mind. I saw you say or not. We're good. Is it a solo trial? It's not. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Hi, Val! You react to that, but not the hundreds of, oh, do not look at me so. A smile better suits a hero. Yeah, I was tuning it out, Jolly. Steps of Faith is solo. The final Steps of Faith is not. The music is really cool. I hope it's still playing in this. It's still playing in this. Let's go. It's so good. This is so cool. 
When's the next Lamb Cult? I think Saturday. I haven't decided what I'm playing Saturday. I might do Lamb or I might do Dark Souls. This music so cool. <laughs> oh, oh, why me? Oh, why me? I'm going to stop attacking. Why did it come for me? No tank stances? Is that what happened? And I bursted too much. Hey, at least that means I'm doing a good amount of damage. Actually, jump scared me. <laughs> oh, Val, thank you for the host! Oh, I keep drawing aggro on that one. I'm gonna stop shooting that one now. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's over for me. Help! Help me! Alright, I think we're okay. Whew. Oh, we're dying. We're dying. Help. Help me. We're struggling a little bit. Mashed potato. Because <laughs> I'm tidy and snack size. Honest and true. Which souls? I'm actually not sure yet. Oh my god, that did so much damage to me. Help. All right, we survived. Look upon the fool who dared embrace my power. Whoa! Witness the darkened wings that beat about his shriveled soul. Oh! Wait, this is so sick! Hello? This is so cool! I am named Kyle. <gasps> this is so cool! Fun fact, Dragoon gets the move he just did. That, like, touchdown thing. Dom was so close to getting Elden Ring hitless, but he drank a potion at the wrong time. No! That's heartbreaking, Val. Oh god. Okay, we're okay. Oh, that's a proximity. Ah! Thank you, Spaz. Thank you for supper, I love you. Spaz brought supper. Eh, did I lose my carbuncle? When did my carbuncle die? I couldn't dreadworm. Oh god. Oh, it's not me. The mechanical food arm! <laughs> this is such a cool fight, you guys. Thank you for food. Uh oh. <laughs> what did he say? Ah, uh, thou, ha Brood Brother, thou hast doomed me 
But if I must meet thine end, then all shall burn upon my pyre. Oh my god! Oh, I have aggro. Oh, this is a this is a stack. Okay, I'm alright. Thank you, healers! Holy crap! My health went so low. Holy crap. Dude, is there anything more epic than, like, choir music? Like we're currently hearing. We have a lot dead right now. Hang on, I can click a max potion to help myself a little bit. Hang on, I can swift cast raise that person. I'm gonna do my best to do that. I got them. I'm helping! We're good. Woo! Oh. That was fun. That was fun. Holy heck. Holy heck. <gasps> Curlo, you snuck in during all that. Hi, Curlo. Curlo, how are you? There's so much happening, your brain is like, ah, it was so cool. There was, a, all that was going on was a million explosions, a million danger. I saved someone in the middle of that. GG. All right, who can I commend? This person, the dancer. That was so cool. Just wait. Oh, I'm sure they're going to get so much cooler. Oh yeah, tears ahead, therefore try tissue. Don't. Don't. Don't tell me. No, no, no. We're gonna save Astinian. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Have fun with the rest of the story! Ah! Tell them I said thank you! Astinian! The person in that group said, have fun with the rest of the story. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's just a little juicy. He's fine. I, is this to be mine end? Yes. Me. Oh my god, he's fucking dead. Shh. <laughs> I am of the first brood. I am vengeance incarnate! I am Nidhogg! No, you are Astinian. Thou shalt die by my hand! No, sir. Ooh! <gasps> Let's go, Astinian! This is not your hand, worm! Yes! Oh, not yes. <laughs> no, wilt obey. That scream didn't sound very good. I would ask one last favor of you, warrior of light. Finish me. No. Now, while I have the beast subdued. No, sir. No. Yeah, put book away. Remove the eyes. Ah, ah! You can do it, Alvano. You waste your time. Kill me. It is the only way. Ending Nidhogg will be my final duty. No. No. You can't <laughs> die like Same this. Same, I won't let you. No. Absolutely not. I refuse. Ah! Ah! 
Who? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Help. Oh my god! <sighs> the dancer that you said tell them thanks says tell them thanks and the music gets even better. <laughs> That is not what I saw coming at all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Izagi, yes, we did clip it. Yeet them! Yeet them! Dude, uh, I don't know what I thought was coming, but it wasn't that. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, you know, when you said earlier, oh my god, Estinian's gonna be like, kill me now, you have the chance, and we're all gonna be like, nah, I immediately went pause chat. Oh, Estinian, my ill-fated friend. Oh, because of the tears in my eyes, I thought this said my ill-farted friend, and that kind of saved me from my emotions. Oh, my ill-farted friend. Wow, holy crap. That was perfect. That was perfect. That hurt? I couldn't talk because I was like silently crying, but that was perfect. That was beautiful. I loved that. I could not have asked for a better Lucia, resolution for that. I want them ready to receive him. Oh. At once, Lord Commander. God, this game is good. <gasps> Matt Slayer! How is your din din? Oh. Allow me to do this much. I was so happy. The Horde have sensed the fall of their master and scattered to the winds. You have my gratitude, Resvelga. Your deeds this day have saved a great many lives. Salmon and rice. God, I love salmon. I would like, I would do anything for salmon. It's literally my favorite fish. Smoked salmon in particular. Then our alliance hath served its purpose. Thou didst wield the power I granted thee well. Twas thine own skill, and not mine eye, which earned thee victory. Aymeric Strongboy, yeah. I wish thy kind companion a swift recovery. Fare you well, children of men.
the battle is won. We can do no more for Estinian now than bear him home and wish him well, even as Reisvelger did. The rest we must trust to the hands of the healers and the grace of the gods. <sighs> You make some bomb smoked salmon avo toast? Oh my god, you're making me so hungry. That sounds fire. Oh. That was perfect. That was such a good scene. That was such a good fight. The music leading up to it was so cool. And then that, oh. Oh, that was so cool. Uh, through the haze of pain, I swear, I, oh my god, I swear I sensed, but no. The past is done, and we must look to the future. At long last, Nidhogg is gone. His foul spirit cast out once and for all. I only pray that Estinian survives the ordeal. The best part is that you can do- yeah, That is so true. You can experience everything that I just experienced for free on the free trial. I've already bought the game, but the fact that we're not even at the part that I've paid for yet is insane. Cause holy shit. A good conclusion to the Dragon Song War, so immensely so. I imagine in these next patches now, they're gonna be starting up what's going on in Stormblood. We're probably gonna start being introduced into what's going wrong elsewhere in the world. Cause this is very, that was such a good finality. Like that was so good. Not gonna lie, I don't understand these games. Sweetling, the fact that you don't understand it and you're still here hanging out with us, you're the real MVP. I appreciate you. Uh, there's a side quest that gives you a certain emo. Oh. Oh. Your battle with Nidhogg's Shade will beget many an epic ballad, sir. And rightly so. It was, without a doubt, one of your more epical victories. Though I must admit that I took greater joy in seeing you emerge from the experience unscathed. And not only for your own sake, had you not been there to aid me, those infernal eyes would still be fused to Estinian's mail. Yet even with Nidhogg gone, I cannot help but wonder how much of our friend remains. Let us pay a visit to Lucia and beg news of his condition. <gasps> you know what makes me so sad? Cutscene skippers. Cutscene skippers? Cutscene skippers. We'll have no idea of what just partook. They'll be like, that was such a cool battle. Oh, and I guess we saved Estinian? Cause he's back? But I'll have no clue what just happened. Oh, very sad. Oh. Isn't the emote available now from House Halenart Knight? Oh, the guy outside with the blue quest. It's from the House Fortemp Mon Mon servant, Man Servant. The one just outside, right? Because I saw that blue quest pop up. Sir, Master Alphino, my f honored friends. As if winning Racevogar to our cause were not enough, you took it upon yourself to rid us of his brood brother. I know not how to thank you. My own contribution was hardly noteworthy. The true saviors of the day Hi Crystals. The true saviors of the day were Sir and Estinian. One triumphed over Nidhogg's shade uh, through the strength of arms, and the other through strength of will. And speaking of Estinian, what news of his recovery? The Azure Dragoon was conveyed to the infirmary, uh where he now resides under the care of our hospitalier captain i am told he has yet to regain consciousness but as you know Estinius, Estinian's mind and body were held hostage for many days we must be patient and allow the process of healing to begin in the meantime you would do well to rest and recover from your own ordeals but surely sir Americk is never long from Estinian's bedside and will now send word the moment there are any developments now, if I have satisfied your concerns, I believe Lord Edmund and his sons are most eager to celebrate your return. Okay. Sidewest is called The Paths We Walk. It's an entire line? Okay. Very well, First Commander. Come, sir. It would seem we are awaited at House Fortemp Manor. Oh yeah, Tara, for once I actually recommend doing the questline that comes from The Paths We Walk, now that you have finished Ishgard more. Is it a good on-stream thing, or should I just do it in my own time? I'm probably going to be spending a lot of tomorrow night just picking up on a lot of the side quests that I've missed. I kind of want to keep um, mainstream content to like the story content. Uh, last vigil. 
Whatever you prefer to do. Okay, I'll keep it on. Uh, I'll keep it to, to main story on stream. I'll probably pick up the quest so I don't forget, though. I think it's this one. House Halen Art Knight. Honoring the past? But maybe that's not it. Maybe it's this one. Torsifers? Either or, okay. Oh, Gods of Eld. No, that's not it either. Do do do. Do do. Oh, no, the past is a different one. Okay. Do do do. do, do. Hi, Edmund. The heroes of the hour return. We but did our duty, my lord. It was the memories of fallen friends and not our heroism which saw us through at the last. I gave every ons of my strength. Every ons? My efforts would have counted for naught had the warrior of light not arrived to challenge the great worm. As a sworn knight of Ishgard, I had hoped to do more for my city. Well, we cannot all be heroes, dear brother. Let us put away our pride for a moment and revel in the valiant deeds of our comrade. For your sterling service to Ishgard, we salute you. Do 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 do. Yeah, the blue quests do unlock thing. I do some of them off stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And while we're on the subject of valiant deeds. I believe I myself have earned some small measure of recognition. Under my watchful command, the ballistas of the Outer Ward struck down a veritable swarm of Dravanian invaders. My lord's command was certainly watchful. He bravely watched as the siege crews took aim, and continued to watch as countless wyverns met their end. Indeed, the ward's defenders proved so well drilled that my lord had little occasion to stop watching. <laughs> Onowa in his little suited up chainmail is so cute. The man Elaine is so hopeless. <laughs> it's what we've come to love him for. There will be time enough to determine who is most deserving of recognition later. Our friends are doubtless weary from their exertions. I had chambers prepared in expectation of your return. You are welcome to retire at your leisure. I am most grateful for your hospitality, my lord. But I believe I shall pay a visit to the Temple Knights Infirmary. Pray excuse me. Our master Alfino has grown. The plight of his stricken brother in arms pains him more than his own hurts. Character development! With respect, he has come to it. resemble you, warrior of light. Go then, visit the Azure Dragoon, and grant him what comfort you may. Hopefully he's awake. <laughs> so you named Harvey and yours daughter... Hol Holis? Hollies? All she does is sleep for the first two weeks? Ah. Oh, maybe the quest isn't available yet. If it's supposed to be inside the house? From the manservant? Or maybe I have to leave and come back. It might be in like story setup right now. So I might have to leave and re-enter. I want to pick it up now because it, it's a bit more obscure to go inside the building and get it. Ah, no, maybe it's not available yet. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'll keep my eyes open for it. Have to complete all of 3.3. Okay, so it'll be available after this. Oh, uh, back to the Forgotten Knight. Gotta finish Litany of Peace, okay. Do, 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 do. That would have been a perfect time during that cutscene to whip up the clip of me saying, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be like full on crying again. <laughs> Dude, what a good fucking game. Like Holly, but with an is at the end, so Hollids? Hollandaise sauce? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm like this, Becky. I hope you still love me. 
Oh, trust me, you'll cry. I'm so done, dude. I'm so done. Sir, my friend, what can I do uh, for the savior of Ishgard? You seek Master Alphino? Ah, he came to relieve me on my vigil a short while ago. When he begged to sit at Astinian's side, I could not well refuse him. Though he would sooner faint than admit it, the boy must be exhausted by Racevogar's trial and all that followed. Astinian is blessed to have such a devoted comrades. Litany of Beasts! Oh, we get, wait, is this Sir Edmunds? Oh, we get Sir Edmunds' uh, coat. That's cute. And a little wind-up Aymeric. And the dragon song orchestru a orchestrian rule? Cool. <laughs> Can put it in the armoire and then always have it. My own friendship with Stinian began some ten years past, shortly after we joined the Temple Knights. I learned his name soon enough, but Astinian barely registered my existence. I was less a fellow recruit, and more a shadow which occasionally darkened his path. And so I might have remained, had fate not seen fit to intervene. While out on patrol, our company was set upon by a dragon, and we were only two we were the only two to survive. The experience forged a bond between us, as such life-threatening situations are wont to do. Despite our friendship, he remained an intense and solitary youth wholly obsessed with claiming vengeance against Nidhogg. Revenge was ever at the forefront of his mind. Revenge for the death of his parents, and revenge for his younger brother. I would venture that... Uh, I would venture that in Alphano, he sees something of his lost sibling, and in the er in the ungentle... Chittings? Of Istinian, Alphano has found the elder brother he never had. Truth be told, Istinian's tactless observations here saved me from disaster more than once. And I can well understand Alphino's affection for him. He's a friend for whom I would gladly... Istinian? No way. Ah, I got excited. That's why I love you, Tara. Let's go! I'm assuming it is literally Holly, but replace the Y with an I and it's pronounced the same, like Hall is. Hollandaise sauce. Instead of the glam dresser, if you want to save some glam dresser space, you could put... Oh, is the armoire just like a dresser that just stores things extended storage uh lord commander your presence is required in the infirmary but you can't like use it if it's in there right is he tell them i'm on my way <laughs> i'm worse for special clothes okay mm, quickly sir we must go to him upon proceeding to the infirmary several cutscenes will play in sequence no! 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 I'm scared! Several cutscenes! Help! Help! Okay, um, if this is the case, I need to eat my food. I have, I have this. I have, uh, I have this. Oh shit, sorry, sorry microphone. I have this, and I have the soup to go with it. I'll be gone maybe five minutes. I'm gonna chomp a little bit of it, of it down. And then we'll deal with these dreaded several cutscenes in a row. Okay? Okay? I'll be right back, you guys. <laughs> be right back. Prepare for emotional damage. Literally, I need, a, I need to face this emotional damage on a full stomach. I have so much trauma whenever they say this. Me too, because the last time they said this, everything got fucked. Everything got fucked the last time they showed me this line. <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to watch the one tomorrow. Jolly, have a good sleep. All right, I'll be back in a couple, you guys. <laughs> Not allergic to the he's fun the stickers. You'd be right as a beat by now. Yup. Huh? Sir? S sir? What happened? What a horse. Thanks. Sir? Sir? <laughs> what a <laughs> eats shit, crawls out of the back of his thing, gets back on his thing and goes, Oh, what a horse you have there. <laughs> Wait, Ryan, you linked me a YouTube video. Is this, is this what, what fixes it? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. It was the SpongeBob my eyes. Hello, Lurker. How's your poop going? Are you having an enjoyable poop? Is it correct consistency?
You don't see me schmoovin'? I'm definitely gonna be a speedrunner for this game. <gasps> guys, 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 we can make a move. Guys, we can make a move. Is it too early? Do we make a move? Would you feel sufficiently like sw like swayed by this point if you were in here and this lady was singing about Sandani? Would you be like, oh yes, kiss me, Arthur. Kiss me. He's fine. He's just having a little nap. All right, Strauss. Let's go save the world. He's fine. It's okay. Do -do 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 -do. See, he's, he's jumping. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Come on, Strauss. We're going to save the day. Hang on, I wanna, I wanna pet the, I wanna pet the. Let me, let me pet the. There we go. He looks so happy. <laughs> He's looking up at my hand. Wait. <laughs> the, the fucking. Watch. Watch me. Him. Am I just gonna hear him clomping around everywhere now? There's no way. Oh my god! He just he just he just hip. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I'll hit your fucking ankles. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? I thought I could fight him. There we go. Holy shit! Whoa. Actually, Tira, it's called streaming, and it's far superior to just regular TV. Oh my In god. Fact, TV doesn't even do anything for me anymore. The concept of watching a streamer with superior skills is far more appealing than just the same old TV. Oh my god, Spence. I don't expect you to understand, but I googled it and I found that it's only 2.19% correct. So don't sign me up for any cable bundles. Oh my god. It's practically completely normal. <laughs> I choose me. I will fight the goblin. Okay. Contents under pressure. Please be cautious. Do not shake violently. <laughs> do not uh, do not expose to open flames. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Are we just a hairspray bottle, low key? Girl, that's so sad. Hang on. We will return it to nature. Yeah. There it goes. It's free. Look, it's flying. It flew away, guys. It's totally still alive and just flew away backwards. <laughs> no. Am I the only one that had, like struggles really bad with tabs? I feel like I, I watch anyone else open up like a drink with a tab and they're just like, they're, I'm like, eh, eh. yes. Okay. Uh, if at least one other person gives me a yes, I feel better about myself. Cause like these people look like they have like no sensation on their fingers. Cause like, if it gets under the nail, it kind of hurts and shit like that. It's 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 complicated, okay? Yes, yes, you are. What the heck? Oh, oh, you all mean yes. You struggle. No, you are the only. Okay, I'm ready for this. He says, completely not even remotely ready for this. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Okay. I sure hope nobody dies and everything goes wrong. Why are you cry why are you crying? Why are you crying by his by his side? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> Estinian. Don't.
<laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm ready for this, John Cena. Are you sure about that? Nope. Is he breathe? He's breathe. <gasps> he opens his eyes. Cease your mewling, boy. It grates my ears. <laughs> Forgive me. When I saw you awaken, I could not. It was such a relief. Oh, thank we God! That's why he's crying. Wake up. Oh, is he young or old? I can't tell. Estinian's like late thirties, probably forties. Somebody in chat, back me up. Now, now, Estinian. He has such pretty hair. Alfred We've never seen him without his helmet. Of you, you would still be Nidhogg's plaything, or dead. <laughs> is Stopian crying? <laughs> Kyo, I love buns. Yo, what gorgeous hair. Height was but a jest. Is Astinian by panic? I feel like Astinian's by panic. He's like effeminate, but also handsome. I thank you. Early 30s, well. early 30s, got it. And you too, warrior of light. Quite how you managed to persuade 32 specifically. To in his brood brother's downfall, I cannot imagine. But full glad am I that you did. <clears throat> Yet again. You have achieved the impossible. I saw Happy. He's the same age as Thancred, so they're both 32? I, for my part, also, Pan Pan Link can confirm. When last we met, I did willingly loose an arrow at your heart. Can you forgive me? Oh yeah, he didn't there even hesitate. There is not to forgive, Hamerick. You had acted in defense of Ishgard as is your duty. Oh my god. Guys. I want to do a shitty edit of Amrick. Do you guys know the old Vine meme where it's like, Rebecca, it's not like that. And then it's like, I won't hesitate, bitch. That but Sir Amrick pulling up the bow because he literally did not hesitate. He grabbed that bow instantly. Were you any less single minded about it? I would not follow you. He said duty. <laughs> nor trust you at my back. <laughs> the Amrick. Besides. I had come to the self-same conclusion that I would have to perish for Nidhogg to be stopped. So let us dispense with the hand wringing. I have heard enough mewling for one day. He likes that word mewling. Rebecca, it's not what you think. Oh. And then he suddenly dies. The tendrils oh god, he died. <laughs> presence bound up every there was such a delay. Being, usurping my senses, but I yet retained some trace of awareness. There was such a delay before he spoke, I thought maybe he did fucking die. The worm's mind was as a vast and tumultuous sea. Endlessly its black waters churned. His grief and despair at Ratatoska's murder never calming, never receding. Driven by this surging current came wave upon wave of unrelenting rancor. Damn. Slash play dead. It was the very image of my own heart. There I saw the dark reflection of the hatred I felt after Nidhogg slew my family. When no path remained save vengeance against Dragonkind. Neither one of us had a choice. But I was blessed with Aww. something Nidhogg was not. Comrades and teachers to console and admonish me. Hi, Mac! How was your meeting? You definitely didn't miss me crying or anything, Mac. It was totally fine. To gainsay my obsession, I've been very brave today. You surely have consumed me as Nidhogg's did him. And we would have been in all respects alike. On-site tech support. Oh, in case the Zoom session went to hell. I'm assuming it did not. It never did. Oh. The sea of clouds. I feel no joy at his passing. Where once I craved vengeance, I now crave rest. He craves death's sweet embrace. You sat at the back of the room in red? That's comfy. That ain't bad.
Lord Commander. My hunt is at an end. I would lay down the mantle of Azure Dragoon. Oh! My friend. Then who would... Oh, I guess they don't necessarily need an Azure Dragoon anymore, do they? Because the... The war is over. He has tired himself with too many words. <laughs> uh, Estinian suddenly died. I doubt not that he will make a full recovery, but he must be allowed some few days. He just fell asleep mid conversation. Dude, I've done that. I've been there. Sometimes Spess and I will be talking in bed at night and we'll be having like a full blown conversation and then I'm just asleep. <laughs> and he's like, oh, rip. Okay. You're the worst, Terra. I am. I really am. Just so you know, oh, I know. I am fully aware. I too must see my path to its end. Sleep well, my friend. That's very ominous wording, Emmerich. Emmerich's armor is so cool. Me? You've never done that? You haven't lived until you've fallen asleep mid-conversation. Following the battle with Nidhogg on the steps of faith, Sir Emmerich called an assembly that he might make his final proclamation as acting head of state. Oh, right. He wants to step down, doesn't he? <gasps> you can buy his armor? I want it. There, with one oh, in the online store? Shit. That the thousand-year rule of the archbishops was ended, paving the way for a new republic. The governance of Ishgard would now be placed in the hands of high and lowborn alike, their ranks represented by the newly founded House of Lords and House mm. of Commons. Church was separated from state. The foundation for change had been carefully laid, and the reforms proposed by Ishgard's new government passed into law without incident. Church it should be done. separate from state. Emmerich de Burel gladly stepped down from the Archbishop's dais, only to be raised unto the highest seat in the House of Lords. Okay. I saw that Alpha Alphano's hair salon clothes were in there, and I'm so tempted. I could be little tiny Alphano. I could be Lil Alphano. Though he strove at first to refuse this honor, the unexpectedly strident voice of the Count de Durandere left him little choice but to accept. Let's go. You've seen your sister sleepwalk? Funny shit you've ever seen? Alright, Spass, I'm about to out you. There was one night where I was staying up really and late so playing games with people. Oh shit, hang on, I'll tell the story in a second. Came to stir. Spass, I'm gonna out you. Alpha small, exactly! Alright, when this cutscene's done, I'm gonna tell the story. God damn it, I just came out of power and you're putting me back in it! Literally. Prominent among the many honored guests at Sir Emmerich's investiture were the ambassadors of Dragonkind, a fitting symbol of Ishgard's newfound peace. I really like the design of that second dragon, the spiky one. Oh, wait, that's the girl that was saved by Vidofner, right? The people looked on in awe as he soared through the heavens on dragon back. And by their cheers, did they hail him an azure dragoon oh. for a new age. Oh. 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 <laughs> he is the new azure dragoon. Casual Estinian? With flowers? For whomst might I ask? <clears throat> I don't mean to pry. I 
best just hold dinner hostage. I already ate it, Mac. Thus were the notes of the dragon song rewritten. The din of war giving way to a rising litany of peace and hope. Let's go, dude. Emric obtained wyvern mode. <laughs> So early? I mean, it was just grilled cheese and soup, so it didn't take a lot of time to prepare. It was so good, though. I literally devoured it. From the memoirs of Count Edmund de Fortam. Heaven's word. Yeah, I ate it already, Spes. I literally devoured it. Thank you for the lurk. I mean, you can drink soup. No, you have to chew your soup. Imagine eating. Med check. You're my <gasps> superstar. Neon? With the 12 months? With the one full year of primer? Congrats on your badge upgrade to the planet. Hi, Neon. Thank you so much for the 12 months of Bezos bucks. Taking $2.50 right out of the Bezos pocket. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Edmund was writing all of Heaven's Word down. Yeah, I assume that's what the scene was showing us. We have a med check command. Yep. Mostly for Sweetling, but you'd be surprised at how many people go, oh shit, <laughs> when they see the med check. Oh, also, couldn't say this earlier, but Heaven's Word is personally your favorite music. I really liked the music in that last fight. It was so dramatic. And then the switch up from, like, choir music to, like, the intense. Oh. Oh. So what's gonna go wrong? It's all too peaceful. Nothing went wrong. Nothing went wrong. Guys! Guys, several cutscenes played in a row and nothing went wrong. Maybe it's okay. We're gonna watch the Stormblood trailer right before we start it, Neon. So we're not gonna watch it just yet, but right before we start it. Okay, right, I wanted to tell you guys the story of sleepwalking. The funniest time I've ever seen Spess sleepwalk was I was staying up really late and I was playing games with some friends. And then Spess came creeping around the corner really slowly, holding a pillow. And he, he it, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, act it out. He came around the corner with a pillow, and he was like, "Do you need this for anything?" And I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Do you, do you need this for anything?" And I was like, "That's my pillow. That's my pillow, Spess. I'll need that for sleep." And he was like, "Okay." And then he went to bed and walked away. I was like, "What the fuck was that?" <laughs> It was the- it, like, scared me, because he came around the corner so quietly, he was like, just, do you need this? I'm like, what? What is- what's wrong with you? What are you talking about? <laughs> I shall take my leave! I have to go to bed! Kyo, have good sleep, okay? Thanks for hanging out with us. Perlene! Perlene, you made it! Perlene, I cried. I cried. At the Estinian part. It was so- it was so nice. It was so cool and nice, and I liked it a lot, and it made me- made me sad. To be fair, they did kill two characters in this expansion, so the worst has already come true. Literally, my heart cannot take it, if anymore. What if you said no? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what would have happened. My boyfriend said I woke him up uh, one time and said to him in my sleep, I must return what was taken and had your fingers pinched. You had something in them. That's so ominous, Golsif. That's so terribly ominous. <laughs> Straight off the balcony if I said no. I wish he would have said no. Dude, World War Three. <laughs> Estinian is a good lad. Dude, I'm so... The way that shape shaked out made me so happy. I cried, but it was like for good. It was like for good cry. I was gazing out at the sea of clouds in all too rare moment of idleness when I chanced to behold a certain hero wending his way towards the city on Dragonback. Welcome home, sir. Nay, 
"'Twas no grave matter that moved me to greet you in person. Between you and me, I merely sought respite from the pressures of office. No sooner do I surrender my role as a temporary head of state than I am burdened with a position of more permanent responsibility. I fancy that it echoes in some small measure the way you must feel when your improbable feats of heroism are rewarded with still more impossible challenges. The myth which guided our society for generations lies in tatters. Am I then to be scorned for building upon the system of nobility that I once sought to tear down? And what strange jest is this that places me at its pinnacle, an archbishop's bastard at the head of the House of Lords? Ah, but these questions are for me to answer. It is not in man's nature to change overnight. This I learned through painful experience, and it was this hard lesson which convinced me to take the path we, which we now follow. Even as we rebuild the bridge between man and dragon, so must we reimagine Ishgard, one carefully placed stone at a time. We must remember that it is not for us to, that we lay this groundwork, but for the men and women that our children will become. May their towers rise proudly from the fundament of our legacy. Smiley face. <clears throat> I hear word from Captain Whitecape that Astinian has vanished from his sick room. His willfulness survives undiminished. Should you ever happen upon our unmannerly friend on your travels, pray assure him that I shall keep Ishgard safe until he deigns to come home. Okay. And then the blue eyes of our dragon attack. No, sweetling! We're, we're friends with dragons now. It's all good. Thank you, sir. And please, convey my warmest regards to Master Alphano. Okay. <laughs> Boob window! Boob window. Boob window. This is the Hellfire armor, right? <laughs> oh, no, it's not! It's dome and steel. But it looks like boob window still. Boob window. Sorry. Sorry, I'm immature. Do do do. Red Panda! Yeah. He's on my head. It's literally perfection, Val. It's literally perfection. It's the best pet. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, it's been glammed to look. Ah, I didn't notice. How can you tell if something's been glammed? How do I how do I inspect you again? <gasps> oh! It like the name flickers. Augmented Hellfire Mask of Fending. Oh, that's interesting. It like the name flickers. Do 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 do. Fourteen has spiffo dolls. Yes, they do. <gasps> Abami, thank you so much for the host. Hello. Do 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 do. Uh, are we going into Fortem? Wait. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. The plus icon on the armor shows. Oh, okay. Lurk! Enjoy your lurk, Warlord! <clears throat> you spoke with Sir Amerik. I do not envy him his new position. Ishgard has chosen a new road, but one littered with the... God damn it, Alphano. Why are you teaching me so much English today? Define detritus. Detritus. Detritus! Gravel, sand, silt, or other material produced by erosion. Ishgard has chosen a new road, but one littered with the detritus of a thousand years of broken faith. Ooh. You looking like you ain't returning what was taken. <laughs> Are you running sideways, or is the panda just being weird? The panda's just being weird. Streamer lies about pasta, how could you? Uh, yet though her people may stumble from time to time, I know of none better than Sir Amerik to lead the March of Progress. As for us, there remains the small matter of ushering in a new dawn in the shadow of the inscrutable Assian machinations and a seemingly endless procession of primals. But we too must walk our chosen path, no matter how treacherous the footing. In the wake of Ishgard's governmental reform, new airship routes have been sanctioned. You may, may now travel to a selection of distant locales from the la uh, landing in Ishgard. Let's go. 
Pasta. <laughs> I hate the pasta. Criminally underviewed and underviewed it shall stay. Warrior of Darkness? Who is this? Whomst? Oh. No way. No. Leave them be. I think they might go for the eyes of Nidhogg. Those idiots threw it into the ravine. All we have to do is simply go down and pick them up. Thank you, Blaine Hairs. Nay, you need not remain there. We shall rendezvous at the usual place. Dude looks like a rock golem with hair. <laughs> That's basically what the Rogans are, if I'm not mistaken. All is proceeding as expected, then. Aye, there is naught to concern us, aside from the overly curious mouse. Mouse? What is Alphano doing there? Dude's like mad exploring. Wait a second, Alphano's outfit is different. Wait a second, I see a red ribbon. Is that Alizé? Oh! <gasps> Alize! Him again. I was like, no, wait, Alpha Note has new threads. It is of no moment. They will play their part, and we will play ours. Hey! We have not seen Alize since like level 30. People arrive, Thancred. I love Thancred. His new outfit. Oh! And thus did grey mists give way to azure skies. Man and dragon rise above, voices joined in song. But beneath shrouded boughs, beyond the scope of light, shadow stirs. Dun 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 dun. So, we are maybe being reintroduced to Alize. <laughs> Curses. We're maybe being reintroduced to Alize? Or at least very soon? Master Terabellum, Master Terabellum, you come at the most excellent time. An invitation from a truly preeminent personage was delivered to the manor but a short while ago. Would that you had been present to receive it, but in any event, Sir Aymeric de Borel, uh, Lord Speaker of the House of Lords, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, and Viscount of House Borel, that is such a lengthy, cordially, lengthy title, cordially invites Master Terabellum to dine with him at his estate. Okay. You seem surprised. The messenger assured me that his lord had broached the subject with you at an earlier date, when the arrangements for the peace conference were still being finalized. Oh yeah, he was like, hey, let's get a drink together sometime. Now it's unfortunate, but I must disappear. You have caught up to me, and I must not get spoiled. I hope you have a good rest of your stream, Tara. Kersels, you better start moving. You're not gonna be able to watch nothing. Kersels, thanks for hanging out. I forget, did we ever get into our 14 account with Lily Snow? That was eons ago, Kurt, uh, Vel. That was eons ago. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Of course, the intervening moons afforded little opportunity for leisure, but with the happy advent of peace, tis plain the Lord Commander sees no further cause to delay. What say you? I should be glad to accept. I haven't the foggiest what to wear. I should be glad to accept. Nah, I need to catch up, I know. Once I'm feeling better, I will spend a whole day doing so. Let's go! When I did this, I forgot to change out of my Kral cosplay before entering the cutscene. Oh no, was it awkward for you? For some reason, your character was on his account? That's so strange. Indeed, who would not? You will forgive me if I seem envious. I shall send word of your acceptance to Boral Manor at once. When you are ready, pray report to the Astrologicum. They will have someone escort you the rest of the way. Okay. Do, do. Chainmail ears. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Did the music in here change? I've never heard this theme in Ishgard before. Is it more upbeat now because of story progress? 
Greetings and well met, Master Tarbalm. I have the honor and the privilege to serve as head steward of House Borel, though admittedly our staff is somewhat smaller than those of other noble families, being countable on one hand. Ahem, my lord will be overjoyed to hear that you have accepted his invitation, as you will soon see we have spared no expense. I dare say a man of action such as yourself enjoys nary a moment's respite. Aye, the battlefield beckons even now, I am sure, but for this day we bid you lay down your burdens and raise a glass to peace and prosperity. It's kinda easy to get, all it costs is money. I like this game. Me too, Sable! Me too! <laughs> yeah, Panda Panda easy to get, you just gotta spend the money. And you get a lot of money from questing. So, easily. Fucking dosh! Like, not real life money. In game money. Oh, outfit change? Dude, I miss your fancy armor. You've gotten soft, eh, Merrick? You've gotten soft. Oh, game money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In game money. <laughs> to think the Mughals would prove such harsh taskmasters. <laughs> Forgive me. I did not know you had suffered so in your quest for the horn. Guys, we're on our date. We're on our date with Amrick. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Moogle. Lollafells deserve fancy feast. I love Lollafells so much. There's a part of me, like a small part of me, that misses my aura, but... always come as a welcome change from the arid reports which fill my days. Small part, but because Lollafells are just so perfect. No wine for me, thanks. I have battles to fight. This is definitely a date. I felt so disrespectful in my Kral cosplay! I would have felt dirty in my, like, little paperboy. My little paperboy aesthetic, so I'm glad we kept in, like, the Shiva armor. In place of a Dark Lord, you shall have a Glalafell! Dude, they wouldn't dare poison the tea again, would they? He's gonna poison the tea. They're going for this again. They're spending too much time on it. He's doing something. Though I have lived in these lands my entire life, to hear you speak of them, there is much and more I have yet to see. Truly, yours was a marvelous journey. Yes, it was. Ah, uh, though perhaps a bit too long for my liking, nah. <gasps> Why not join me on the next? You should come with me, Amrick. Please don't zoom in on the drinks. Why are they like this, right? The way he lit up! Well, truth be told, when I think back on the sweeping vistas of the churning mists, I do feel some slight pangs of wonder. Did you see that smile, dude? He was like... <gasps> Come with Alas, me. much as I would like to accept your invitation, I fear my present duties with the House of Lords demand my undivided attention. Someday, perhaps. He really said, I just can't be with you. Right now. By your deeds, you have helped us to lay the foundation for lasting reform. The formation of the Republic is but the beginning, for it is not only our system of governance which must needs change. We, the people, must learn to let go of our hatreds and rise above our bloody past. I only pray that I live long enough to see us achieve some measure of success, that I might know the lost did not die in vain. I can still see you there on the steps of faith, striding fearlessly towards the worm. If you could do that, who are we to balk at the challenges ahead? The question of how best to strengthen ties with the other great nations of Eorzea has been debated at length in the Lords and Commons of late. As you may imagine, Maintaining stability during this period of historic upheaval is our paramount concern. Nevertheless, we are greatly indebted to the Alliance for their support during the Grand Melee, and it would be remiss of us not to repay their faith in kind. Of course, we owe you the greatest debt of all, and it is my hope that in extending our support to you and the Scions, we might also express our gratitude to our neighbors, nay, our fellow Eorzeans, whom we pray you will continue to protect. Of course. The Lords and Commons agree on very little, 
But not a soul in either house begrudges your order this offer of patronage. For all you have done and will do, we thank you. Hey, thanks, man. It was my pleasure. Too bad we're about to get poisoned by the tea. Or the, the wine, question mark? I thought we said no to the wine. Poison! Here it comes. Poison! Wait. May I ask a oh. question? <laughs> it sounded like the music was stopping. I thought it was actually poison. Now that the dust has settled. What will you do? Not as a scion, I mean. But I don't remember, but probably poison. What do you want for yourself? They just spent so long focusing on the dude pouring the drinks. What do I want for myself? To reach Shadowbringers and Endwalker and see the best Commander, pray that the story the has to offer. News from House Fortone. An urgent message for the Warrior of Light. I was instructed to deliver it without delay. Master Thancred returned to the manor a short time ago, bearing an injured maiden. Elze! Master Leveilleur and Mistress Tataru are tending to her wounds, but they like not her chances. Respectfully, my lord, they have requested the Warrior of Light's immediate presence. Gladly, gladly, gladly. You must go to them, my friend. And I shall go with you. Hey! Date's not over. Just changing locale. I want to know what Alizé's been up to all this time. For every ending marks a new beginning. Who's talking? Is that Alphano? From tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. As did he. That does not sound like Alphano. Who's narrating now, if not Edmund? Only to be drawn unto another battlefield, another cause, as if by fate. I totally don't recognize this voice. It's not Thancred. It wouldn't make sense to me. I don't know who that would be. Do, 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 do. She's on the bed, or she's on the couch. Elsie! Yes. <laughs> oh my god, she's fucking dead. Is that? I just accept that I usually don't know who's narrating. Fair enough. For ARR, I know she branched off for the Bahamut raids. I don't remember what she did during Heaven's Word. Oh, right, somebody was telling me that her story continues a bit in the Bahamut raids. Alize, Alphino's twin sister. She was still missing for all of Heaven's Word. She ran afoul of the Warriors of Darkness. I had been tracking them since the ceremony at Falcon's Nest. Little did I know I was not the only one. Oof. Evidently, she had learned of their activities and attempted to shadow them on her own. Poorly. Oof. I rescued her in the Twelfth's Wood, and together we fled north. But though I made every effort to cover our tracks, they caught up with us on the Ishgardian border. And in the ensuing struggle, Elise took an arrow to the shoulder. To the knee? It was only after we had made good our escape that I realized it was poisoned. Oh! So the poison wasn't in the wine, it was in the arrow. I guess her adventuring days Thank are over. Thank you for coming so quickly. And you, Sir Emmerich. Think nothing of it. How is she? We have done all we can for now. Although the immediate danger has passed, the poison yet lingers in her blood. <sighs> we came to Eorzea together, hoping to bring salvation to the realm our grandfather gave his life to protect. I don't know if the Warrior of Light, like, ignoring the Bahamut raids, I don't know if the Warrior of Light 
ever engaged with her because they were in Limza Lominza. I think it was after Merlewib's speech that she was like, this is pointless, brother. You're when dumb. Confronted with the Goodbye forever. of its politics and its petty power mongers, she was driven to anger and to doubt. And she didn't want to work with the Alliance. She refused to become embroiled in what she termed Eorzea's squabbles yeah. and distanced herself from the Scions. Yep, 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 yep. Though she remained hopeful of a brighter future, she would walk her own path. Would that it had not been so perilous. She was like, you're wrong and stupid. Goodbye forever. And now look at you. Poisoned. For all our differences, she's as dedicated as any Scion to the salvation of Eorzea. But more than that, she is my sister. What? You guys look so different. To be reunited with her, only to lose her forever. <laughs> Probably not, Spaz. Gods, even to speak the words. Take heart, Master Alphino. She will be attended by our most skilled Kyrugians. Kyrugians. And welcome back, Warlord, if I didn't say it. Bear Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary at once. Apprise Captain Whitecape of the situation and inform him that she is to be treated as my personal charge. W wait, don't go. Please, come closer. We're gonna get up closer and just get back. Uh, uh, uh. Lick my balls. The warriors of darkness are in league with the Asians. Slaughtering the primals is but the first step in their plan. But why? They make for Zelvatol to bring about Garuda's summoning and to kill her. Again, but why? <laughs> you must. You must stop them. Oh, she fucking died. Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. I, I shall inform the others at once. Oh my gosh, she fucking died. Master Thancred, I would ask that you accompany Mistress Levea to the infirmary. Your knowledge of her injuries may well prove useful in determining her treatment. Of course. Surely, surely they won't let her. Ah, yes, yes, I know. We must trust in Captain Whitecape and his chirurgeons. Did they not just bring, uh, did they not bring Astinian back from the very brink of death? I'm uncomfortably reminded of how he mocked me for praying at his be bedside for days on end. What say you, my friend? Shall we turn our attention to a matter whose conclusion we have yet to power, uh, we have yet the power to influence? Yes, we should. I'm just gonna take the money. Shadows of the First. So, the Warriors of Darkness and the Asians are conspiring to bring about Garuda's summoning, that they might put her to the sword. Then when we first encountered them in Lost Ass Nath, when they were confronting Ravana, Gods, has this been their aim all along? What do you intend to do, Master Alphano? There is much and more I do not understand, but I know this, a primal summoning cannot be ignored. Alizé risked her life to uncover this plot, and we squander her gift at our peril. Sir, will you accompany me to Zel Fatol and help me stop the Ixel's ritual? Yes. Yes, I will. Given that Ishgard shares a border with the Ixali homeland, we have a vested interest in the outcome of this ritual. We've been willing to suffer the Beastman's intrusions into Kurth and lands to a point, but the summoning of a primal is an escalation we cannot abide. You shall have our fastest airship, Master Alphano. The mountains of Zelfatol are not easily traversed, and this endeavor demands all haste. This gesture is most appreciated, Sir Americk, but I fear an aerial approach is destined to fail. This is their homeland, after all, and Ixali 
dirigibles are not to be underestimated. No, experience tells me the only conceivable approach is by land. I believe it would be wiser to cross into Zelfatol by the uh, by way of the mountain pass east of Camp Dragonhead. In that case, I shall send instructions for a contingent of the camp's knights to be placed at your disposal. They will secure you safe passage through the mountains and escort you thence to Zelfatol. Though my men are unqualified at uh, to confront a primal, they are more than capable of contending with the Ixil. We should be glad of their assistance, Lord Edmund. In the event uh, Mistress Alizé regains consciousness, we will share with you any additional information she may provide. May the Fury watch over and keep you safe. Then let us be off. We can procure any additional supplies we require in Camp Dragonhead. Okay. Do 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 do. Sausage. There's no way they would make us fight Garuda again. Because we didn't have to fight Ravana again. If anything, when we get there, we'll have to fight the Warriors of Darkness themselves. Have you everything you require then? Excellent. The entrance to the pass is north of Natalan, due east of Camp Dragonhead. Though it is normally guarded by a score of Ixali warriors, I have been informed that House Fortemp Knights have already dispatched them. The enemy's gate lies open. We need but walk through. Oh, there I'm online. Oh, Neon, hi. Does that mean you want to group up at the next dungeon? Eyes? Do I already have the warp beyond here or what is this? Oh no, there's no portal there. We used to level in Zelfatol when Curthus was still green. Really? Like, wait, 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 wait. Like, before A Realm Reborn? Like, old school Final Fantasy XIV? Master Terabellum, Master Alphano, I could, uh, as you can see, the gate is ours. Be advised that our scouts are reporting increased activity around the first mountain. Simply put, they are up to something. I don't want anyone nearby. Or, near something. I, I read that wrong. We stand ready to escort you to Zelfatola and aid you as you see fit. Hmm, given the numbers we are like to encounter, a two-pronged approach may be best. While the knights and I feign a larger attack to draw the Ixil's attention, I suggest you and yours attempt to slip past their defenses and locate the site of the summoning ritual. If the gods are good, you should have only have to deal with uh, some few patrols, but if they are not, you may be forced to do battle with the Warriors of Darkness. Oh, sorry, not Zelfatola. Natalan. Oh! Oh, it's a dungeon! Oh! Hey, Neon, wanna do a dungeon? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, looks like you're in something. Boop, 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 boop. Who wants to do dungeon, if anyone? Hiya! Going to people sit here. Sure, but you're already in the dungeon. You're logging in, Kay. We sit patiently. Whew. I love this little braid we have. Do 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 do. Boop 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 boop. Ratchet tail. We have a ratchet tail. You're right. Dude, is anyone old enough to remember when rat tails were like in fashion? When like every young like boy had a rat tail? Dude, what the fuck was that? What were we thinking? What were we thinking with rat tails? They were not good. They were not a good thing. It was gross. I remember my brother having one and it was gross. Yeah, you remember, Warlord? That, why? What were we- what? Why? So you mean like now? Are rat tails coming back? <laughs> they were never in fashion, but they were a thing. <laughs> well said. Well said, Izagi. Also lived through mullets. Okay, but mullets are coming back and they're kind of a vibe. They had a mini comeback in K-pop for, for a bit. Thank God that's over. I'm a sucker for a mullet. I'll say it. I'll say it. I like mullets. 
No, not mullets. I don't know why I like them, but I do. If Obi-Wan can have one, it must be cool. Did Obi-Wan make it popular? All right, we're queuing up. We're queuing up. This is a dungeon? Oh, it is a dungeon. Because Neon is still disposed of. Rip Neon, you'll join the next one. I love a good mullet, no shame. Mullets are a hard no from you? I feel like you guys are pi picturing different mullets than I'm picturing. The long braid isn't a rat tail. It's like a Padawan thing, isn't it? <laughs> um, I like short mullets. I like short mullets that are like a little bit shaggy. Maybe I'm thinking about a wolf cut. Hold on, let's look up some pictures. Oh no, I don't have time, shit. Fuck. <laughs> Evelyn, you make cues too fast because you're a healer. Joe Dirt Mullet, not that kind of mullet. Although I could be persuaded. I think I had like the smallest crush on Joe Dirt when I was younger. I didn't have good taste. That's all I'm saying. But I also have a soft spot for redneck, so that could have something to do with it. Hi, gamers! Holy <laughs> I'm playing a horror game. I'm playing a horror game. Not the rock falling. Oh god, you do- Past tense. Past tense. Past tense. Love Joe Dirt. Past tense, right Becky? Right? We have to save face. Past tense. My god, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna mute this game in a second. These loud rock fallings are jump scaring the frick out of me. Ooh, I'm not messing with that. I'm gonna stay away from that little circle there. I still love them. You're from Ohio. You're allowed? Okay, I don't know what my excuse is. I think I'll get hit by a falling rock. Hang on, the music in this dungeon? Do, 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 do. <laughs> He's Augie! <laughs> He's Augie, you're... <laughs> You're like, you're like, uh, what's her name? Padme from, uh, from Star Wars. You're like, Terabellum, you're breaking my heart. You're going down a road I can't follow. <laughs> it's an opinion which is subjective and not fact. Fair enough. Do, 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 do. You know what this means? This just, remember uh, a few weeks ago, I made the argument that if you don't find yourself attractive, you're probably just not your own type. This just further uh, convinces that argument. If Becky and I are somewhat attracted to Joe Dirt, then that means there's somebody for everyone, okay? So this is good news. This is a good thing. In fact, you guys should be happy. You guys should be proud of Becky and I. The sacrifice we're doing for the greater good. Oh, are we supposed to, what is that? Whoa! Oh, I see the mechanic, that's fun. My ogre's out there somewhere in this swamp. <laughs> Frick your air stones. Do, 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 do
Valkyrie's Ring of Healing. Looks like a fucking Captain America shield. Layers. Onion has layers. Shrek also has layers. But it is known, modders. Stab wounds? Oh, there's spikes around the arena. I was standing in them like a dingus. Do, 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 do. I can't believe I broke my gosh dang foot. I didn't get to catch up on that in Discord, Mac. Is it full broken? Siege Gabu Gubu would be so helpful. We need Siege go Gubus. I wish I had a Siege Gubu to bring me cereal. That's what they're used for, right? You rolled ankle about two weeks ago. One spot was sore this past Friday. Didn't get any better. Off to urgent care. Tiny bone on outside of foot is broken. Wait, you have bones on your outside? Wait. Mac, do you have a carapace? Are you a bug? I've never seen your legs, so they could very well be bug legs. The fuck is a gubu? Uh, the big guy we just killed very recently. They look like big... What do they look like? Big golems, kinda? But more squishy, more pudgy looking. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. <laughs> Tara, please. <laughs> Mac, how long have you known me now? Let me check that badge beside you. 16 months. You don't come to expect this. You don't come to expect this by now. Whose channel did you think you were in? Inside of foot. Inside faces other foot. Outside, obviously. <laughs> that didn't make it make more sense to me. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Literally rolled mine and fractured it a couple years ago, so I feel that, Mac. Dude, what a scam it is to be getting older. You'll- you turn your head wrong and you break your fucking collarbone. Maybe that's a bit dramatic, but almost. That carbuncle, oh my god. Ripperoni. Did my carbuncle die? Did I miss it? Why were they commenting on my carbuncle? What happened? These are gubus, Val. These big things. These are the gubus. Look how cute. They're cute in an ugly way. They're not cute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, gubus. <gasps> myth! Hello, Myth? Goober, br 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 exactly. Great news? Good news, everyone. Hit us with it. Maybe throw a mullet on them. Stop! <laughs> Started testosterone yesterday! Let's fucking go! Had to take the stairs. <laughs> a fate worse than death. Having to take the stairs. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, do. Oh! Ah! Oh, okay, I gotta hide behind the walls. I see. I understand the assignment now. Alright, I'm lined up with the wall this time. I'm in an air cast, and if needed, gonna get one of those scooters! A freedom scooter, Mac? You get a freedom scooter? Yo, my freedom. J 
Jesus, the link. Oh my God, Mac. Check your links. What the heck is that? Oh, they about to drop another one on me, I think. Yep. Oh, there's wind everywhere. It's a bit windy over here, you guys. It heckin' windy. Gaia! Gaia, how are you? Hello? Gaia, how you doing? Whoop. Valkyrie's gloves of striking, no thank you. Earrings of fending, no thank you. Oh, those Scooty Puff Juniors. <laughs> I feel worlds better with this thing on, so there's that. What is, what is an air cast? Is that one of those like see-through plasticky ones? The ones that just kind of like clamp around it rather than like actually, actually like full on casting? Pretty shitty, oof, pretty good actually. I hate to be the antithesis of your mood right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good, gotta be honest. I didn't, I really did not see much of the Discord today. I popped in on it very briefly, but I missed a lot. Airstone? Not keeping up with you. Most, most of the days I do, but yeah, today I was bad. Gaia 14 is so much fun. What the? Oh, little fucking, I don't even know what to call this. Not, not hang glider. Um, I don't know what to call that. It was cute. It was cute, whatever it was. Oh, why did I get aggro? Oh, well, okay. I think I only briefly had it. Do, 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 do. Zipline! <laughs> the name just came to me finally. It's a zipline. He's a cute little zipline. Whee! You've been playing 10 a lot, so the uh, so close to the platinum. Don't have the patience to grind it out for sphere grids. I've never played 10. So one thing I was talking about is depending on how like uh, how everything goes in Final Fantasy 14, I may revisit the old Final Fantasies that I've never played. Because I played a little bit of 12 and I played a little bit of 10 too, and that's it. You need to show me something? Bet. Is it a glam? Is it a mount? Ah! It's kind of a glam thing, okay. Dude, it heckin' windy! I feel like the Ixel look far more buff than they used to. I thought the Ixel were pretty scrawny last time. Do, 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 do. I'm, I'm worried. I'm not gonna get blown off the edge or anything, eh? Oh, I don't know what this is. Just gonna put it over here. Oh, okay. It's a fun game though, you're so powerful now that you basically one shot anything that isn't a dark Aeon or optional boss! Including what remains of the actual bosses. Yo, you gotta love when you hit that point in games. Where you're basically a deity. Ah! A 
upon the sliver of our glory. We call now Squawk Squawk. Oh, I'm getting squawked, I think. Garuda suddenly? Oh, is she just gonna be here for the rest of the Oh no, okay, she's gone. I thought she was just gonna be vibing for the rest of the fight. Dark Yojimbo. And Penance after, it's gonna just be grinding to max spear grid, sphere grids. Oof. I like a good grind, but I haven't experienced what that grind is like, so. Could be much worse than I've experienced. Oh, my goodness. Reckoning comes. Yeah, I swear the Ixel were not this buffed the last time we fought them. He's so cute. He's so branches. Getting pretty late, just wanted to swing by and say hi before bed. Catch you soon, catch you soon, Gaia. Good to see you. <laughs> I don't know what this emote is, but I love it. Fireworks! <laughs> Being Camp Dragon Head Cat. Hi, Alpha Noah. Thank the gods. What happened? Uh, we stopped them from the ritual. Although they kind of half summoned Garuda. Does that count? So they were unable to see the ritual to its completion. Correct. Then Garuda is no longer a threat. Correct. And whatever the Asians and the Warriors of Darkness were planning has come to naught. Correct. But we should not tarry. Show left, show right. Oh. To safety. Well, well. What do we have here? You'd better not have killed the primal without us. Oh, this is awkward. We did. Oh, we did. We did. We did do that. I'm sorry. Who the fuck is this? This guy wasn't in their party last time. They got another party member. You. Wait, I know you. Still walking, I see. I could have sworn my aim was true. Just what is your game? Leading us a long way so these fools could step in and claim our prize? No, no. Let's not make hasty accusations. By the look of things, the ritual was proceeding as planned. We arrived at the appointed hour. It was they who erred. Erred? It is hopeless. We cannot face them all. Do mine ears deceive? A boy! So that's the way of it! Twins! You had me worried for a moment there. Know that I will happily make it quicker for you. If you just stand still. Ranger of Darkness so edgy! Ah! Enough, Jerumal. We wouldn't want to upset the man in white with any unnecessary bloodshed now, would Jerumal? we? Jerumal? I'm never going to remember that name. I hope it's not important. 
Jerumal? You've been awfully busy since we were kind enough to spare your lives. While you were idly consorting with the Asians, you mean? Seven hells! What could you possibly hope to achieve? Tell us your dark Should plan. I explain it to you. Yes. Very well. Consider it a reward of sorts for beating us here. He's gonna monologue. You know the tale of Hydaelyn and Zodiac, I take it? Yeah. Of the Great Sundering and the reflections it created. Yeah, that's why the moon's haunted, I'm pretty sure. Because they literally glanced up at the moon when they were telling the story. Across ten and three they were divided. Reflections of the source, each possessed of shards of light and dark. Just so. One of those reflections, the one nearest to the source, is our home. And we were the heroes blessed with her light. Dark crystal! Not all worlds hold light and dark in equal measure. In ours, the power of light was greater by far. So the Asians who once threatened our home were no match. And they fell before us, one after another, till none were left. Victory, we thought. And then came the light. A flood of pure, blinding radiance, annihilating shadow and color and life itself. Ere long, it will consume our world, leaving naught in its wake but blank perfection. That... that cannot be. Do you honestly expect us to believe such a story? Believe what you like. But it has happened before on a world far removed from ours. The 13th, which was swallowed by the dark and transformed into what you call the void. What happened in Final Fantasy 13? <laughs> was it was it that? Is Our he talking about Final Fantasy 13? Us to a similar fate. And so we joined hands with our former enemies and with their aid came here to the source for there is but one way to restore the balance and save our home the ardor calamitous destruction with the power to break down the barriers <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> and see our worlds rejoined you would doom our world to save your own what would even become of us of you Enough. I tire of talking. You know our cause. You know what is at stake. We are prepared to do whatever it takes. Are you? Woo! Huh? Why did they leave? Why did they leave you behind? If there is aught you would say, say it. Otherwise, be gone. You have no friends here. This is so awkward. Why would they just stick us with him? Oh, there he goes. He was just standing there, menacingly. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think somebody said the Warriors of Darkness are supposed to be like the 1.0. Heroes, right? Like ARR 1.0 or not ARR 1.0 Final Fantasy 14 1.0 I should say All things considered we should be grateful to have survived the encounter. Oh, no, they aren't. Oh, okay. I misunderstood He's your new party member. <laughs> they just left him here. So he's ours now, I guess Do you think it could be true that to save their world they must bring ruin to ours? No, no matter. Uh, no, it matters not such wanton destruction is beyond justification. Whatever their reasons, they must be stopped. Uh, the sacrifice, the loss, it ends. Alpha would like nothing more than get out of the snow. Forgive me, this is neither the time nor the place for idle introspection. The knights can appraise Lord Edmund of our success. Uh, and we, the Lord Commander. More importantly, I should like to see my sister's condition has improved. You may take a moment for yourself if you wish. I will be at the congregation. Someone might have said it, but they aren't. Okay, okay. Uh, I need to go find Neon in Camp Dragonhead.
What you got? Umbrella? Ta-da! I can do that too. Do. Oh, are you using the little parasol animation to hide your... You're like one of those, um, oh shit, like those magicians that change outfits. You're like one of those. It's your transformation act. Oh, it did it too early. I saw it. Gotta time it better. Gotta time it better. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it, I believe. I believe. Not too early. You're jumping the gun. Or maybe there's delay. Maybe it's perfectly timed for you, but not so much for me. Oh, this one looks like fucking Lich King. Wait, literally Lich King. Huh. Very cool, very nice, very fresh. To the night's most heavenly. That's super edgy though. This armor. Sheesh. It's like Lich King, but red instead of blue. Oh, I still have my umbrella. Well, this is awkward. Brings me joy to see you safely return to us, sir. What news from Zelfatol? Is it really already grilled? Never knew you could dance with the parasol, it's an animation. It's the Arc Fiend armor, it looks so cool in the on. So 1.0 players have a slightly different uh, scenes in A Realm Reborn, but otherwise are the same as players story-wise. Okay, gotcha. Then we are not too late. On behalf of Ishgard, I offer you my deepest thanks. As for who we remain, or as for who remained behind, Mistress Ishulta, Ishtola, why am I saying it so funny, has been tending to Mistress Alizé in your absence, and I am pleased to report that she has regained consciousness. I imagine you have many questions, especially given your recent encounter with the Warrior of Darkness. I know I do. Come, let me show you uh, to her room. Do not worry, her condition is much improved. She is a resilient one, much like her brother. Oh, it's season one of PvP? Gotcha. Wait, she's wearing, like, Ishtola's old gear. Alize, how are you feeling? Well enough, brother. Thanks to the kindness of our hosts. They told me you had departed for Zelfatol while I was still abed. I slept much better knowing that. I take it your mission was a success. <laughs> Always with the nod. As if we needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Asians, But to save another world? I think not. I too thought his story fanciful at first. But it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. You were following these people, Alize. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Scions' stead. The Warriors of Darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumors, you stumbled upon the Asians' involvement. Yes, exactly. Forgive me, but if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? To prompt an escalation. To deepen the beast tribe's feelings of helplessness oh. and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. And lest we forget, oh. these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. 
Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. That makes sense because they want this world to be destroyed, right? So that they can save their own. And if they're forcing the Beastmen to summon, summon ever more powerful primals, that would be what to do. Did it explain where Warriors of Power Darkness are from? Kind of? of they said it was like from a death different with world? More death. A vicious I'm guessing an alternate reality? And hatred. I know it's like all too well. Feel free to correct me if I misunderstood that. But that's what I thought. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation, and the Warriors of Darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Because they were talking about the Sunderings, or the Sundering, and the ten... Ten... What was it? The ten darknesses and the Yet three that lights? that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. Mm. They did explain it, but it's not super clear can't yet. can't let that happen. Heidelin kind of explained a little bit uh, last time you saw her. It's to do with the Sundering. It should come as no surprise. But I don't quite but get Alize it yet. And I Ten and three. Evidence reflect that the Asians 13 reflections, have been manipulating yeah. certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. Hmm. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Hmm. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zalfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Sir Emmerich? Right. They stated they're from the reflection closest to this world. The first reflection. And my brain said, they're from the moon. <laughs> because the first time we saw the Warrior of Darkness was on the moon, talking to an Asian. Now, I don't know if their definition of world... As a world... member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asian's dealings with my father. I have yet to understand if their, their terminology of world means planet or reality. <laughs> the moon derp. <laughs> 13th reflection was the one that got turned into the void. Right. Thank you for recapping for me. I'm, my brain is full of holes. And that's when I was like, Final Fantasy 13? <laughs> However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. I have dealt with the Nath before. Yes, you have. That's the total of what's revealed so far. Okay. So it may yet be that world means planet or Rianger world then. means reality. Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Allow me to accompany you, brother. Dude, didn't we? And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. Last time we saw Orianger, because he's saying we should go talk to Orianger. Last time we saw him, was he not talking to an Asian? But Alize, Did I hallucinate you... that? You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. Heidelin did say seven reflections have been killed already. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. And the Warriors of Darkness. I don't remember seeing that, but that, that might have been what happened. And then I thought it was Alphano spying on them, but it was Alizé. That makes sense. Smiley face. I'm gonna keep quiet. That's probably wise. <laughs> Ding. Ding. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just saying what Tara should know already, but I'm just excited. Story getting so good. It really is. Uh, would I be right? Lobster! Everything's better with butter! Hi, lobster! Hi Raiders, how you guys doing? Welcome in. If you don't know me, my name is Tara, I'm a variety streamer. I usually stream four days a week with horror streams, drinking streams, and everything for between. Right now I'm hyper fixated on Final Fantasy 14 and the story is so good. Hi. Neon, thanks for the lurk. 
Uh, hi, 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 how is Conan? You're my superstar. <gasps> Schlobs unicorn, Schlobs unicorn, everything is better with butter. Schlobs unicorn, Schlobs unicorn, oh yeah. Schlobs unicorn, Schlobs unicorn. Oh yeah. <laughs> A year! Lobster, thank you for the one year. Congrats on the planet badge upgrade. Hello? Lobster, how is Conan? Did the did the server uncrash itself? Because when Molly raided in, she said the server crashed. Also, hi, Bukma. You were here three times. <laughs> Better go hunt down those tabs, Bukma. <laughs> um, would I be right in assuming that you have not spoken with my sister since? Uh, one of the memorial services, was it? You are correct. By the 12, it seems a lifetime ago. I should like to think we have both grown since then. New threads? My apologies for, my apologies. My apologies for keeping you waiting. She dripping? She dripping? Dude, all the new outfit, all the new outfits that people have been getting are so good. Right then, shall we be off? Tataru never ceases to impress, though for a moment I feared she might furnish you with an identical outfit. It's a good thing she gave him something different. Praise the twelve she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of us making, making us wear matching clothes. Do you remember that time at the studio when the girl of when that girl of yours crept up behind me in the hall and whispered... Okay, I love this trend of people just showing up and embarrassing Alphano. <laughs> Don't judge me, Tara. I am judging. <laughs> it uncrashed itself after like 20 minutes. Was it because of the update? Because that's what they suspected. <laughs> Borpa, respectfully. <laughs> Sister, please! She was not my... <sighs> Can we have this conversation in, uh, can we not have this conversation in front of the Warrior of Light? So be it, another time perhaps. It is an honor, sir. I realize we are barely acquainted, but having heard so much about you, it hardly feels that way. Pleasure to have you with us. Been meaning to ask about the carriage. Pleasure to have you. Wait, was that literally the first time we saw her was on the carriage with her brother? And we haven't seen her since? I'm gonna ask about the carriage. Ah, yes, the carriage that so fortuitously arrived to spirit us away from Ulda after the banquet. Oh, that carriage! The driver informed me that I ha had my sister to thank for his presence in Ulda. How did you know to send help? Oh, drunken brass blades are ever less, even less discreet than sober ones. Unfortunately, by the time I learned of the plot, it was too late to do anything more. Frankly, I'm still amazed uh, Bremont managed to find you. New garments aside, I say that you have, you seem to have a different, more resolute uh, than we last met. You have the look of a woman who is ready to fight for the future of Eorzea. To the extent of my abilities, perhaps, but I have no delusions of grandeur, nor will I pretend to have found myself or any such thing. I am here today because I would regret it if I weren't, that is all. Fair enough. Let us depart for the Waking Sands, then, and see if Oriange can be of, of any assistance. I am looking. They're so pretty, right? I think it's seam related, but I don't know. What is this shirt? Th this, th this shirt? This shirt? This shirt? Ah, Waking Sands! No. I don't like. I don't like. Prayer return to the waking sense. <laughs> Wait, which way is it? Oh, this way. Do 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 What? You thought you were done returning to the Waking Sands? Dude, if I'm an Endwalker and I'm still returning to the right Waking Sands, I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna shit and throw up and cry. Do do do. Need more emotes! I don't know what next one should be after my last one got declined. Was that the twerking one and it still never got accepted, Lobster? And yet countless people have like the What's the ass shaking one? Sussy? What do people call it? I feel like they call it sussy. That's such that's such a scam, lobster.
Oriange, apologies for calling upon you unannounced. Why, Master Alphino, would that the scholar had seen fit to grant me knowledge of thy coming. What bringeth thee and thine here this day? The warriors of darkness have returned. Pray allow us to explain. Oh, you got the Hot Pants version on BTTV? At least it got usage. Pretty sure it's the Twerk Lobster was kind of a lot, to be fair. I too have heard tales in recent days of primal beings rising up only to be cast down by forces unknown. Alas, as thou didst observe, this serveth but to spur the beast tribes to pursue their goals with redoubled fervor. We have two objectives at this time, to identify and remove the source of the beast tribes' crystals, and to take direct action to prevent any further summoning rituals from reaching completion. The second is easier said than done, of course. While we were fortunate enough to learn of the Ixil's plans before they came to fruition, I should be surprised if the Warriors of Darkness and the Asians did not have similar designs elsewhere, of which we have no knowledge. Uh, thou wert wise to come hither, for this very day uh, did I receive tidings most troubling from across the Strait of Merlethor? Ogmoru stirreth, and there are whispers that the Lord of Craigs neareth his return. Mere rumors, mark thou, but in light of thine own discoveries, thou canst ill afford to turn a deaf ear to their claims. Aye, we must ascertain the truth of the a matter for ourselves. Let us consult with the Maelstrom forces stationed at Camp Overlook, sir. Thank you for your counsel, Oriange. Pray, inform us uh, should you learn aught else. I shall. Do, 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 do. If I may, brother, Oriange, is there anything else you would like to say? She saw him talking to an Asian, Alizé. If not, then never mind. I only ask because you are normally rather more verbose. Nothing to add? Very well. Ere we depart, I wish to make a request. The Warriors of Darkness spoke of how the Ardor had the power to break down the barriers between planes, that our worlds might be rejoined. I would ask that you research this for us. Being nowhere near as well-read as you, I'm sure I wouldn't know where to begin. That said, I have heard tell of a promising tome, the Garen Oracles. Mayhap you could start there. Susj. By thy leave. He's like, go the fuck away. <laughs> Camp Overlook, was it? Very well. We can still use it to react to Terra's go live messages in Discord. <laughs> oh, you have a side quest? Oh! No, thank you. That's a lot of side quests. That's a problem for later, Terra. Oh, for extreme trials. Gotcha. What the? Hello? What in the gremlin? <laughs> it's a pretty extra mount right there. Seven hells. At this rate, I'll have to appeal to, the, to Maelstrom Command for reinforcements. Hmm? Whatever it is, we don't want any. Well, fancy that. Just when my kobold problems look like they're coming to a head, the sounds of the seventh dawn turn up itching to pitch in. Bloody brilliant timing is what it is. Right then, let's get to it. So our friendly neighbors in Ugamaro have gotten much more aggressive of late, just as you said. Matter of fact, our scouts spotted one sniffing about the stores just now, likely looking to make off with an armful of crystals. I'll be damned if I'm to let that happen. Lend a hand and help us search the camp for a little bugger, would ya? Okay. I'm for bed, Lobster. Thank you so much again for the raid. I hope you have a good sleep. Our Maelstrom friends seem notably more agitated than when we first arrived. Do you happen to know why that might be? Hi, Gay. Hi. Bye, Gay. A cold in the camp, you say? 
That would appear to corroborate Orianger's information, yes. But to be so reckless as to infiltrate a maelstrom camp and draw attention to their efforts is passing strange. Well, there will be time to think on this later. For the present, we must do everything in our power to prevent Titan's summoning, and that means finding and questioning this kobold. Lollafell. Maybe I just fly above it. What am I doing on the ground? Fly above it! Cobalt! Yoo-hoo! Cobalt! Wherefore art thou, Cobalt? Oh, did I leave the area? Yeah, I did. Ah, there we go. Koboldling! <gasps> ah! Come back! Little booger ran away from me. There you are. S stay back! Away, far back. I I'm not a, not a. Ah, oh, it's no use. Pointless, hopeless, no use. Well, thanks for the look, by the way. P please don't hurt me. I only wish to talk. Yes, yes, just talk. I. Gah! Oh my god, then talk to me, you frickin' frick! When will you learn? This was a stupid plan. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But if I tell no one, then everyone will. Evelyn, thanks for the lurk as well. Ah, he found me again! What to do, what to do, what to do! I- I come in peace! Only to talk! Speak, say, talk! So please, please do not hurt me! So this is our wily kobold infiltrator, is it? No wonder the soldiers were on edge. He could very well give one a bruised knee! <laughs> he's so little, he's even smaller than me. Huzzah! We've got him! Find work, Scions! So, little one, thought you could sneak into my camp, did you? Plotting to steal my crystals, were you? No, 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 I came to talk, to ask for help. But when your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and shouted, and I, I... Now, now, let us take all take a deep breath and discuss this like civilized individuals. What is your name, child? Gabu. Pikmin Gabu of the 620th Order. At least, I will be a Pikmin one day. Well met, Gabu. I am Alphino, and this is my sister Alize. Why did she fucking shoot him daggers when when he introduced her? Sir, the man who found you is our friend, and now that you know our names, we can be friends too. Now, Commander Bludin here thinks you wanted wanted to take his crystals, Gabu, but you said you came here to ask for help. Why to us and not to your own people? What happened, Gabu? Can you tell us? That's just her face. I um er. What she gonna do? Fucking kick him? No one is gonna hurt you, all right? Not while we're here, I promise. The 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 patriarch. He he's the patriarch is gonna summon the great father again, and you have to stop him. Beat him. Fight him. Stop him. Gasp. Gabu's parents said they didn't want it along with many others, but the Patriarch wouldn't listen. He was so angry, raging, fuming, angry. Okay, I love him. Help this baby. I want to. He's so cute. He said that if they didn't have iron in their hearts, they would serve as coke for the furnace? 
cocaína. Uh, and then the guards took my parents and the others away, and I haven't seen any of them since. Coke for the furnace? I did not want to believe it, but I have heard tales of the fossi, of fossi fashioned, foki? Fashioned from the bones of beast men, which worshippers use in their rituals, hoping to summon more powerful incarnations of their gods. Oh my god. By the twelve, that is, that is sickening. No one listens to Gabu, no matter how much he cries, pleads, and begs, and cries. They do not listen, only talk about punishing the overdwellers and praising the Great Father. Gabu. Welcome back, Warlord. Gabu loves the Great Father, but he loves his parents too. So please, help Gabu stop the Patriarch and save his parents. Down with the Patriarchy! Nodders. Nodders. Commander, advise mails from command that Titan summoning is imminent. Should the worst come to... Uh, should the worst come to the worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we three will attempt to infiltrate the Kobold stronghold, secure their crystals, and free the prisoners. Coke is like coal, gotcha. Gavu is good, boy, we love Gavu, yes we do. Well, if you're sure, you'll forgive me if I don't seem optimistic. We'll make ready, just in case. Set the patriarchy on, patriarchy on fire, to be honest. Yes, I'm so for this. I have faith that we may yet stop the ritual. We would surely have uh, detected the associated etheric disturbance had Titan manifested already, but I cannot speak for the prisoners. Twelve have mercy that they would even contemplate sacrificing their own flesh and blood. Brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, time is of the essence. We must see what else Gabu knows and formulate a plan without further delay. The beast that mourned at the heart of the mountain. I heard uh, Great Father Titan loves crystals, cherishes, covets, loves them, and even if we gather enough, he will return. That's why the Patriarch told everyone to go forth and gather them. So I was thinking, if we take all the crystals away, maybe the Great Father won't come? Very good, Gabu. I was just thinking the same thing. Uh, do you know where these crystals are stored? I know, I know. Oh, 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 several spots, each defended by a different order. Gabu wanted to steal them, but he was too afraid to go alone. Yes, yes, too afraid to go alone. But together we can make them away and hide them. Come, come, Gabu will lead you to the first cache. Cash? Cash. Cash. Cash? Cash. Cache? Cash. Cash. I think it's cash. Cash, thank you. <laughs> I was having a struggle. Quickly, quickly. Yoink. Do you have them all? Good, lead on, Gabu. Cash sounds like cash nodders. Okay, this way, this way. Gabu is precious and must be defended at all costs. Gabu is sweet little kobold boy. Time is short. If you have the crystals, we should move to the next cache. Did you hear me, brother? Brother! Aye, aye, it's just that... I am quite certain that crate once bore Ishgardian seals. Someone took great pains to remove all traces, but enough remains to make out the pattern. See for yourself. I struggled to imagine kobolds traveling to Kurthis to obtain crystals, much less bothering to conceal their origins. I suspect these crystals were smuggled into Vilbrand by another party, most likely a pawn of the Asians, as Thancred speculated. Pardon me, I am 15 seconds behind tonight. Maybe it's the Linux curse, probably. I don't understand. Who are the Asians? Do they worship Great Father Titan too? Ah, uh, never you mind about that. As Alize said, we don't have time. We do not have a lot of time. Can you lead us to the next cache, Gabu? Cache? Why did I say cache again? Yes, 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 of course. Gabu knows the way. Was fine in Molly and Lobster? Oh? This next one is the last and is very large. Very big. Very huge. Very large. If you don't mind my asking, Bakma, what region are you in? 
Are you in like NA or EU or? Because I do believe Molly streams from EU servers, correct? Given her location currently. Rat Jam. Ding, ding, ding. We're all from Ohio. It's all Ohio? Though you cast about for a time, you see no sign of the crystals. Ohio gang. Terrace chat is either Europe or Ohio. Is that not the truth, though? Confound it. What about you, sir? Any luck? Nothing, nothing, nothing. But this cannot be. Gabu saw them. Spied, spotted, saw. Think, brother, think. They must have moved them, yes? The question is, where to and why? With Ogomoru, go, Ogomo, Gomoro, we got there, uh, where they summoned Titan once before and mean to do so again it is the only explanation. What about mother and father and the others? We have to help them. And we will, Gabu, we will. Stay calm, we still have time. They have yet to call for the remaining crates, yes? If they had, then they would have found the other caches empty and sounded the alarm. Nevertheless, I believe the time for stealth has passed. We must breach the navel and seize the remaining crystals. There is no other way to prevent Titan summoning. But first, give me your crystals that I might deliver them into Commander Bloden's, Bloden's custody. We dare not take them into the bowels of the mountain. Right, because then they'd be there. Everything is either Ohio or isn't. You know what? That's, that's a true statement. So it's fine for EU and East Coast, not fine for Canada. Imagine, imaginary. <laughs> the crystals, sir, if you'd be so kind. Here you are. Thank you. I shall deliver them to Camp Overlook for safekeeping and brief Commander Bluden on the situation. Pray go on ahead. As I recall, there's an etherite within the Ugamaru mines and should deliver you to the navel. Gabu doubtless knows the way. Wait for me there and I shall join you anon. Strange. I would have thought you eager to maintain... Uh, remain in the thick of the action. But if this is what you prefer, then Godspeed, brother. This way, this way! I missed the fate music already. The fate music is a banger! Reaching the state of both existing and not existing. All according to my plan. You're, you're, a, you're quantum, Izagi. You both exist and don't exist. Wait, why is this door closed? Open! Help! Oh, I went the wrong way. Is... Is here? Oh, is here. Oh, here we go. Can we have a channel point redeem that just makes your camera rat jam for a couple seconds? That'd be a pr pretty cute idea. Yes, give. It could be available for drinking stream nights. Let us have chaos. You know what? Maybe some days. Maybe it's a good idea for some days. After making my Zodiac, Okamaru mines are a trauma. <laughs> Did you have to come back here a lot? <laughs> as soon as Alphano arrives, we go. I trust you're feeling suitably heroic, sir. There's no telling what sort of resistance we'll face in there. Drinking days. Chaos days. Quickly, you clods. Briskly, swiftly, quickly. I will not suffer any further delays. Lay down your arms and surrender. We have your crystals. There will be no summoning this day. Heh. Overdwellers? Here? But how did you... Oh no, Gabu. Where are my parents, Patriarch? Where are they? They're fucking dead. Wait, they might actually be dead? 
I think I saw Dej Kobolds. Dej! Kabu, no! Mother? Father? Coke for the furnace, you monster! How could you? I, we, are but servants of the Lord of Crags. We are his, that he may drink of our blood and partake of our flesh, that he might draw upon the strength of his children and defend them from the tyranny of the overdwellers. How fucking dare you not, Gabu? <laughs> no, Alize, not yet. I understand, Patriarch. I do. Your fear, your anger, your hate. You would do anything to protect your people, anything to deliver them from despair, whatever it takes to ensure that those who threaten you can never do so again. But in your single-minded pursuit of this objective, you have brought suffering on your own kith and kin. You have sacrificed the lives of the very people you sought to protect. But it need not be this way, Patriarch. Renounce this bloody course. Cease your attempts to summon your god and work with us, together, to build a lasting peace. Another peace to be abandoned at the Overdweller's convenience. Oathbreakers, all of you. Liars. Betrayers. Oathbreakers! You take, and you take, and you take, and when you've had your fill, you sue for peace. You promise that this time, this time is the last until you grow hungry again. And when we dare to defend ourselves, you declare that this beast tribe cannot be suffered to live, that our god drains the land of ether and brings naught but suffering, death, destruction, suffering upon us all. I will hear no more lies from you and yours, Overdweller. You've ruined your own lands, you'll not ruin ours. The emo theme is pr a pretty deep well, though Rat Jam can just move side to side. Nodders could just rotate. Nodders. Oh my god, if you guys could make me Nodders, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I say I'd come for you and I did. I'm here. No, they're dead. No, Gabu. Gabu, your parents are fucking dead, Gabu. No! <laughs> say something. Please, please. Was there a flickering? Please! Uh oh, Gabu? Gabu accidentally summoned? Gabu, you fool! In your despair! Enter rock music. Wake up, 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 wake up! Wake up! Gabu, no. Filled with pure rage. Seven hells! It's not normal Titan. Yeah, it's turning on its own people. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Titan, no! Titan, don't you dare! Alpha, no! Leave it to me! Yo, what was that? Dark Carbuncle? I want Dark Carbuncle. We must away. We're not gonna fight Titan 2, Electric Boogaloo? How can I be so foolish? I should have 
known better than to let Gabu accompany us, given what we were like to find. His anguish and despair have served to birth a primal, just as surely as would the supplica supplications of the faithful. Worse, being born of such tumultuous emotion, the incarnation of uh, this incarnation of Titan seems incapable of naught but violence. If we have one cause for optimism, it's that while many crystals were present, they pr represented but a fraction of the quantity in intended for the summoning ritual, meaning that Titan must be far weaker than planned. Be that as it may, he is... Yo, G! 0121, welcome in, thanks for the follow. Uh, be that as it may, he is yet a primal, and the longer we leave him to bleed the land of ether, the stronger he will grow. And should Titan be permitted to leave Ogamoro, the uh, more lives will be lost. The Maelstrom will rally their troops and the cycle will continue. Sir, you know what must be done. Will you face the Lord of Crags once more? Titan 2 Electric Boogaloo. Thank you, my friend. Alize and I will tend to Gabu. Uh, when you have finished with the Primal, look for us in Camp Overlook. We will be expecting you. Confront Titan in the Naval Hard. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, wait, it's not under here? Wait, is it this one? Confront Titan in the Naval Hard. The Naval Hard. Weird. They're sending me back to a Realm Reborn trial. Right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, that's the one. Weird! Super weird that they're sending me back to a level, uh, a level 51. Alphano is a modified Arcanist class. It gets black and white carbuncles. That's so cool. I want black and white carbuncles. Dude, you're in? All right, let's go. Anyone else? Do, 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 do. Oh, Pipo, Pipo Pogo hasn't showed up on my end yet. I want to see the Pipo Pogo. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, Neon. Probably have to refresh. Which means I'd have to completely re relaunch. Yeah. Completely relaunch OBS to refresh OBS. So it won't show up in, on my end until next stream. Sag. Gabu, are you okay? Gabu is not okay. You scam. I don't think there's any way for me to refresh chat. Let me see. While we're waiting on a queue. Mm. Nope. Are we double DPS right now? Uh, Izagi, if you if you wouldn't mind, I don't I don't know if we're double DPS. <laughs> On your way, okay. Do, 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 do. Are you server hopping, or do you want to cross world? Do it. Oh, it depends on how I have my chat on screen. I have the, if I'm not mistaken, I have the stream elements dock for it. Do, do, do. You have to DC hop, okay. Uh, shoot, how do I pull this out? Withdraw. Do, 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 do. It's okay, Neon. I think Izagi's coming to uh, fill one of the other roles. Cactar! Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right, Vel. For emote overlay, you just refresh cache for that browser source. It's not an emote overlay. Oh, I, I do have the Kappa Gen, actually. But with this one, you said enable... Mm, no, not that one. And disable and re-enable BTTV. Boom, 
Eh, I can't be I can't be bothered to fix it now. It's not that bad of a detriment. Sorry, CAC 2R, there you go. That's the one. Just live without it for now, yeah. Yoda noises? Mmm. CAC 2R it was. Hello! Is this your machinist glam? Machinist? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's like fucking dead. I want to see that gun that I was given for whenever I return to machinist. I wonder what noises it makes. It's loading? Okay. Uh, I'm going to update gear set for summoner. Gear set list. Machinist. And then I want to equip the Buko gun. I want to see if it makes unique noises or anything. Ah, I was hoping it would make like obnoxious noises. It sadly did not make obnoxious noises. It just looks obnoxious. He's so good. What a good gun. Do, 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 do. There you are. Boop. Let's go! Oh, I didn't realize it's an eight man. It's an eight man thing. That's why it takes time. I have faith you will return to us just as you always have. Murder! Oh, need my carbuckle. Woo. Murder! Oh, that was quick. God, just adding one healer into the mix makes Q so much faster. That's incredible. Oh, somebody naked? Somebody naked? Hang on, this person's naked? Are they okay? This naked person? Sir, where are your clothes? I wonder if you could like glamour yourself to be completely naked. Ow, fuck. Ah. Sir? Ifrit would like a word with you. Oh, you can glamour yourself to be completely naked. Got it. That's probably what they did then. Oh, rocks. Did we hide behind these yet? Oh, they explode. All right, we good, we good. Mm 
I always like how the music switches like this when you're at the heart phase. Those bombs explode, I gotta go. Alright, we're good. Titan theme up, Bob. Yo, Fraxis! Fraxis, how are you? Oh, you're doing something to me. Yep! Yep! He rocked me! I'm rocked! Oh, did the person not get off their limit break? I think they died. I think they died while trying to do it. GG. Star Globe of Crags. An Astrologian arm. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Craig Weapon Coffer. It's going! How about you had some? It's going very good. It's going very good. We've had a, a lot of cool story in this game right now. Right now? I mean today. Post Heavensward has been banging with the story beats. Oh, I'm glad to have you. I'm glad that it's going. <laughs> I'm sure it could be better, but hey, happy to see your face. Happy to see your little face in chat. Do, 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 do. Ah, there he is. Did I not tell you he would return safe and sound? The deed is done then. Titan is no more. Good. There has been enough tragedy this day. <laughs> he has been like that since he regained consciousness. We believe he can hear us, but he has made no attempt to respond. No, Gabu! He, he's almost certainly still in shock, but we cannot discount the possibility that he succumbed to the Primal's influence. Should that prove to be the case, I will put him down. Oh, he must be put to death! Oh, shit. <laughs> like any other thrall, such as the Alliance's policy. Yes, you have the right of it. But we must not rush to conclusions. After all, we once feared that Ysail's followers were beyond reason, and many have since laid down their arms and accepted Ishgard's peace. We can but watch, wait, and pray. We're all just like staring at this poor little gobble with a gun to the back of his head. Hello, golden mech owners? Hello, golden mech owners. <laughs> Don't ever talk to me. Oh, wait. Wait, is my Lala mech the same size? I thought my mech would be smaller. Big Lala mech. I'm so powerful. 
I was gonna say don't ever talk to me or my parents ever again, but then my mech was the same size. There is not to be gained from dwelling on an eventuality over which we have no control, much less one which may never come to pass. Let us tend to more immediate matters. Informing Commander Bloden of Titan's demise, for example. You may be certain that he will be glad uh, of the news. Would you be so kind as to break it to him? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, you're a sight for sore eyes. When the others came back without you, I feared the worst, but they said you had matters well in hand. All settled then, is it? I'm glad to hear it, but not half as glad as my men will be, believe you me. Regardless of whether or not he was summoned properly, a primal's a primal, and there ain't a soul in the maelstrom that hasn't lost a friend to one. Don't get me wrong, like, we were all prepared to do our part, but we weren't so naive as to think we'd live to tell the tale. <laughs> That's grim. Thankfully, of course, it didn't come to that, which, my friend, sounds to me like the cause for celebration. Now, I know you lot have places to be, but why not stay the night? We'd be honored to raise a glass to the triumphant return of Titan's Bane. Ah, this is the party? Like, th three of us? Oh, this is so awkward. And Alizé's just leaving? What's <laughs> that facial expression? <laughs> Who just meowed? I think Zimmy just meowed in his sleep. Hang Who on, you guys. There? Hang on, hang on. I think Zimmy woke up. Hi, buddy. Oh my god, you look so tired. I think he woke up and meowed and went back to sleep. Hello? Hi. Are you okay? What is wrong? He doesn't want me to hold him. He doesn't want me to hold him. But literally, he was like, he was like asleep. I looked over and he went, meow, and then went like this. So like, I think he was having a nightmare. Maybe he had a bad dream. That's what I'm afraid of. You look so sleepy, buddy. Come here. Come here. Let me pick you up. Come on. Maybe, maybe he had a dream that I did something. Maybe he's mad at me. Come here. He's just staring at me. Okay. Okay, fine. Finds me. I didn't want to pick you up anyways. Oh, it's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good. But, alas. Wait, Alizé actually a good person? No cat? He wouldn't come to me. It's so quiet out here. The stars spread out before us, beckoning across time and space. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful, those words. I should be stronger for all my experiences, yet my heart aches more than ever. I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, the pettiness. That's why she stormed off. <gasps> Night's best. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. I mean, it's a lot of people versus just you, Alizé. Come here, Zimmy. Come here. You're just sitting there staring at me. Was I the cause of your nightmare? Come here. Come here. Fine. He's literally just sitting there staring at me. I'm gonna come pick you up. That's it. That's it. Thank you. 
mí. You want down? Okay. To be fair, it's very bright right here. <laughs> it's very bright right here, so it wouldn't surprise me if he didn't want to be on my lap. Hi. Hi. He's just sitting there chirping at me now. Can't believe you hate Ezrin. Ezrin never comes in my stream room. Like, literally never. Except for... Oh, that's a lie. There's been a couple times where he's popped up right here and it's been like, boop, trying to like headbutt me. <laughs> Turn off all your lights? N no. I think I showed you what it would look like in here one time with the lights off. It's scary. It's scary. Nevertheless, I had to believe he had good reason. It's I was terrifying. Determined yeah. to uncover the whole truth of the calamity and perhaps in so doing find my own purpose in this sea it. of chaos. No, it's bad. <laughs> my travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. I'm, I'm voice acting right now, Jones. Do you not appreciate what everything that I'm doing? There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship. Whose lives I could not save. Do you not hear? Do you not hear my amazing voice acting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I appreciate it, sure. Jones, I love you! Hope your day's been awesome. I wonder if her dialogue is different if you did the Bahamut raid? The Baham Bahamut raids? Did you get a different dialogue here? I found myself asking what it was all for. Why try if I was going to fail way. in the end? That's the sweetest thing you could ever offer me. But then I recalled grandfather's words to my father years ago before he left Charlayan behind forever. Oh, you didn't do the raids before. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. We have to try, do we not? Of course, it's one thing to try and another to do. There were times while I was tracking the warriors of darkness when I faltered, when I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother, of Uri Angers. Tried playing Final Fantasy X, but it was too confusing with all those me. orbs, so I quit. Somebody was literally in here talking about grinding those it. today. Mayhap you could recount some of your adventures in Ishgard. Oh shit, what did we tell her? Traveled far and wide with two companions, Stinian and Azael, who uh, were very... Under some rather unique circumstances, I had the pleasure to fight alongside Sir Amrick when Alphen and I came to la- uh, let's talk about Estinian and Azale. They were very much at each other's throats the whole time. Gods! They must have been at each other's throats from dawn till dusk. <laughs> I just- I just- I dare say you- I just said that. Peace, though. <laughs> Merely being in the presence of the Warrior of Light is surely enough to shame anyone to That's believe. funny. If you do the coils of bah Bahamut, some Alizé dialogue is a little bit different. That's cool. The hopes and dreams okay, for of sure, so many rest on your shoulders, warrior of light. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on. Fuck you, Mac. For the sake of those we hold dear. This cutscene, honestly, I don't know what my impression of Alizé was. I think I kind of thought she was a little bit of a bitch because of what she did in A Realm Reborn. But this cutscene endeared me to her. I like her. She seems very real. She seems very real and, and like a realistic character. Raid done time to enjoy three more hours of Terra Stream. People arrive. I might go a little bit longer. What end dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the mother? At least until we reach... Wait, are we in 3.4 right now? Does anyone know? Maybe just till we reach 3.5. Hey Terra, can you do a voice promo for me? Say, hey, this is Terra, and you're listening to KR 107... 102.7 FM. The best rock for... 
thick cock. I didn't read ahead. I didn't read ahead, Jones. You son of a bitch. Tell me about the masked man. <laughs> Every tool has its purpose. Oh no, Jones, you monster. <laughs> Well, what is it? The Good enough, we can use that. The seeds have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. Masked man! Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. Guys, tell me about the masked man! Why does he wear the mask? Toons in Novel! I should go back to our kisses! Jones, I love you. Thank you for spending some data on me. That means, like, that's so special. That's, like, the most generous thing that a human can do. Spending data to spend time with me. What did the man in white have to say? That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Okay. Well, that's easy for him to say. It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thine. Yup. I foresee only greater difficulties ahead. Yup, we're totally free, baby. We got all the time in the world. Stormblood you hasn't see? started yet. Are you sure? There's nothing you going on in Ishgard. I'm starting to think you might hold a candle for your old friends after all. Old friends? Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before Old us friends? due trepidation. Shouldst thou be a How are we friends? Mind, pray consider then another course. For the power to invoke the ardor belongeth not unto the Asians hmm. alone. With thine own hand, strike down thine enemy, the so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all too delicate balance of this realm, plunging her straightways into chaos. You do realize what you're suggesting, yes? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher and a creed I hold close to my heart. Is, is, is this Ariyanshe? <laughs> is, is this Ariyanshe? <laughs> Wardrobe change? The only reason I say that is because Ariyanshe has a very obvious marking on his cheek and a beard. And this guy's dropping a whole lot of thine and thy and thou and... Old friends. But like we're still friends. Very well. Okay, he has no sideburns. Draw I don't think out. it's Orianger. We'll make it quick. There would be sideburns right here if it, it was. Shall be done. I have no idea. Orange also has the original costume. Yeah, like we just spoke to Orianger and he didn't have a wardrobe update. What good a creed one cannot uphold. With the goggles and the what hood, yeah. What soothed. What lives saved. Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Minfilia, my friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. Oh. Full he, like, lifted up his head, I want to see under the mask. Walk it. I shall not stray from my chosen path. As moon breeder That's Ariange. remains steadfast, so too shall I. Nobody else cares about moon breeder, but me and Ariange. This is Ariange. I, but it's weird, he has no sideburns. Okay, okay, well that, that sealed it for me. I don't know how it's Ariange, but it's Ariange. I don't get how. Because we literally just bumped into him in his old outfit. Think uh, speak with Alphenol. Woo! 
Little battle tank? Dude, I want it. Oops. Jesus, that's so cool. What ho, sir? I trust you had good uh, night's rest. <gasps> I just take up burped thing? Help? Uh, good night's rest. I was uh, but this moment speaking with Thancred and, and Ishtola via Link Pearl. They had some interesting news to share. Apparently, during uh, the course of their respective investigations, both came across crates which had once borne Ishgardian seals. It would seem that someone in the capital has been very busy indeed. According to the temple, accordingly, the temple knights have launched a full-scale investigation. Sir Amric believes that it is only a matter of time before the culprits are found, but we shall have to wait and see. In the meantime, it seems only prudent to look into the recent activities of the other tribes, in case they are too flush with the Ishgardian crystals. And with that in mind, I suggest we pay Orianche another... Wait, where's Alize? She was here a moment ago with Gabu. Alize? Alize, pause shop. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> oh my god, the way Lala fell sit in it, they're barely even poking out. Look at this little bean. Look at this little, oh, look at this little bean in there. That's so cute. Lala fells are too perfect. Oh, there she is. Tara, by god, I am right. Dude, it's literally Uriange. You have to level up crafting? Fuck. I'm one of those people that never enjoys leveling up crafting in any MMO. Ah, let me guess. It's time to leave, isn't it? My apologies for disappearing again. If it's any consolation, I've already packed my things. How is he? Has he spoken yet? Brother, Commander Bloden, something tells me you are not solely here out of concern for his welfare. But to answer your question, there has been no change. He will not speak or eat. I'm not even sure if he slept. If he did, he seems none the better for it. He just shuffles about with that same expression on his face. You will look after him, won't you, Commander? And treat him with every kindness. He's still in there, I know it. Beneath the anguish and the despair, he's still fighting with all his heart. He deserves to be given that chance until he comes back to us, until we know for certain what he has become. Aye, aye, you needn't worry. If he hadn't risked his neck to warn us and help you secure the better part of the crystals, this could have turned out a damn slight worse than it did. We'll not soon forget that, and nor will Maelstrom Command. You can use Leave Quest to make it super quick, and only need to do one for the Beast Tribes, but multiple if you want all the achievements and minions. Oh, okay. Haha, <laughs> yeah, me neither has everything at 90. Oh my god. That sounds doable. I didn't know there was, like, quests for it. I'm so sorry, Gabu. I truly am. You should never have been made to... And I know I cannot possibly understand. Mayhap there is nothing I can do or say. The pain, the anger, the helplessness. Hold fast to the memories of better times. Remember them as they were. And when it hurts so much your heart feels fit to burst, let it burst. Let it burst and fill it up again with your love for them. And never, ever forget. He's just shaking there like a little scared chihuahua. Come along, little one. <gasps> oh, I, I will remember them. And you, Alizé. Thank you. Thank you all. Your love has broken the curse and freed my soul. I'll never have to kill again. Dude, that's actually cute as fuck. Have faith, sister. Your words have reached him. In time, he will recover. Gabu is perfect. And those who orchestrated these events will be made to answer for their crimes. <laughs> I'm crying, right? A thousand times over, I, there will be a reckoning. Just a couple of, just a couple of white haired pro tags. They might kiss later. I mean, not, not those two. Not those two because they're literally siblings, but like I might kiss like both of them. Although, isn't that them indirectly kissing if I kiss both of them? Never mind, no kissing. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say no kissing. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and veto that. No kissing allowed. Oh, 
Oh, I'm like four quests left? Yeah, let's do that. Let's finish 3.4, because then we'll just have 3.5 and then the start of Stormblood on Thursday. <laughs> Kissing while cosplaying, like I did Ganyu. Like in the trailer, the beloved trailer. I hope you guys haven't been too sad that I haven't been using the trailer uh, for raids. I find that a lot of time when I drop the trailer in the middle of a raid, it feels like stifling because I just want to keep talking and then I play a trailer and then I can't talk anymore and I like talking. <laughs> so that's why I don't always use the trailer anymore when we get raided. How can it be? No, it has to be Uriage. It has to be. Who the hell else could it be? Old friends? Moon Brita? Like, who else could it be? Hi, princess! Uh, we've heard the glad tidings from Ogamoru, my friends. By the grace of the Twelve and your most valiant efforts, the people of Limsa Liminza may rest easy. I should like to think so, yes, though we failed to prevent the Lord of Crags from manifesting. We did succeed in weakening him, enabling our friends to dispatch him before the Warriors of Darkness could make matters worse. It was by no means an unmitigated success, and it will have to suffice. Hi! Love you. Do you want to kiss my face? Yeah? Boop! Bro, he did so much damage! It sat down to rest. Hang on. Hang on. Good night. You guys don't get to see kisses, you know. It's a premium for that. Who indeed? Then let us speak of another matter, one which weigh weigheth heavy on Milady's mind. As thou didst request, I sought out the Garun Oracles, that we might better understand the aims of the Warriors of Darkness. Thanks, <laughs> Though their copious use of allegory defieth any single interpretation, the Oracles paint a most disturbing picture, one of worlds parallel to our own apart yet linked, reduced to ruin with every umbral cal calamity. Seven times have they succeeded, then of ten and three, only six worlds remain. Aye, all is as my lady Minfilia spake? Spake unto thee? Spake? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up a goddamn minute. Define spake. Speak. Ugh. Archaic past of speak. Why? Speak. Speak unto thee. Speak. I hate it. I hate everything about it. <laughs> Minfilia, speak unto thee. <laughs> Archaic indeed. What an ugly word. As for what becometh of these reflections, when they and the source are rejoined. Yeah, I hate that, me too. Frail flesh undone in umbral fires, each soul surrendereth to her call, to flow unto the endless sea, there to endure as one and none. Then, if the warrior of darkness succeed, everyone in the world will die? In essence, I, the verse speaketh of the renunciation of the flesh and subsequent return to the life stream. However, this fate may yet be preferable to the alternative, for if the first were, were to fall to the transcendent light, in, in the manner the Warriors of Darkness described, it would give way unto a void wherein none may know either life or death. <gasps> Hobbit Potat! Hi there! Hi there, are mice in my house and now I'm scared. Oh. Hi, mouse in, hi, hi mice in my house and now I'm scared. I'm Tara. <laughs> hi, Hobbit! How are you? Other than the mice situation. Far better to die, they reason, for in death there is life, the essence of a soul which returneth unto the source may be born anew, saved. Such, at least, is their belief, I surmise. Get a hat, get a cat to have a tasty treat? This. Get a, get a mouser. If that is true, then, gods, no one should ever have to make that choice. Ere we speak further on the subject, I would share with thee another recent discovery. It would seem that several sizable shipments of crystals have been delivered into the hands of a certain Alamegan parties. Alamegans? Strange. And you believe this to be the work of the same Ishgardian smugglers who supplied the beast tribes? Never had to deal with mice. I've also always had cats. I had to deal with mice once, but it was for a very short time. I think we moved shortly after. We'll literally solve your problem, mine did. Oh, that's a lie. We've had to deal with mice twice. No, 
Twice? Twice. But the second time I had a cat. And they would literally eat them, and it's upsetting. Can't have a cat in your apartment? Oh no! Cats are expensive, yes. And your poor- oof. Simply move. <laughs> Even if they don't catch the mice, the mice will usually avoid the predators. Yep, so they won't be in clear sight. House I was living in had a huge mice problem, and when I got Binks, she took care of it in like a month. Damn! And like Izagi said, even if it, even if uh, even if Binks didn't catch all of them, then they're at least too scared to come around. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, unless thou wonder at their motive, I would remind you that the Asians did once attempt to bring the summoning of Ralgar. The individuals who took receipts of the shipments are refugees belonging to a group devoted to the cause of Alamegan liberation. It may also interest thee to know that their Ishgardian suppliers appear to be none other than the remnants of Aline Roa Roel's network of spies. Surely you jest, and yet it is not so surprising. Bereft of leadership and hunted by the Alliance, I can well imagine such villains being desperate enough to conspire with the Asians, assuming they even know or care who their no employers are. All of which is irrelevant. Forgive me, we must seek out the resistance group, which received the crystals without delay, sir. Alizé, will you come with me to little Alamigo? Yes, of course. I should like to hear what they have to say for themselves firsthand. I like how she shot a glance to Uriange. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. Ding. My old girl Cleo crunched those fuckers and slurped the tail like spaghetti. I saw it once. Oh my god! That's traumatizing. Uh, literally as soon as she would even hear one in the wall or closet, she was on it. Binks is my little killer. She also gets bugs and spiders from me. Yo, what a sweet cat. Old cat used to hunt mice. Now you're in an apartment away from a family and roommate is way too chill about it. They're just like, yeah, it's a mouse. I'm the one freaking out. Dude, there was one time at work where the foundation of my workplace shifted and I think it created a crack to the outside so we had a little bit of a mouse problem for like a week until they like noticed it and fixed it but there was one time I was working on something and out of the corner of my eye I saw the smallest little like brown thing moving around and I looked down and it was like three feet away from my feet and I was like ah ah <laughs> and then my coworker tried to trap it underneath a container and broke its neck because he like tried to close it down on the mouse, but the mouse moved, so he literally snapped its neck with the container. <laughs> I was like, bro, you fucking killed it! And he was like, it's because it moved, it's because it moved. If it stood still, it wouldn't have died. I mean, you have a landlord, right? Mice in their property is their responsibility. What Izagi said, listen to Izagi, smart human. Here in the US, landlords can be horrific, true. Uh, Alphano, Elise, sir, are you three listening? Good, I have tidings. I've saved a few from Binks before and chucked them outside, and then they ran right back inside, I'm sure. <laughs> Wrote to them, roommate seems to think it'll ju he'll just tell us to put traps. No way. I think they'll have to do it themselves. I don't want to deal with dead mice. I mean, do you want alive ones or dead ones, Hobbit? You can only pick one. The Temple Knights raided the smuggler's warehouse less than an hour ago. A cursory interrogation of the prisoners yielded confirmation that they were in the em employ of, and I hope you're sitting down, a man in black robes. <gasps> An Asian. Then you have them. And the crystals too. What few remained, I. Regrettably, it would seem they dispatched one final shipment in the hours before we struck. T'was bound for Little Alamigo, we are told, where it was uh, will be received by members of the local resistance group. Since Sir Americk's men no longer have need of my services, I have a mind to go head that way. As do we, by happy coincidence. We learned of the shipment but a few moments ago. Ha! And there, I was thinking I finally, uh, I might finally be one step ahead of the Warrior of Light and his little helpers. Ah! Wait a moment, there's more, and I defy you to not be surprised by this revelation. The leader of the Ishgardian smugglers, smugglers was formerly in the employ of, <laughs> of one Elin Roel, the infamous Ivy herself. Yeah, we knew that. Once again, Thancred, I fear I must inform you that Thancred, with whom else have you shared this information? About the smugglers? No one. As I think I mentioned, the raid was less than an hour ago. I was planning to contact Ishtola next, but is there someone else you would have me notify first? No, there isn't. Heh? 
I think the implication there was that... Okay, yeah, so... Okay, yeah, so... It's definitely Uriange. It's it's almost certainly Uriange, guys. Um, and that that sequence there was to inform us that Uriange had insider information because the raid only took place like an hour ago. Um, so Uriange is the bad guy. Maybe not the bad guy. I don't know. Uriange is at least partially to blame. Oh. There's an abandoned house in front of ours. Why can't they go live there? Because there's no food there, Hobbit. They want to live where the food is, and you have the food. Because there's no food there, Hobbit. Same brain, Becky. A lot of landlords also don't care, take care of things that are their responsibility. That's when you go to the, what is it, the Renters Association? Or whatever you have in the in, in other places. I think it's called the Renters Association? Something like that. I don't remember. Uh, what in the world has gotten into her? It's twice now that we have sought Orianger's aid, and twice she has treated him as if he were a stranger. The Archon was one of the grandfather's most dedicated pupils, and spent as much time at the Levelieu estate as we did. He's practically a member of the family. Truth be told, I struggle to recall a day from my childhood when I did not see the three of them laughing together. If this continues, I may have to raise the matter. Later, though, little Alamigo awaits. So, nothing. We have nothing. Um, how do you guys not get screwed over constantly? Hello? Hello? How do you have nobody to turn to when the landlord is garbage? Little Alamigo! Little Alamigo! Oh, he's, oh, he's already here. How do you guys know? How do you guys know? It's crazy. How do you just know? We simply move, as Max said. Oh my Christ almighty. I will get to the bottom of this. Oh, forgive me. I was... I, it has been a long day. Did you have something to say? Rinalje? Oh, I, I've always struggled to understand what's going on in his head. Now more than ever. Listen, sir. If anything should happen, it should be me who... Just know that I'm prepared to do what must be done. Right then, to the more pressing matters, since we have no idea what, when Thancred might arrive, I suggest we see what information we can gather in his absence. Do -do -do. So, to review, we are reliably informed that members of the Alamegan Resistance oper operating here have taken receipt of several large shipments of crystals, our task being s to ascertain who and why. Given the size of the settlement, I find it hard to believe that anyone here could be wholly unaware of the resistance movements. The challenge, of course, will be finding individuals who are both able and willing to share such information with outsiders. It would seem sensible to divide our forces, sir. Why don't you question the residents on the eastern half of town? Alizé and I will do the same on the west, and afterwards we can rendezvous here to share our findings. Okay. I mean, the CS uh, said little Alamigo like 47 times, to be fair. I mean, you are right. You are technically correct. Hello, little Alamegan. Eh, the resistance? Damned if I know. It's not as if I'd be of any use. <laughs> if you set store by all these tales of secret weapons, good luck to you. But I'm too old for the mask's bedtime stories. This is our lot, and it's time we got used to it. Oh no, the poor Alamegan. Dude, the birds are so cool. Where do you get those birds again from? Because there's one of, like, a bunch of different colors, right? Ah, let me guess. Come to join the fight, have you? No need to deny it, friend. You're not the first to answer the Griffin's call. While he's lit a fire in every Alamegan heart, he's also inspired more than a few Uldans to pledge themselves to the cause. And little wonder, the Garleans won't stop until we're all under the yoke. No, that's not why I was here at all. Heaven's word extreme trials, okay. Some kid put a help desk ticket with a bunch of bogus info. I am deceasing as I see this. Wait, like, is it just like a completely garbo help desk ticket? With like, no sensical anything? I see you there, going around asking questions, looking for the griffin and his lot, I'll bet. Seems they're the talk of little Alamigo these days. Folk wondering what he's about, and what he's got in store for the Garleans. And what's under that mask of his, of course. 
Some say he's hardly got a face, what with all the scars. Others reckon he's been marked for death by the Empire, and they'd send a bloody legion if they knew he was here. Guess yours... Uh, your guess is about as good as mine. Hmm. A masked individual. A masked individual, huh? Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> Email city name sucks dick dodge at gmail.com. Student name fuck bitch. Holy Christ. <laughs> I suppose I should ask uh, what you learned, but I think I already know. This griffin seems to be the leader of a newly formed faction within the resistance, the masks. Yet despite their growing popularity, no one seems to know much about them, only that they are the most aggressively militant group to join the movement in recent memory. Indeed, many claim their commitment to the cause of Alamegan liberation is unrivaled, but we, uh, we can but hope their revolutionary fervor is never channeled in the direction of a primal. Though I feel confident that this group which received the crystal shipments, we uh, yet lack proof. Before taking any action, I would speak with the settlement's leader to confirm my suspicions, and mayhap enlist his help while I'm about it. Given that you and Gundabald are already acquainted, mayhap it would be best if you look, uh, if you took the lead, shall we? Okay. We shall. For oh, Luffy Harmony, what a cute name. <laughs> Wish I was a Fluffy Harmony. Bing, 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 bing. Hello, Gundabald. Much as it pleases me to see you again, sir, I cannot help but wonder if I should be worried. <gasps> I want the blue pony! How to blue pony? I want the blue po I want the blue pony. Who is it, Terra? It's fucking Riange, dude. <laughs> uh, I cannot help but wonder if I should be worried. I hear you and yours have been asking questions. Yes. Shiva Extreme? All right. Somebody's farming Shiva Extreme with me. The Griffin? I, I know of him, as do we all. He and his masks have become uh, a leading faction within the resistance. Though there was suspicion at first given his secretive ways, he quickly proved himself a charismatic and capable commander. Men are drawn to his passion and his vision. They truly believe that he has what it takes to lead them to victory. Even I cannot help but admire the man for what he's accomplished, but I have not forgotten Wilred. I was blind to the danger of his ambitions, and you were not. The Griffin will soon deliver a speech to our people at the sunken temple of Karn. Go and see him with your own eyes. Weigh his words with your own heart. How convenient. Tis but a pity Thancred is not here to join us. You two go on ahead. I will stay behind and wait for him. Okay, bye, Alizé. Gundo bald. He's not even bald. What a scam of a name. Oh, we can farm it after stream if you like. Shouldn't take too long. Eyes. Eyeballs. I am looking very intensely, Izagi. I am looking. I would not mind farming post stream for uh, for for uh, a blue pony. I would like a blue pony. My little, literally me, Mac. Literally me. My little pony. My little pony. La 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 la. My little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. Has it begun already? I hear voices coming from within. Inside the temple? Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? There's also a Leviathan one. Was that the swampy one you were just on? The blue and green? Swampy. <laughs> I only saw it for about a moment. Oh, that's not. Wait, that's not Ariange. Unless. Brothers and sisters. No, it's not. 20 years ago. Alamigo, our home, was claimed by the Galian Empire. In our haste to overthrow the King of Ruin, we turned a blind eye to our foes in the north. With our glorious revolution, well, that we look. but laid a path for a new tyrant to succeed the old. And when confronted with our failure, we fled. Shlope? Hello, Not a pecs? Goes Pectorals were on the side of my screen? We left behind. Think of them and feel ashamed. Tell me about Griffin! Why does he wear the mask? And every one of you feels the same. Why? 
We abandon them. Our own flesh and blood to labor till their backs gave in and their breath gave out. I don't recognize that chin. Building the twisted steel ramparts which now mar our once majestic mountains. We abandon them, the brave and true, to fight and die for their country. Or worse, to be conscripted and sent off to rob another poor bastard of his own. Oh no, the poor bastard. We abandon them. The meek and powerless to bow and scrape when the Galleons pass. To sully themselves that they might live to see another day of misery. Pectorals! The Black Sorry. Wolf may be dead, but a new Imperial Viceroy reigns in Alamigo now. A beast, not a fraction as merciful. You all know the Aeorzean Alliance will do not to oppose him. For all their promises and platitudes, they will not act if there's no profit in it. Only we can free our brothers and sisters from the Empire's tyranny, my friends. Only we have the courage to stand and fight. They have imprisoned us. They have enslaved us. And they have murdered us, but no more. Blood demands blood, Not and the Garleans shall pay for every drop they have spilt upon our lands. Booba, sorry. This I promise you, for we have a power within us, my friends, a power befitting our pride, our righteousness. Only join us, and we shall grant you the means to unleash it. And together, we shall see the Alamegan standard raised over the mountains of Gear Arbania once more. That guy's smug ass smirk. The Holy shit. Pride. Not at all ominous, that. Wait, is that a primal? <gasps> Hello? Hello? What are you two doing here? Hello? I could ask you the same thing. Hello? Just oh like that? God, this is quite the surprise. <gasps> oh my god, Pebbly was new voice actor is so cute. I see. If you feel as I feel. Might I suggest we continue this conversation in more agreeable surroundings? Such a cute voice actor! This is the first time we've heard it this expansion, right? Ooh, purple pony! since 2.0. Holy shit, it's such a cute new voice actor. Words cannot express how glad I am to see you both alive and well. And you, though it was pretty obvious you and Sir would be fine. The Crystal Braves never had a realistic chance of capturing any of the Scions, divided as they were and distrusted by the better part of Eorzea. I think it's the first, oh, what that? Six ponies, eight if you count the other ones. Okay, six ponies total, holy shit. If you truly believe that, forgive me. What exactly have you two been doing all this time? Plotting. Repaying a favor. After the banquet, we had no choice but to flee Ulda, and we would not have been able to do so without the aid of some of the friends from the Resistance. That's right. They smuggled us out of the city and sheltered us in Little Alamigo, all at great risk to themselves. Obviously, we couldn't let that go unacknowledged, so we offered to help them out with one of their operations for a while. When we learned of the Scion's exoneration, that Lola Rito had severed all ties with the Crystal Braves, and that General Roban uh, had been reinstated, we resolved to make contact, but having long since discarded our Link Pearls as a precautionary measure, our options were rather limited. To make matters more complicated, we were embroiled in a delicate operation at the time, leaving me with little choice but to entrust a letter to a courier. I gather from your puzzled expressions, however, that you never received it. No. Papalima was the narrator a while back in the Ishgard cutscene, but you couldn't have known. Ah. 
One each from Ifrit, Garuda, Titan, Leviathan, Ramu, and Shiva. Another from Ifrit, Garuda, or Titan. More forgetting the collection. Oh, I see. To be honest, we thought this might happen. While the masks were happy to let the refugees spread the word within the community, they're pretty strict about communicating with outsiders. Oh, and we also heard a rumor that the Griffin doesn't want us meddling in his affairs. CP in the house, what are we playing? Yo, what's up, what's up, courageous puppy? We're playing Final Fantasy XIV. The Griffin mistrusts the Scions of the Seventh Dawn? Yes. Curious. It is well known that we are no friends to Garlemald. One would think uh, the man we saw beseeching all and sundry to join his cause would welcome our support. Ah, I should say that the man you saw was not, in fact, the Griffin, but an impersonator, and a talented rabble-rouser to boot. It would not surprise me if he were responsible for the majority of these public appearances. Final Fantasy cool? It's been amazing. As you may have gathered, the Griffin is an extremely cautious and distrusting man who has made every effort to conceal his identity. Even when we participated in a raid under his direct command, we were not permitted to approach him. It's hard to know what to make, it of, all, make of it all. The secrecy, the impersonators, the masks. What? It's not as if I'm making all of you wear one, and mine only covers half my face. It's completely different. Anyway, we... When we heard the Griffin was due to give a speech, we thought it might be a good opportunity to get a better sense of the man behind the, uh... To get a better sense of the man. Final Fantasy XIV, Heavensward Patch 3.4, Soul Surrender, to be very specific. Eat us us, right? And now we've heard the whole... Uh, and now that you've heard the whole of it, but tell me, what prompted you to take an interest in the Griffin? Primals. Summoning? You're not serious. I can't believe it. The Resistance would never entertain such a ridiculous plan, but the Griffin? Well, the man is an enigma. I cannot say with any confidence what uh, he would or would not do. What I can say, however, is that the speech we heard today was not the first to make reference to a power capable of defeating the Empire. The Masks have made s many such claims of late. I confess, I had assumed it to be mere bluster, but in the context of the shipments of which you spoke, it is not impossible that they are alluding to a primal. Whatever it is, we'll find out together, and if anyone tries to stop us, they'll answer to me. Indeed, that is assuming you'll have us? Of course! Do it and do that, of course! Do, 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 do! Boom! Ida and Papalimo have joined the party. Honorable heroes. The band is back together, y'all! Who are we missing? Uh, Minfilia, but we're pretty sure she's dead as fuck. And that's it? Am I forgetting anyone? Or is, is this everyone now? If, as you suspect, the Griffin is indeed plotting to summon a primal, we must needs obtain confirmation while there is yet time to act. To that end, I propose we question his double. Given his role as the group's de facto mouthpiece, I should not be surprised if he were one of the Griffin's closest associates. And while he may uh, while he may not be aware of the most sensitive details, he could probably tell us the mask's plans in broad strokes. Like the man whom he impersonates, however, he is wary of outsiders. He will not expose himself without a suitable incentive. My plan is as follows. You and Alphano will pose as adventurers fallen on hard times, inspired by his words to take up arms for our noble cause. Yida and I, uh, as members of the Resistance, will recount tales of your past achievements and testify as to your usefulness in the struggles ahead. With our enthusiastic assurances still ringing in his ears, he will decide to welcome you in person and we will arrange a meeting. You will need to look the part. We might maintain the charade until we have him cornered at least. Here, this should be enough to purchase suitable gar uh, garments from Tailbot. And to have him rub a respectable amount of dirt on them for good measure. Any questions? Nah, seems good to me. It all seems simple enough, thank you. And with that, sir, let us be off. Dun, 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 dun. What the heck is this fire thing? Oh my god, it's like a coral, but like red. Coral, but angry. 
I think that's everyone. The band's back together. We got them all. Except Minfilia, still dead as fuck. I still have a sneaking suspicion that that's not the last we'll see of Benfilia. Why would they give her a totally new model with like braids and everything if they're just gonna fucking, if they're just gonna get rid of her? Eh, you wanna buy a what? I don't know what you're up to, but I want no part of it. No, but look at Bunny. Look at the money though. Well, you're the ones with the gill and seeing as you're friends with Papalimo. There, tunic and slops for the both of you. Tailored and er, treated to your tastes. Now off with you before someone sees us together. Clothes maketh the man, as they say. Right then, I will go and change and see that. Uh, see you at the spot Papalimo marked on our maps. While wearing weathered shepherd's tunic and slops, speak with Alphano. Weathered shepherd's tunic and slops. There we go. Don't mind my gloves. Pay no mind to my fancy-ass gloves. You're homeless. That took no time. Huh? It's below me? Where is it? Huh? Eh? Other side of the rock? Yeah. Oh my god, homeless alpha node. Homeless alpha no. Bro. <laughs> well, look at us. A pair of down at heel adventurers seeking a chance to recapture past glories. Yes, this should suffice. And now we play the waiting game. Bring, 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 bring. A masked man. Tell me about Griffin. Why does he wear the mask? My thanks, comrades. Comrades. You must be the esteemed adventurers of whom I've heard so much. I understand you have taken an interest in our cause. Yes, I have. A great interest, you might say. Your words have certainly made quite an impression on my friend and I. The Resistance has long, and some would say wisely, avoided open engagements with the Garleans, but you and yours seem confident against the world in arms. I can only assume you have good reason to be so bold. Why, one might even think you are planning to summon a primal- Well, that's very on the nose. Because that would do much to explain the sizable shipment of crystals you recently received from your smuggler friends, whom our Ishgardian allies have since detained, lest you wonder. I'd like to hear more about the Griffin. The real Griffin. Your performance earlier didn't fool us. Ah, the famous scions of the Seventh Dawn. I should have known better than to think I could conceal the truth from you, Lot. You are right. I am not the Griffin. The that false Griffin! Voice, and it was at his BS that we procured those crystals. Neon, thanks for pets! The false Griffin. His name changed. You are wrong, however, if you think that we procured them to summon a primal. Oi! Oi, princess! We used them to reach an accord with the Amalja. Oh, the Amalja. In exchange for crystals to summon their god, they will aid us in the fight for Alamegan liberation. I actually have no idea who he might be, Izagi, to be perfectly honest. You've got to be joking. <laughs> have you gone completely mad? When people find out you help the Lizardmen summon Ifrit, they'll turn on the resistance. Alamigo will never be free! This isn't a fairy tale, girl. We don't have the luxury to play at being honorable heroes. 
It's because the likes of you wouldn't sully your saintly hands that Alamigo's been under the yoke for the past 20 years. I don't know if he had a voice actor previously or if he changed voice actors. Will we. We're ready to do whatever it takes. It's likely that it's different. <laughs> Schloppe. <laughs> it's likely that he is a different voice actor. I feel like everybody does. Evelyn, welcome back. What proof do you have of this arrangement with the Emolja? Why do you ask that so meekly? Aside from a lack of crystals, none. But the beastmen have a great big pile of the things if you fancy looking. You might want to hurry, though. It'll not be long before they summon their god. You frickin' frick! Search our camp if you don't believe me. We have no to hide. If there is a cache to be found, Eder and I will find it. Eder? Eder? Nar! You can't call her Eder! Be off. Her name is Eda. Are you perchance the warrior of light? Uh yes. Why why? I I thought so. You should know that a great many who have joined us did so because you saved them. Because you showed them that one brave man can make a difference. You Hell saved me cool. too once. <laughs> Helped a friend over in Quarry Mill make some medicine I needed. But that was a lifetime ago. On behalf of my brothers and sisters... That was eons you. ago! You gave us hope where there was none, courage and strength when all was lost. We shall not stop. That was literally eons ago. Quarry mill? <laughs> Becky, I appreciate you. I'm gonna make it to 3.5 and then I'm probably gonna call it. Cause then we just have 3.5 and then Stormblood on Thursday. Eda, and I do not like it. You cannot seriously be contemplating taking up arms with that band of cutthroats. I I just Just taking appreciate you. If the Griffin and his men have their and way, it is only a matter of time before the situation in Alamigo comes to a head. I'm only doing three streams this week, so I feel kinda bad, so we're going a little longer. <laughs> Your homeland's future teeters on a knife edge, and any reckless action, however small, could have irrevocable consequences. You mustn't lose sight of that either. Scam! Exactly. When the time comes, we must all make our choices, but we must do so in full possession of the facts. Now, let us away. There is work to be done. Let us away, then. Boom, 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 boom. So... The false griffin, not necessarily bad. Quarry mill, he said. Do you remember? Forgive me, you cannot be expected to recall every name and face. And besides, it's not as if it matters. I've long admired how you live in the present, how you focus on the problems at hand and always keep moving forward. So let us keep moving forward together, sir. We must find and secure those crystals. There's no time for looking back. Ah, uh, uh, this belt beat. Doo -doo -doo. One life. For one world. If we take the Griffin's uh if we take the Griffin's double at his word, then the crystals are now somewhere within Zahar Ark, ready to be put to use by the Amalja. We must apprise Alize of all we have learned. I will join you both in Little Alamigo after I have changed. Does that mean I get changed too? I don't have to be homeless anymore? Whoop! And I'm fancy again. Just like that. How lazy am I that the door is like right, or there's no, no door on this side? Anyways, how lazy am I that I'm teleporting three feet away from me? Hey, Thancred. Now that Thancred has finally arrived, mayhap you could share your latest findings. You mean to tell me that while we were worrying ourselves sick, Yida and Papalimo were here all along? Well, Ishtola will be relieved, and also angry. 
mainly angry, I should think. We love saving time. As for the crystals, what choice do we have? We cannot very well leave them in the hands of the Amalja. For all we know, they could be preparing to summon Ifrit even as we speak. We must make for Zahar, Zahar Ark without delay. Zahar Ak. Agreed. If there is not else to discuss, let us depart at once. Masked man, and so they go forth in accordance with the Griffin's plan. The players gather to assume their marks on a stage wreathed in flame. Ere long, the curtain shall rise, and the drama of which I am author, gods forgive me, shall at last be performed. Not else remaineth, save to stand at the ready, and pray that the chance is seized, for never shall I shall we know its like again. What's crazy is that the science all got separated at the AR at the end of ARR, and this is post Heaven's Word. Uh, would have been over a year for people to find out what the fuck happened to everybody. People that aren't playing it at a time like me. Imagine waiting a year to get these answers. I confess, I expected a warmer greeting, but we must not jump to conclusions. Not until we have braved the bowel of the embers. Uh, we must be ready to engage the enemy at any moment. If you would make any final preparations, pray do so now. I shall await your signal. Upon proceeding to the bowl of embers, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended you set aside sufficient time to view these cutscenes in their entirety. I got time. Eh. Oh, I'm in a party. Izagi, thank you for your help. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. There you go. Interesting. I thought it was going to make us do Ifrit hard mode, but it's not. This isn't right. The Amalgia would never leave this place so poorly guarded. Not willingly, no. Warriors of darkness, but of course. <laughs> ah, the saviors of Eorzea. Slow as ever. Bro, we literally beat you to Garuda. What do you mean slow as ever? Let me know when you're ready to farm horses. You'll need to return to the Winging Sands to unlock them. Oh yeah, through well, Uriyage. You, you know you're right. Mayhap it is time for a change of tack. Killing primals, tormenting beastmen, hastening the birth of a new god. It's all a bit much, isn't it? And frankly, we don't have the leisure to do it. But killing the warrior of light, on the other hand, that would soon plunge Eorzea into chaos. Yeah, don't do that. One life for one world. A fair exchange. Wouldn't you agree? Wait, so killing us will save their world? Okay, yeah, do it. If I get to save your whole world just for dying, like if it's that simple, Full send. Kill me. End my life. You forget. You've more than Shut up, default it. here. <laughs> Dude, how funny would it be for for a player to just be a default, like, here male, and then see the Warrior of Darkness? They would assume that no matter what, the Warrior of Darkness is a clone of you. Like, dark you. Do, 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 do. Now, to save their world requires ours to be fucked up. He figures killing you will lead to a. Right. Defend me. Ah! Yo! I want Dark Carbuncle. Since you will offer more than mere target practice, unlike your sister. So, not literally one life for one world. It's more so kill us, everything falls apart, and then they win. Alize. Yo, she's not battle hardened. Oh? Yo, we're the book club! Cause she got a book as well! Did... Did I not tell you, Alphano? I am not the girl I once was. Is, is that blood? My brother was always the clever one. While my talents lay elsewhere. Hit me with it, girly. Hit me with it. Book club! Activate! 
Hä? What? What? She gets sword? No, we're supposed to be the book club, Alize. You ruined it. If you would dare to stand against us, to destroy all that we hold dear, then you shall die by my sword. Dude, that's so cool. Yo, I want to summon a sword. She was red mage Let's before it was officially out. Yo, that's so cool. Dude, I should play red mage. What level do you raid mage? Ra raid mage? I'm focusing the main warrior of light. Oh, actually, wait, don't they have a healer? This one. This one is healer. This is, yeah, this is the conjurer. Die, conjurer! Oh, they're dead. And then you focus the casters. You always go healers first, then casters. This is general MMO training. Healer mobs first, then caster mobs, then ranged. There's no escape. Ah! Oh, he revived them. Calls upon the power of the echo. Maybe we have to focus him, after all. He's invulnerable. Damn. That's our power. You can't use our power of the Echo. Scammer. Starts at 50, can unlock whenever. Oh. Maybe in my off time, I'll do like duty roulettes for Red Mage and see if I like it. Because it wears the same equipment as me, right? The only thing I need is a better weapon. Somebody correct me if I'm misinformed here. Dude, this is perfectly symmetrical fighting. They have the power of the Echo. No more games. Eh? Oh! What is this bullshit? God damn it, I can't break free! Yep, same gear. Yeah, you know what? In my spare time, I'm gonna level Red Mage then. No more games, wicked. What? Where'd the voice it acting ends. go? Oh, there it is. Now. Red Mage, uh, Black Mage, and Summoner, and Blue all use the same gear, though Blue has a lower level cap. Okay. Dude, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with Red Mage and see if I like it. It always looked so flashy. What? Was that the chains? The masked man? God, you snake! You would betray us as well. The masked man. He that holdeth fast unto his convictions shall never count betrayal amongst his crimes, though all the world may call him villain. My path is unchanged, my creed sacrosanct. This I believe sacrosanct? with all my heart. But say, warrior of darkness, and speak true, what dost thou believe? That rendering up the souls of thy world in service to the rejoining will grant it salvation? <sighs> Nay. My greed sacrosanct. I have no idea what that means. By the twelve, Oriange. I knew it! Oh! <gasps> Oriange, how did you hide your sideburns My under that mask? Is, Master Alfino, that the brightest light might shine, duty did compel me to walk in darkest shade. Let's go! Holy shit, it was Oriange. Who could have guessed? I can't, I'm a little embarrassed at how long it took me, to be honest. You sweet fool. I was almost willing to believe you had turned against us. I expect a full explanation when this is over. For now, may I assume you have turned your cloak for the last time? Yes. Thou mayest, my lady. I'm gonna say something. He's kinda hot. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Don't attack me. He's just like a little bit hot. I'm literally squid right, bye right bye now. Me. Squidward right now. Oh crap, he's hot! Yo, he's here for the book club!
Did you come for the book club? Even odds then. Let's go. We just lost a member. We have an opening. We'll crush the <laughs> You're not wrong, Tara. <laughs> okay, good. Borpa respectfully. Indeed, Mag. Wait a stud. Wait, wait, wait. Is he gonna limit break? Hearken to me. We only have Is he one limit breaking? chance. No book club. We just lost a member. Into my blade that I might strike before the mage casts his spell. Okay. I cannot do it alone, but together, together we can defeat them. With the power of friendship and book club. Do it. Be friends. Wait, she's also limit breaking. Make ready. They can I love this theme, dude. This theme does such a good job of getting you hyped up. What the? Oh my god, Alize! How do I give you ether? Can I click you? Go to her, sir. How do I give you it? I can't give you it. I'm trying. There, it's past your bedtime. Don't worry, girl. I'm, I'm going soon. Okay, they finally took aggro. Hurry, sir. Give me your ether. Bro, I'm trying. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Am I doing it? Blade of light to interact with. Oh, thank you. She did say channel it into my sword. Oh no, it's not enough. Whatever shall I do? Onto her blade, we render our ether that fortune may favor us this day. Dude, this tank is actually freaking me up a little bit. The guy that's on me, kicking my bum. Oh, blade of light. Interrupted. Interrupted. Can somebody pull aggro? Can somebody pull aggro, please? KO the paladin, then click the blade again. All right, that makes sense. I just want tank to pull aggro. Are you happy, human? Yo, Paragon. Oh, that one's invulnerable. Oh, the paladin's the. Got it. I am happy, Paragon. Welcome back. How are you? Oh, they're back again. Had to stop saying, are ya winning, human? Because many people were confused on what I was asking. Are ya winning, son? Does that meme have an origin, or is it just one of those things that always is and always was? Paragon, thank you so much for the host! Still alive? I do refuse to end. There's too much happening. It's not my fault. I just want to play the video game. And need I remind you guys, I have only three streams this week. Gotta use the host while I still can. I appreciate you. Point of light. How 
How dare you immediately get back up? You piece of crap. I would put you to sleep if I knew my comrades weren't going to immediately wake you up. What's on my shirt? Yeah. He's my derpy mode. He's my derpy mode. He's so cute, thank you. Do it, Alize! Do it! Kill their head off! Whoa! Whoa! My eyes! Not like this. My eyes! Wait, did she just kill the Warriors of Darkness? When did Alize get so fucking powerful? Elise, you've been holding out. Wait, she didn't kill them. They're going to be like, next time, gadget. Next time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, she fucking dead. Alize, are you hurt? A touch dizzy, but otherwise fine. Thank you. Smiley emoji. And there you have it. Our friend is too stubborn to die. <sighs> we are far from finished. Or have you never considered how we came to this world? Imagine if you were too stubborn to die. I mean, that's how I've made it this far. Purely out of spite. <gasps> Crystals. Crystals? You mean, like the Assians? Just so. As the Assians flee under the rift twixt plains with crystals of darkness, so did these warriors come hither with crystals of light. Eloquent, as always. I, like the Athens, <laughs> we too are beyond death. Exactly, Paragon. Exactly. Wait! He actually waited? That's really respectful. Such methods as the Athens employ require the renunciation of the flesh. You... You would have had to... Heh. Renounce the flesh? At long last, you see. To save our world, we gave our lives. Oh, that's respectable. Gasping face. He's totally unimpressed. We were just adventurers trying to make our way. And our job here, a favor there. We never aspired to be warriors of light. But word of our deeds spread. And soon people were calling us heroes. They placed their hopes and dreams on our shoulders and bid us fight for all that was good and right. Hopes and dreams? Boom! 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 Which one am I? The little tiny potato with the little crown. I'm the little potato. The cute one. The one you look at and go, wow, that's so cute? That's me. We fought and we fought until there was no one left to fight. We won! And now our world is being erased from existence. Oh! Wait, I'm not that potato. I'm the other potato. I didn't realize there was a potato on their team. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us and still, still it came to this. You of all people should understand. Wait, I actually feel really bad for them. <laughs> we cannot, we will not falter. We brought our world to the brink of destruction, and now we must save it. Wait, I actually feel bad for them? This one's me. Wait, I actually feel bad for them. I've died before, Arbut. I'm not afraid to die again.
So this means like the Asians, they can keep coming back, right? No matter how many times we fall, we must rise and carry on the fight for those we left behind. Wait, it's so sad. Also, did we just get the main protagonist's name? Was it Albert? That's fucking Tataru's voice actor. Dark Tataru. To have known the depth of sorrow and embraced the highest sacrifice. Nonetheless, Master Louis Soi, guide my hand, I pray you, as fate's thread spinneth upon this most capricious spindle. That was a lot of words. What? Are you gonna kill them? Is Orianja gonna kill them? Tataru is the dark Tataru. <laughs> Our Tataru is the dark one. Dude, what is wrong with Tataru? Why do all you f it's, people say these things? Orange people talk. Yo, this makes me want to play this game. So sad I don't got the money. Fun fact, Paragon, everything that you're seeing on stream right now is technically still free. I'm like 80 hours into the game, and technically it's still free. Quickly! Thou must needs invoke the power so, of my crystal. You know there's that. What do I mean? Have you heard of the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV with an expanded free trial, which you can play through the entirety of Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heavensward expansion up to level 60 for free with no restrictions on playtime? That's, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Technically, I'm still in the Heavensward expansion. Where can I do that? Final Fantasy... I... FF... I don't know. FinalFantasy.com. I don't know, actually. I just search Final Fantasy XIV free trial. You'll go there. Are we gonna fucking kill them? What's happening? Are we gonna Pokeball them? There you go. Golsif has the link, Paragon. Oh, we went with them? What is this place? It's the life stream. Wait. Such pain. Such sorrow. Oh, my dear children. Mother Hydaelyn. Or is it it's Minfilia's voice, right? Mother Hydaelyn, hearken unto your children's plea. From two worlds do we gather, and from two worlds do we offer a bounty of light. In this desperate hour we do beseech your intercession. We beg an audience with the word of the mother, with your chosen Minfilia. Oh, thank Red. Oh. Your cries go not unheard. Nor your sacrifices unnoticed. Though many are lost, there are those we can yet save. Who I can yet save. Also love the crystal prelude in the background. Minfilia! Minfilia! I knew we weren't done with seeing her, but maybe she never comes back to uh, Eorzea. Blessed children of the first. The light of your world hath grown blinding in its radiance. But it is not yet absolute. So they're from the first reflection? I will hie me to your world, and there take unto myself the light which riseth even now to drown it, as darkness once did drown another. I hie me to your world, and there take unto myself the light which riseth even now to drown it. 
This darkness wants to drown another. I'm trying so hard to understand this. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that you were live! I've been binging the VODs of your Outer Wild playthrough the last week. <gasps> Have you been enjoying them, Ray? Dude, Outer Wilds is still to this day my favorite game of all time. I hope you're enjoying them so much. Yep, the first reflection of the source of our world. So it's the first copy, for lack of better world, words, of our world. Interesting. So Paragon Chainmail needs a 14 spin. Anyone got any? You could try Paragon Chainmail. It might not be taken. Because you can have spaces. You can have a first name and a last name. They're the warriors of- Wah! My chair. My chair trying to kill me. Look how far back it goes when it releases its lock. Oh my god, this chair. <sighs> um, yeah, you can allow- uh, the game allows spaces um, in your names, so might even work. Might not be taken. Maybe you need a new chair? I just got this chair like a year ago, but like I just got this chair. <laughs> now you deign to answer our prayers? I will suffer this farce no longer. You! You respond to Heidelin like this? Excuse? God, yes, always love seeing a new playthrough of Outer Wilds, and yours is brilliant. Also, it's good for when I'm doing uh, 14 bot. Wait, you also play 14? Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. Stop, Ray. You're gonna fit right in. <laughs> You're gonna fit right in. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Arbert Madge. As the Athenians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too must others carry out the will of Hydaelyn. You're from Ether DC, Sarge. Yo! We're on Ether, aren't we? Adam Antoys? That's Ether. So, from what you've been told so far, the first is overwhelmed with light, and she's going to go absorb light. He's an emotional wreck. Understandably, with everything we've just learned. But for the boon you have granted her, she has grown strong enough to set me free, that I might serve as her emissary. Your suffering, your sacrifice, your supplications, she has heard all. We will not let the first fall to light. Yo, she's literally saving, saying she's gonna save you. Like, and your world. Thank you, Uri Angers, for bringing everyone here. It fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. Aw, so she is still Minfilia. She's just... like a vessel for Hydaelyn. But she is still Minfilia at her core. In taking you unto her bosom, I knew that Hydaelyn had bequeathed to you a sliver of her grace, granting you strength long sought. And in treating with the Asians, I learnt of a star like unto our own, a doomed world of fallen heroes in whom I glimpsed ah. ourselves. The first. Full so long then did I search for a means to save this world, concluding at the last that the answer lay in the power of blessed crystals. And thus did I labor to set oh, light against dark. This makes so much sense now. Honestly, never understood the Minfilia arc. I, I feel like I'm kind of getting it. Minfilia is kind of all over the place. <laughs> Yet I knew from the beginning that this salvation would not come without sacrifice. For the instrument of the first's deliverance would of necessity be required to journey thither there to remain, mayhap forever. Mm. You orchestrated all of this, not to save her, but to send her away. One life for one world. Such was the bargain, and you the coin, though it were not mine to spend. Oh. All right, so I might be in the wrong for talking about my stream, but as a streamer, it makes me so happy when someone tells me to watch my VODs. Right? Right? Dude, for someone to watch you live is one thing that's absolutely amazing, but for them to also 
seek out and enjoy your VODs is like love. It's like love. I love it so much as a streamer. One life for one world. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal? And at her bidding, borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land. Each and every one of you knows my heart. If this be the price I must pay... Oh no... <laughs> I pay it gladly. Oh no... Wait, if I'm understanding this correctly... If I'm understanding this correctly, Minfilia herself is going to go to absorb the light in the first world. I specifically seek out Outer Wilds VODs and watch streamers other stuff after finding a good one! Hey, well if you're here, Ray, that means that means I'm not too shabby, huh? <laughs> no, dude, that makes me so sad. My dearest Thancred. You who have ever watched over me. I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf. That makes me so sad. Yeah, that's what she's saying. That makes me so sad. Your your compassion, your love, these are your gifts to me, and our gifts to them. You should, Paragon, the this bond, story is so good. Which transcends time and space. One thing I'll say is, if you're playing the free trial, you're going to be in what's called a Realm Reborn, and it's kind of, it's lukewarm. It has to establish a lot of important things, but once you start hitting Heavensward, oh, fuck, dude, the story has gotten so good. Sometimes I forget you are not the child I once knew. Make me proud. Oh. Long have I watched you from Hydaelyn's side. Watched as you know Same you get safe the light of the dawn. Hmm? The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets and dangers. Oh, it's it's um Louis Wa's stuff. To you, Tubsimati. I pray you keep to the path that you may never have need of it. That's Louis Wa's staff, right? Or what's left of it. A realm reborn has to be slow because if there are uh if it wasn't, there wouldn't be as much payoff for everything it sets up. I'm already seeing that, Ray. I'm already seeing that. And I'm only post Heaven's Word, right? Uh, the main story wasn't really fresh, freshed, fleshed out in ARR. Uh, where you are now, they had everything fleshed out till Endwalker, which explains why the quality jumped. Yeah. They had to lay out so much, like, bread before they could put the fillings in. Tupsimadi was Louis Swa's staff. Okay, good. Just want to make sure I have my lore right. Had to see John off to work back in time for Cry. Let's go. Well, that's going to be important later. It would seem the power of our crystals is all but spent. Perhaps if there is naught else to be done. Mayhap we could fucking die finally hear me servants of Hydaelyn if you would have us place our trust in you then I would ask a favor okay fair enough fair enough uh, I'm posting a bunch of questions that I always ask before playing an MMO. Does side quest matter? Yes. Um, this free trial does have a time limit. Uh, do I need to look up uh, build for gear? No. Uh, build for points? No. Uh, does race matter? Nope. Um, and is there anything else you want to tell a new player? Um, do blue quests and main story quests. Everything else is optional. Side quests flesh out extra story. And there's no time limit on the trial. The The only time it, that it... Th there's no restriction on playtime at all. I think you can beat all of Heaven's Word and still be on the free trial. It's just when you're ready for more story, that's when you should buy the game. Yeah, level 60 cap. 
but you can do all of the story up to up to Stormblood, which is like the first expansion after Heavensward. Uh, side quests flesh out a lot of world building stuff, but aren't essential. Free trial has no time limit. Race doesn't matter. Boom. Ray just like, yeah, echoed everything I said. The blue quests unlock stuff, but I've barely done any of the blue quests. I've mostly done the main story quest because I'm most interested in the game's story. Take us with you. Take us home. Aww. Yo, that's such nice resolution for them. We were blind to the truth once, so I tell you this, as one fool to another. Like, dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. Race has negligible stat variants. I think it barely matters for certain min-max tank builds at max level. How much of the side quests are voiced? I don't know if any of them are. Free trial is longer now too? It includes Stormblood? I, I think. No way, does it actually include Stormblood? I've seen free trial players who've managed to get every single relic weapon along with the Necromancer title. There's a ton of content just with free trial. It's insane how much you can get for free. There's some dude on free trial who has like 10,000 achievement points done. Basically everything you could do on free trial. Probably hundreds, if not thousands, of hours of content. We made our choice and you see what came. So please, forge a different path. Seize a better fate. I will. Thank you, Arbert. <sighs> it is a strange feeling. So many times have I watched you depart. My heart filled with worry. And ever did you return? You kind of doubted me though, sorry. Triumph. Don't apologize, I agree. <laughs> Relic weapons and animal weapons are free trial, but inconvenient at such a low level. Oh, right, because you'd need to actually get a party together to do them. Eureka resistance upcoming Manderville weapons would require paid. Gotcha. Someday, when I have found a way to free this star from her sorrow, I promise you, I shall repay the favor. Okay, so maybe she's not gone forever. She's just gonna be gone for... a long time. a month is this game if I wanted to go pay? Can someone tell Paragon in freedom dollars? Because it's also different if you want one character or multiple. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she got to say kind of a goodbye to Lamin as well. 15 per month. It has discounts if you buy longer periods. That's pretty standard, I think, for MMOs. Oh, oh Stormblood, Stormblood is not in free trial yet. Gotcha. It's still a staggering amount of content. The fact that I could still be on free trial if I wanted to right now is insane. Already have a guild for this game. Your ESO guild has a guild in this game. There you go, you're already set. Has even more discounts if you paid for it during 1.0. Wow. It would seem we are in Southern Thanalan again. Minfilia is doing, no doubt. May the 12 speed her on her way and the Warriors of Darkness too. I cannot help but wonder what awaits those wayward souls and if they uh, and if they gave their lives in order to travel to the source, and then in returning to the first, would they not? But mayhap that was their wish. Do, 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 do. An ending to mark a new beginning. Wind up Moon Brita? Why would they be giving me Wind up Moon Brita now? You're on the cheaper sub and it's $12.99 freedom dollars per month. 
This is the last quest of 3.4. Okay, so we'll end after this. Um, hmm? Forgive me, my thoughts were elsewhere, and this one I know full well there is yet to be done. The crystals. Leave them to me. I will go back to Z Zahar Ak and secure them. The Amalja will still be in disarray after the thrashing the Warriors of Darkness gave them. They're not like to notice a lone bard skulking about. But Thancred, you... Don't have to do this, I know. But I want to. I will see you at the Rising Stones. Oh, another thing, Paragon, is one character can play every single class and every single craft and every single everything. You really only need one character. I should go and find Yida and Papalimo. Uh, they must be finished searching the Masks camp by now. Not that it matters anymore. Oof. Like, right now, I am Summoner. Um, and then, boom. I am Machinist. And then, and then, and then, boom. I am Fisher. And then, and, and then, and then, boom. I am Bard. Ah, where's my shirt? Not all gear was found. Oops, I threw out some stuff, I think. <laughs> Whoopsies. But yeah, it's just that easy. No pants, Fisher. No shirt, Bard. Naked. And then, boom, you are naked. <laughs> uh, you must be tired, sir. I know I am. Alize literally thrust into there like, Who are you people? What's happening? If thou wilt permit me, my lady, I would ask a question. When didst thou become aware of mine independent pursuits? When I saw you meeting with that warrior of darkness and the Asian in the white at the great library, I tried not to think the worst. You've never been one to confide in others. So I knew that even if you're in uh, even... Uh, that even were your intentions pure, you would not share your plans with us until you felt the time was right. But I cannot deny that a part of me feared you had simply betrayed us. Would that there had been another way. Know that I took no pleasure in deceiving thee, and these sins will forever weigh heavy on my heart. I understand what, why you did what you did. Uh, that you but sought to achieve the greatest good while inflicting the least harm. Not many would have the courage to make that choice. But even knowing what came of your actions, I find that I cannot condone them. I'm sorry. Sir, forgive me, but I believe the events of the day have taken their toll on me. I should like to rest for a while. If thou wilt grant me leave, I will gladly escort thee unto the refuge of thine own choosing. Once my lady hath regained her strength, we shall join thee at the Rising Stones. Until then, Warrior of Light. How tiny can I become? And how big can I become? And does size matter? Well, that's that's a more question uh, for uh, for um, each individual person, I think. I think, like, sometimes bigger can be better. Sometimes it can be less enjoyable. It really, honestly, it's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean that really matters. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Yeah, I, anyways, I'm Lollipo, which is the smallest race, and Rogden are big chunky boys. Let's uh, let's see if there's any rows in this camp, if we see them on our way. Are you a row? This is a row. I don't know if this is like the max height row, but yeah. This. Thank you, Tara. Very helpful. You're welcome. Glad to be of assistance. Tiny tank. Yes, I love seeing Lollas that are tanks, but this is how big you could be if you wanted to. I love seeing Lala's, like, tiny little Lala running up to big eldritch monstrosity and, like, being the only thing stopping you from death is tiny little Lala. Height has no impact on stats. The last game that I remember having height... Oh, shit, is it outside? It's fucking outside. The last game that I remember having uh, height impact stats was Dragon's Dogma. If you were bigger, you had more carry weight but I believe you were slower or something along those lines. <laughs> well met, sir. Uh, Alphano said you would be joining us. It would seem the Griffin's double was telling the truth, insofar as we found nothing resembling a sizable cache of crystals in the Mask's camp. Did you perchance find one in Zahar Ak? Found a lot more there, let me tell ya. Actually, here's what happened. So in certain games, they have hitboxes matter, so I needed to know. Yeah, I don't think that's the case in this game. I think your hitbox is the same regardless. I don't believe it. The crystals, Minvilia, 
all of it, it's just, I don't know what it is. I sympathize, Ida. Even now, I struggle to comprehend that which I saw. The only thing I can say with any certainty is that I feel blessed to have been granted a final chance to speak with her. It was bittersweet, aye, but also affirming. Alphino, I believe it is past time Ida and I rejoin the Scions. We have been away for far too long. Though I am loath to leave the Griffin to his own devices, I feel our investigation would benefit from your more dispassionate perspectives, and I hope that we might, in turn, offer our own opinions on the many challenges that you have faced in our absence. Gods, it's been absolutely ages, hasn't it? I can't wait to hear about everyone's adventures. We should be glad to recount them, and Tataru's tales may well surprise you. Boom, 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 boom. I assume you can click on a person's name to heal them instead of clicking on their person. Yes. All right, so where can I post my ugly character when I make it? Uh, gaming, gaming central in the Discord is the best place for anything game related. Boom, boom. That lady is not wearing pants. Why does she not have pants? Because it's Ida. And she has like kind of pants, but not really. Those are undies. <laughs> yeah, there's a channel called Gaming Central in the Discord. Uh, Ida? Ida? Rogger be praised, it is you! Oh no, Gunda bald! Ida, alive and standing here before me in the flesh! I can hardly believe my eyes! I... er... Oh, come now. Has it really been so long you don't remember me? It's Gundobald. I fought beside your father in the revolution. Madge. Do not think less of her, friends. It's been 20 years since the occupation sent us our separate ways, but the resistance were always welcome in Little El Amigo. They gave us hope, and young Ida most of all. Ah, Ida uh, here was always full of fire, ever the first to volunteer for a mission, until the day she up and vanished, that is. There were rumors, and we feared the worst, but here you are, alive and well, looking nary a day older. W well, what can I say? I I'm sorry for running off like that and making you all worry. It's a long story, but you see, I, I got involved with my friends here, the Scions. Oh, sorry, we're still the circle of knowing back then. Right, uh, anyways, I wanted to come back and tell you, but it was all very secretive stuff at the time, and uh, as you can see, I'm completely fine. How does she not look a day older? 20 years? Hang on. I know we've got a lot to talk about, and we will, but right now I've got to hurry back to our headquarters. My friends are expecting me. Pray forgive her. It's been a very long day for us all. I promise we will visit again soon at er, visit at the first opportunity. Hmm, council. Let us return to the Rising Stones. I was there uh, to post art normally. I don't go anywhere other than art. Nice. He tell he hells take me for giving you that mask. Hey. Give head pets. I demand head pets. Give. Give. Unless you're AFK. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I needed. Now I'm ready to keep going. Oh, rising stones. Whoop. So cute, oh my god. I think because of the angle, I was slightly too tall, but usually their characters will actually like lean down and head pat you. It's very precious. Um, uh, up time? Curlo? Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me. It's because I don't have, it's, it's only three streams today. It's only three streams today. This, the today, this week. It's only three streams this week, so I'm overcompensating and I refuse to end. Could also be that I'm very short. Right, you're as short as a Mik Mikote can be, right? Minfilia is not the one telling you to pray return anymore. <laughs> too soon, Ray, too soon. Welcome home, sir. I trust your journey was uneventful. You will be pleased to hear that Thancred has secured the crystals. He sent word a short while ago. Once he has delivered them safely to the Temple Knight's care, he will rejoin us here, and we can declare this matter officially resolved. While awaiting your arrival, I took the opportunity to contact Ishtola and Kryle, and brief them on what has occurred. I also requested that they return to the Rising Stones at their earliest convenience. Now that our lost friends have been found, it would seem, uh, meet to discuss the future. Wait, is literally the whole gang gonna be here? 
There's so many people. There's so many people here. It's like a realm reborn, but with more. Back in the solar. It's been too long since we were all together like this. Not since. Not since after Moonbreed. Stop bringing up Moonbreed. I'm gonna shit and cry. <laughs> Oh my god, I want to finish this section, he says. To be fair, I knew full well that this section would not be like 30 minutes. I knew it would be like two, an hour, two, two hours. <laughs> Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. Okay, Papalimo's new voice actor is so cute sounding. So like dorky and small sounding, it's great. Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take- Almost did a full shift at Twitch that television. I did. Carrying on the fight. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we are missing a couple. While I am grateful to our friends in the north for their hospitality, it isn't half good to be back. Is she watery eyed, Tataru? But as Papalima rightly said, much has changed since we last stood here. The scions of the seventh dawn. Are Look at me, new Terabellum viewer. Hey, we're happy to have you, you Paragon. Our travels in the north brought us into contact with a host of fine and generous people. And their selfless deeds serve to show me that it is not lofty causes that should inform our actions, but our hearts. Nodders. Agree. Did you still want horsies after or just going to bed? Izaki, when do you usually go to bed? I don't want you to stay up too late, but I have... I got nowhere to be. <laughs> I got nowhere to be. And I hope that the silence might continue in the as individuals yeah, thank you for host. driven by individual principles. Provided we all sincerely desire to work towards Eorzea's salvation, I believe the paths we follow to achieve it need not and should not be dictated by any single ideal. I agree. Also, in this lighting, does he not look tired? Wait, wait, Alphano? Look at, he's got crow's feet, dude. He's got crow's feet. He got crow's feet. I usually go to bed at 2 to 3 a.m. It's 20 till, oh, so you're good. You work till 1 a.m.? Oh, you're good. You vibing, you vibing. Basically, look every stream, nodders, nodders. Maybe it's raven feet. <laughs> Bound by a common purpose, to go whether they will. The idea is- All right, crows are over here, right? Crow's feet are at the end of the eye. Because when sometimes when you squint, there's like the three lines. What are these are just bags? His twink powers are fading. Curlo, you can't. <laughs> oh, man. Very well. Tired Alfie. Understandably so. The primals and the elder gods of Eorzea. Should anyone have need of my findings, you need only ask. What? I should be glad of your continued. Or you changed outfit again. Well, my main purpose in coming here was to see the signs of the seventh dawn restored and my dear friend found. Oh, that's so chill, Izagi. That is so chill. God, I wish. Nevertheless, it's a big game, Paragon. I involved myself in your struggles. I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. For Minfilia's sake. That is, if there are no objections. Okay, okay, Kryl. Okay. I have no objection. She cute and she sassy. You will always be welcome here, Kryl. Dude, yeah, I don't know if it's the lighting or intentional, but Alfie looks sleepy. Oriange, I will trust you to <laughs> carry on your investigation of the Asians as before. <laughs> he was too hot without the stupid goggles. He had to nerf himself, or his power would overflow and create another umbral calamity. <laughs> All I'm gonna all I'm gonna say is when we were first introduced to Moonbrita, I was like, okay, Moonbrita, like absolute certified babe. Why is she hot for Uriange? Now I get it. Now I get it. Seeing ungoggled, unhooded Uriange, I get it. It makes sense. It checks out. Regardless of mine own desires, I am undeserving of your trust having so villainously deceived you all. Now, now, I'll hear no more of that. It would be disrespectful of Minfilia's wishes. 
She entrusted matters here to us, that we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think you far better suited to the latter. Fair enough. No? He's hiding his power level again. Very well. Then out of love for my lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn charge. boy. I... Papalimo and I should probably return to Thandalan to keep an eye on the resistance. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja, not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? But also, how do you not look a day older in 20 years? Was that just like idle flirtatiousness? Or do you have darker secrets that we need to know of? So you should have a pompadour, Paragon. You should have a pompadour and like neon pink hair. She got the Keanu Reeves treatment. God, Keanu's a babe. I like how Alizé is just awkwardly you know like I sitting like great love for organizations and formalities. She's just like I I want no part in this. I'm gonna sit over here outside of the conversation. Me too, Paragon. I feel like he'd be such a chill dude. That being said, this new approach you propose is not wholly objectionable, and we've always got him to keep us from bickering. Me. He's me. Terry, your character is so cute. Thank titles. you, Evelyn. I am not here for House Levier, nor to walk in Grandfather's shadow. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. If it please you, you may think of me as but another comrade in arms. Are you laughing at him? Well then, Alfie, I for my part shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. All right, Tataru is the dark Tataru. Tataru. And we mustn't forget you. What now for the warrior of light? Uh, I sleep, and then I come back Thursday, and then I do 3.5. That's what's next for me. A new adventure, what else? To strive for those we have lost and for those we can yet save. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Warrior of Light. Fraught with hardship, Hold up. And the path before us will be no less unforgiving. But a new dawn shall break over the realm. And I see before me the faces of those who will deliver it. Love you too, Ishtola. Warrior of Light just wants to chill out and do some fishing and recover from the trauma. Me. <laughs> so true. Oh, I made a character in Cyberpunk 2077 that was so ugly. Anytime it was naked and cutscene, I had to look away. You got an emote? This one? No one evil? Oh, in the game, in the game. Look at them, sir. The silence of the seventh dawn. Look at how far we've come. The people we've met, the moments we've shared, the losses we've suffered, the tragedies we've overcome. All of it uh, made us who we are today. Where we go from here and what the future holds, only the Twelve know. But I know that we will find out together. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. <sighs> Gang's all back, guys! Gang's all back. One world's heroes are another world's villains. One world's loss, another world's gain. 
Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life... No, Paragon, it would be so hard. It would be so hard. If I had a professional to do it, I would. But it would probably also cost a million dollars. My Simply friends, get awake. If I may, I would ask that you entrust Tupsimati to me. Huh? Clouds gather upon the horizon, and as Master Louis Soir's disciple, I would keep it close at hand. Ah, uh, no! 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 Don't! No! Papalimo's dead. We just killed him. We just killed him. Papalimo is now dead. We have killed him. Thank you. I shall guard it. No, you're gonna use it at some point, just like Louis Swa did, and you're gonna fucking die. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. I'm furious. I'm furious. He's dead to me. There is cause to hope. He's dead to me. He's also actually gonna be dead. There is no way. For every ending, every parting. Marks a new I'm beginning. already upset. <laughs> Tara's so angry. Why else? What? I thought if the Warrior of Light had Louis Swa's staff, okay, there'll be a big dramatic moment where we're like, yeah, and we use it for maximum power. But if a fucking NPC takes it, nah, they're gonna sacrifice themselves like Louis Swa. I'm mad as hell, dude. I'm mad as hell. Well done, brother. You may resume your normal duties and rejoin the others. The coming battle shall be our greatest yet, and I intend to stand with you all on that glorious day. Two griffins? What cult is this? The Resistance! True believers are so readily led. No, of course the fucking Asians have a hand in it. They have their grubby little paws in every single organization. I have given them everything they desired, all for which they have prayed. I doubt you can say the same for your pawns. Get what you wanted then? Was it all worth it in the end? There were some unexpected developments, but they were ultimately to our advantage. The Lidibus! <laughs> a Lidibusin, respectfully. Be it, to, uh, be it host to a surfeit of light or dark, a world bereft of equilibrium is but a void in waiting, and a void is of no use to my master. I shall follow her emerserisereri with great interest. As for the pawns whom you so pity, they have delivered unto me a gift, which I do now present to you. No, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. The Warriors of Dark picked up the fucking eyeballs. We're gonna have Needhog 3, Electric Fiddly D. The eyes of Nidhog. Many were the candidates considered, but by your deeds you have proven yourself the most deserving. Shakes my damn head is right, Evelyn. When you raid out, are you going to raid the same category? So unless I know for certain the person is behind me in the story, I'm terrified of even looking in the category in case of spoilers. A man of boundless rage and bottomless despair, in whose breast beats a heart which thirsts for vengeance. Only you are fit to wield these eyes, for weal or for woe. Well, fuck. Nidhogg ain't going to be a rush hour three. No, he very much will be. Look at these derpy eyes. I can't believe Papalimo's dead. I can't believe this. If I just keep telling myself it, then I won't cry when it happens. Papalimo is dead. Papalimo is dead. He is no longer alive. He's amongst the dead the minute he took the sacrificial staff thingy. Stop saying that, oh my god! I'm sorry! I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like get myself acquainted to the idea of it. Hmm. <laughs> so it was here all along. Who? Oh, fucking, um, Dude McMahon! I can't remember his name. Nero, that's his name. 
Oh, just you wait, my pretty. You and I are going to have so much fun. Silently laughs. Didn't you also call Thancred being dead? You know what? Shut up. Shut up. I'm just going to keep saying that everybody's dead, and then I won't cry. The most divorced man in New Orleans. Yeah. So this is now 5.5 or 5.4 right here. Need someone to confirm. I'll look up the name of it. Tidings from Gear Abania. Oh, wait. Golsif might have had important information. This is the start of the next. Is this the start of the next patch? I think is the word I'm looking for. I love Dude McMahon, such a great name. <laughs> Nero and Sid need marriage counselor. Yes, next patch. This is 3.5. Okay, 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 okay. Well then. Well then. I'm not going to log off in an inn because Izagi and I are going to do some farming. But we are going to raid. Five is post Shadowbringers. Oh. Did I forget to say three? Three point number? Did I forget to say that? What is that? Neon? What is that? A Super Saiyan? What are those? Oh, those are primal. Those are primal. Did you just head pat me? Did I receive head pats? Did you pat my head? And kneel down to do it. So much pets, so much head pets. Those are cash shop emotes. No, no. This is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. No, they're so cool. Also, what did you guys say the emotes were? Point left. No. Point left. No. What was the sparkly one? I want to do the sparkly. Ah! Oh, hello? Hello? What's. Hello? Izagi? What? Hello? hello? <laughs> what is this? Oh, I don't have it yet. No. Hello? What is this? What is this? This view? It's just. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to get banned. I'm going to get banned. I'm done. I'm done. I'm running away. I'm done. I'm going to sit over here and mind my own business. <laughs> I just noticed the lack of pants. I literally did. <laughs> oh no, did the show left and show right event end? I will cry. It's been at eye level the entire time and I just noticed. So my Lala has probably been very like, oh my goodness, oh my lord. Getting a full view of meat and potatoes. No, it's such a good emote. I want it. I want it. It's so good. You guys have been using it to mark so many quests. It's so funny. On my Christian Minecraft server. Mac, do we have any friends online? I have to raid. We'll be back on Thursday when we will enter Stormblood. It will happen. We will finish 3.5 post Heavensward and we will enter Stormblood and we will not cry. It will be great. <gasps> wine human? What is wine human doing? Dude, Seth's doing Call to the Lamb. Cult of the Lamb? I love Cult of the Lamb, but Wine is doing Cuphead. Uh, there's too many choices. There's too many choices. Literally two that are great. I can't decide. Play Cuphead, I think. Pick your vibe. I wouldn't mind seeing Seth, if I'm being perfectly honest. I can't remember the last time we raided Seth. So if you guys are down, I am down. To, uh... Uh, when you raid, I thought you, uh, you thought I meant in game. No, no, no. I'm talking out of game. We're going to raid Seth. Seth in space. Boop. Didn't get as much cry from Stormblood. Heaven's Word and Shadowbringers were more. Okay, so Stormblood will be like a nice, peaceful experience for me then. <laughs> After this devastating fucking expansion, dude. Um. Okay, so we are raiding Seth in space. They're playing Cult of the Lamb. Cult of the Lamb is an amazing, comfy game. I... I might be playing it this Saturday. I don't know. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. There's our raid messages. First is if you're sub, second is if you're not a sub. Um, we are back Thursday, not tomorrow. No live tomorrow, but we're back Thursday to finish off Heaven's Word and move into Stormblood finally. And uh, supposedly not cry. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. People of my chat, I love you guys. Thank you so <laughs> I'm sorry I went so late, by the way. This is not normal for me, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me all this time. And I love you so much. I hope you guys have a good comfy night. And we'll see you Thursday at 4 p.m. Central. Goodbye. Goodbye. Literally eight hour stream. My bones are fine though. Okay, bye. I love you.